So good evening everyone. Myself Vivek. Sipne likha four questions. Okay. Kitna likha hai? Baki sab? All four. Baki sab ne four likha. Apne kuch ne likha. Thoda thoda likha. Sab telegram group mein na? कल ये थीम डाला था पढ़ गया ने बोला था इंटो यू एस तो क्या किया इसके बारे में ये भी बोला था एंड ये टॉपिक लिस्ट भी दिया था ना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑफ इंडो यू एस टुमोरो व्हाट सब्जेक्ट इट इज इंडिया रशिया एंड इंडिया चाइना सो वी आर अलाइन द फाइव ईयर क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग थीम वाइज विच ओवर क्वेश्चन मोस्टली दे आर आस्किंग फाइव थीम सिक्स थीम्स निकाला है and till friday we are aligned all the five year question along those themes so today we are having four questions regarding into us relations so kon pad ke aaya kon kuch kiya kya kiya suna nahi ek aur bar bol so questions matching the उसमें आया था एंड कुछ काम क्या आया क्वाड ओके और बाकी क्या नहीं कुछ ये देखा इसका भी पीडीएफ डाला था टेलीग्राम में ठीक है कोई नहीं हम डिस्कशन स्टार्ट करता है देखता है कैसे है सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दी थिंग सो वट यू थिंक कि कोई ने मेन्स लिखा है अभी तक आपने लिखा दोनों लिखा देन क्यों नहीं लिख पा रहे हो भाई आई आर वीकेस्ट है आपने भी लिखा है कब लिखा विच ईयर नाइनटीन में ओके उसके बाद प्री नहीं निकल रहा है आपका ट्वेंटी वन ठीक है तो क्या मार्क आ रहा है लाइक क्या इश्यू है मेन्स पे और आपका फर्स्ट मेंस था फर्स्ट पर लिख रहा था और अभी लिखा तो कुछ आएगा चीज ये कि आपको क्या लग रहा है मेंस में क्या मैटर करता है या कंटेंट मैटर करता है या आंसर राइटिंग मैटर करता है या कुछ और मैटर करता है व्हाट मेक्स द डिफरेंस क्या थोड़ा लाउडली बोलो ना ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन को अटेम्प्ट करना अब ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन कर रहा था फिर भी नहीं हो रहा स्ट्रक्चरिंग द कंटेंट और कुछ ऑप्शंस है अपने किस कितने लोग टॉपर्स को पी लिख देखे हैं सब जगह मिलता है ऐसे नहीं ये टॉपर का बोल रहे हैं इन जनरल कितने लोग कुछ भी कॉपीज देखा है वो बड़ा रैंक आता है जीएस में बड़ा मार्क्स लेके आता है तो व्हाट डिफरेंस है आप लोग क्या लिख रहे हैं एंड ये लोग क्या लिखा है आपको क्या डिफरेंस सोच पा रहा है वैल्यू एडिशन की और जस्टिफिकेशन तो ये अब आप नहीं कर पा रहे हैं क्यों नहीं कर पा रहे कंटेंट नहीं है और पॉइंट्स अब पैराग्राफ लिख रहे अभी भी पैराग्राफ में लिखा है आज का आंसर टॉपर्स के आंसर में एक चीज आप मोस्ट टॉपर्स में दिखेगा एक पॉइंट लिखेगा एंड वन लाइन में वो फिनिश करता है सेंटेंस भी कदम नहीं करता क्यों कर कर रहे इसे उतना भी पढ़ो दो पेज फिल करना है टेन मार्क के लिए फिफ्टीन मार्क है तो तीन पेज कितना भी नॉलेज है एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यही इतना ही स्पेस है आपके लिए इफ यू आर राइटिंग आप अभी आंसर देखो आपका अब पूरा पूरा सेंटेंस सब जगह पूरा सेंटेंस लिख के आ रहा है 
then some more you are going to miss out. Is it not Some more you need to optimize. Is it not that you need to optimize the speed so much? You will finish the all 50 pages within time, even after writing all the sentences. And some people, most people use diagrams. Diagram means wo complex diagrams nahi hai ki aap yaad karke jao, aap diagrams padne ke liye pura course le lo. Wo chiz nahi bol rahe, but both simple diagrams banao, answer ka which one part aise diagram format mein represent karo. Se kya milega? Only advantage is aapko time save kar sakta hai. Aapko both kam words mein chiz bol sakta hai. Pura sentence likhne ka zorurat nahi hai. Ye chiz aap nahi kar rahe. आज से जाके लिस्ट डाउन करो क्या सब करना है एंड स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड आप मेंस लिखा है आपको बहुत इंट्रोस्पेक्ट करना पड़ेगा आपको मैं आके या कोई आके पूछ रहा है क्यों मेंस नहीं लिख रहा अरे उस टाइम कुछ पता ही नहीं था इट्स वेरी वेग आंसर अब बोलने के लिए वो बोलो क्लास में कोई इशू नहीं है बट मेक ए लिस्ट वाई योर मार्क इज लो आपको एटलीस्ट थ्री फोर पॉइंट्स होना चाहिए मैं ये गलती उस टाइम किया था कंटेंट नहीं था कुछ भी है स्पीड नहीं था 18 क्वेश्चन कोई बोला 20 क्वेश्चन लिखना है अब 20 क्वेश्चन नहीं लिख पा रहा है कुछ भी आपका गलती है आप मिस्टेक कर रहे हैं वो आप लिख के रखो एंड उसको रिमूव करो ऐसे ऑब्जेक्टिव गोल्स भी होना चाहिए ऐसे वेगली आप अप्रोच कर रहे हैं इट विल बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड टू सम एक्सटेंट कंटेंट कितना मैटर करता है आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड आप कितना भी पढ़ो आपको दो पेज फिल करना है इफ कंटेंट इज द गेम गेम चेंजर एवरी टाइम द फिफ्थ अटैम सिक्स अटैम गाइस विल बी टॉपिंग द एग्जाम ये तो नहीं हो रहा है मोस्टली वी विल सी फर्स्ट अटैम सेकंड अटैम गाइ गेटिंग वेरी गुड मार्क्स सम पीपल विल बी राइटिंग मेन्स फॉर सेवन ईयर्स स्टिल नॉट गेटिंग गुड मार्क्स वाई कंटेंट का बात कर रहे हैं सिक्स ईयर पढ़ा उसके साथ कंटेंट का कोई कम ही नहीं है सब कुछ पढ़ा होगा बुक पढ़ा है चार बार पढ़ा होगा मटेरियल कुछ भी अवेलेबल है थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव है कुछ भी मार्केट में है सब पढ़ा होगा देन व्हाट मेक्स द डिफरेंस कंटेंट आपको चाहिए टू ए लिमिट उसको ऊपर जाने बहुत कुछ चीज है प्रेजेंटेशन है स्ट्रक्चरिंग है एंड क्वेश्चंस का सब पार्ट इफ वन मोर थिंग टॉपर्स कॉपी से ही मैं बोलता हूँ आंसर स्ट्रक्चर करने में दो पार्ट सब बनाता है सब क्वेश्चन में कोई टेंशन का बात नहीं है कुछ भी क्वेश्चन दे दो उसको दो पार्ट में स्प्लिट करो एंड उसका डायमेंशन सब करता है बट मेनी टॉपर्स कॉपी यू विल सी थ्री पार्ट फोर पार्ट फाइव पार्ट एक क्वेश्चन को भी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सब पार्ट में डिवाइड कर रहे इसका एडवांटेज क्या है If you are making two parts, suppose two parts in a 15 marker, कितना सोचोगे? एक dimension में कितना सोचोगे? Five points बनाएगा, six point बनाएगा. अगर दस point बनके लिख रहा है, two three point for G होगा. Five six point अच्छा points आप with good example five six point T सोच पाएगा. Beyond that, if 15 marker two parts है, you will get only ten points, twelve points max. But if you are three, four, four dimensions, then even if you give four, five parts to four, five points in each part, you'll be easily covering twenty points. Getting? So it's very important to not miss any sub parts. ये बहुत ध्यान में रखना है. इधर कुछ miss हो रहा है. आप अभी आपका answers देखो. जाके topers copy देखो. कुछ भी देखो. मॉडल आंसर्स आई डोंट रेकमेंड दैट मच मार्केट में कितना भी मॉडल आंसर्स है काम का नहीं है लाइक अच्छा आंसर्स मैं नहीं देखा अभी तक इट इज बेटर टॉपर्स को भी देखो एंड देख लो हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स दे आर डिवाइडिंग ईच आंसर्स एंड ऐसे भी नहीं है कि वो बहुत अलग सा पॉइंट बना के दे रहे हैं कुछ टोटली डिफरेंट विच यू डोंट नो ऐसे आंसर कर रहे हैं आपको क्या पता है वो ही लिख रहा है थोड़ा स्टाइल डिफरेंट होगा प्रेजेंटेशन डिफरेंट होगा बॉक्स बनाएगा अंडरलाइनिंग करेगा आपने कितना लोग अंडरलाइनिंग किया है कितना लोग ये बॉक्स कुछ तो और किया है बियॉन्ड अंडरलाइनिंग आल्सो आप कुछ नहीं किया 
आपको लर्न करना ही पड़ेगा और कुछ ऑप्शन ही नहीं है बिकॉज यू आर प्रसेंट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू आर जज फॉर ओनली दिस एंसर स्क्रिप्ट इसको आपको कितना इम्प्रोवाइज करना है इम्प्रोवाइज करना ही है एंड वाट एवर यू आर डूइंग ऑन द स्क्रिप्ट कीप द माइंड आफ्टर ऑल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी चेक बाई सिक्सटी ईयर ओल्ड गाय हु इज चेकिंग टर्न ऑफ कॉपीज टेन कॉपीज में बी पर डे फाइव कॉपीज पर डे ही इज एंगेज ऑल डे इन दिस एंड योर कॉपी इज कमिंग एंड वो एलिजिबिलिटी नहीं है उसमें क्लैरिटी नहीं है उसमें अंडरलाइन नहीं किया है कुछ चीज ऐसे नहीं लिखा है ही विल फाइंड ईज ऑफ करेक्टिंग इट ऐसे नहीं तो आपको मार्क्स कम ही आएगा इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वाट यू हैव रिटर्न सो ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड एग्जामिनर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू हु इज गोइंग टू चेक योर पेपर मेक हिज लाइफ ईजी कितना कर सकता है क्या कर सकता है करो अंडरलाइन करना है अंडरलाइन करो एंड ये भी ऐसे नहीं होगा एग्जाम हार जाके अंडरलाइन ऊपर से आ जाएगा इट विल टेक टाइम ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन थ्री आवर्स मीन्स वेरी लेस यू डोंट गेट टाइम इवन टू लाइक चेंज द पेन इतना भी टाइम नहीं होगा एंड उस टाइम हम अंडरलाइन करेगा सोचो कुछ नहीं होने वाला है अभी क्या लिख रहा है यू हैव वन आवर दिया है फोर क्वेश्चन लिखना है सो मोर देन एग्जाम कंडीशन अभी लेक्चरी में लिख रहा है अभी इसे स्टार्ट करो एंड कुछ भी आंसर लिख रहा है हमको कंटेंट नहीं है इट इज कॉम्प्रोमाइजेबल यू विल लर्न इट बट प्रेजेंटेशन में स्ट्रक्चरिंग में इसमें हम गलती नहीं करेगा कितना भी कंटेंट नहीं है प्रेजेंटेशन आपका सब आंसर का सही होना चाहिए एंड पार्ट्स सब पार्ट्स ये सब आप एड्रेस करना ही चाहिए ठीक है और क्या है हाउ टू जनरेट पॉइंट्स ये सब सब्जेक्ट के लिए अलग है थिंग इज इफ यू गो टू एग्जाम हॉल एक क्वेश्चन मिला एक आर्ग्यूमेंट मिला यूशली एक ओपिनियन मिलता है देन यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग ऑन इट देर इज अज चांस आप थिंकिंग के लिए भी दो तीन मिनट लग रहा है नहीं तो वो दो मिनट में आपके माइंड में सब पॉइंट्स नहीं आ रहा है एंड लिख के लिख के और आंसर का लास्ट पार्ट में आ गया देन आपको याद आ रहा है दो पॉइंट लिखना था मैं भूल गया या वो आंसर कदम किया उसके बाद याद आ रहा है ये भी उधर लिख सकता था नहीं तो एग्जाम के बाद भी याद आ रहा है तो वट इज सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस समहर फॉर एवरी सब्जेक्ट यू नीड एन अप्रोच हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू अप्रोच द क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्रीकल्चर फॉर इकोनॉमी नॉट जस्ट फॉर आया फॉर जोग्राफी में एक क्वेश्चन आया हमको सोचना कैसे है इकोनॉमी कंसेप्चुअल एक क्वेश्चन आया या इकोनॉमी एग्रीकल्चर रिलेटेड कुछ क्वेश्चन है एवरी क्वेश्चन आप मेन्स देख प्रिलिम्स देखो उसमें बहुत डाइवर्सिटी है क्वेश्चन टाइप भी टॉपिक्स भी सब कॉम्प्लेक्स होके जा रहे हैं अब मेन्स क्वेश्चन एक बार एनालाइज करो मेन्स क्वेश्चन में एक पैटर्न है वो अभी तक चेंज नहीं हुआ है क्वेश्चन का टॉपिक ऑर्गेनिक चेंजेस इधर उधर लग रहा है बियॉन्ड दैट मेन्स क्वेश्चन का फॉर्मेट पैटर्न वे ऑफ आस्किंग इट इज समथिंग वेरी कॉमन आज क्या आया वो ही सिमिलर कुछ चेंज करके नेक्स्ट ईयर भी आ रहा है तो आपको अप्रोच सीखना ही पड़ेगा एंड आईआर के लिए क्या सोच सकता है वो हम आज का क्लास में देख लेगा सेकेंड लास्ट पॉइंट इज वैल्यू एडिशन वैल्यू एडिशन आपने बोला कीवर्ड्स नहीं है जस्टिफिकेशन नहीं है आंसर्स का कीवर्ड्स का एक पेपर दिया है एक बार पढ़ो अराउंड कितना कीवर्ड है उस पर अराउंड हाँ सेवेंटी सेवेंटी वन की दिया है एंड इसका डेफिनेशन क्यों नहीं दिया थिंग इज उसमें एक वर्ड बोलो फर्स्ट वर्ड बोलो रियल पॉलिटिक्स एंड मैं ऑलमोस्ट सर्टेनिटी से बोल रहा है आपको एग्जाम में कभी भी रियल पॉलिटिक डिफाइन नहीं करना पड़ेगा दिस इज नॉट पी एस आई आर ऑप्शनल आपको कभी भी मॉरल पॉलिटिक इसमें ऑलमोस्ट ऑल की वर्ड्स आपको कभी भी डायरेक्टली एग्जाम में वो क्या है लिखना का जरूरत नहीं है तो इसका कुछ ऑर्डर ने शशि तरूर ने या कोई भी बड़ा बड़ा गुड इंग्लिश में डेफिनेशन दिया है वो आपको मेमोराइज करने का कोई जरूरत नहीं है इसमें क्या लिखना है रियल पॉलिटिक आप किधर यूज कर सकते हैं इसका बेसिक मीनिंग क्या है बेसिक मीनिंग क्या है रियल पॉलिटिक का आई आर कंडक्ट करने में हम एथिकल स्टैंड नहीं लेगा हम प्रैक्टिकली रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है उसी तरीके से आई आर कंडक्ट करेगा सो दैट इज रियल पॉलिटिक इन यूअर लैंग्वेज इन यूअर वर्शन यू राइट इट इट इज डोंट गो फॉर एनी फ्लावरी इंग्लिश और फ्लावनी 
set definition for this and write something where which question you can use this which question you can use give me some examples where you will use this real politic exactly russia mein india russia relations abhi tak nahi aaya but kuch bhi answer aapko likhna hai real politic is obviously you should use it and ye bhi nahi hai ki ye define karke aana hai main nahi bol raha but somewhere in the answer either in introduction or in conclusion somewhere in the answer this is something which you should use i say yes sub things so don't go for by hurting the definition or anything write there whatever you want ye koi matlab nahi aap is side kya likh raha hai iske map banao drawing banao kuch banana hai banao thing is as a question i have which you can have a connection with it you should be able to do that clear keywords are there you can draw maps also in ir if feasible if you are good at making maps or some question mein applicable hai udhar maps bhi banana but ye bhi nahi karna hai sab question mein hum maps ban ke aayega ye nahi karna hai kuch connectivity ka question hai international north south transit corridor iska baat kar raha hai kidhar se kidhar tak hai moscow to india central asia through central asia connectivity hai तो इसके बात कर रहा है ए मैप विल बी वेरी गुड वैल्यू एंड रिचमेंट बट इस साल एक क्वेश्चन था इंडिया श्रीलंका रिलेशन रोल ऑफ इंडिया इन व्हाट क्राइसिस हैपनिंग इन श्रीलंका सो उस क्वेश्चन में जाके ये इंडिया है ये श्रीलंका है कोई वैल्यू एडिशन नहीं है सो so आपको इसमें ऑप्टिमाइज करना है वर दर इज सम वैल्यू दैट इज मैप इज गिविंग उधर मैप बनाओ एंड आई में ऐसे नहीं है कि सब क्वेश्चन में आपको कुछ बनाना है दूसरी क्वेश्चन देखो एक क्वेश्चन मिलेगा आपको मैप पॉसिबल है ओके सो अवर एजेंडा ऑफ टूडे क्लास और फर्दर क्लास एवरीथिंग विल बी वी विल फोकस मोर ऑन आंसर राइटिंग कंटेंट इज सब्सिडियरी वी कीप इट एज ए सेकेंडरी पार्ट अवर मेन फोकस इज आंसर राइटिंग एंड जनरेटिंग पॉइंट वैल्यू एडिशन किधर डाल सकता है ये सब चीज हम कितना है डिस्कस करना है वो डिस्कस करेगा ठीक है so this is one framework which i made for ir generating points into ir and content ka hum baat kar raha tha so one thing i need to clarify how you need to optimize your study study kitna optimize kar sakta hai you have seen some people at least qualify mains with very minimum study 3 months 4 months main ke liye pad raha hai they are clearing means and some people six year pad raha hai nahi clear ho raha hai so one thing you have to do is just rather than just gaining the knowledge somehow you need to optimize your approach to study and ye kaise hona hai ki prelims ka game nahi hai where you will gain so much knowledge and you will become over smart of it this is you need to optimize your point exactly the way you study you need to keep it exactly how you think in the exam hall exam mein question aaya ye knowledge mein kaise use karega how will i use xyz knowledge which i am reading in the exam hall ye dono aapko kitna match kar pa raha hai utna match karna hai and exactly utna cheez padhna hai which you can replicate in the exam uske alawa aap personal gain ke liye kitna bhi padho but exam ke liye you need to optimize your study as much as possible and how to do this and points kaise generate hona hai wohi tarike se aapko padhna hai to ir ka ek approach bolta hai suppose india us relations wo hum aaj discuss kar rahe hai to three dimensions se humko sochna hai one is shared values second is national interest and third is strategic and ये इंडिया यूएस का नहीं बोल रहा है आप कुछ भी टॉपिक आईआर में पढ़ रहे हैं यू हैव टू मेक दिस कल इंडिया रशिया है कल इंडिया चाइना है व्हेन यू गो होम यू हैव टू मेक दिस यू हैव टू थिंक लाइक दिस एंड आप आगे भी देखेगा फाइव इयर्स का क्वेश्चन हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं इन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दिस फॉर्मेट इज डायरेक्टली अप्लीकेबल आप ऐसे सोचेगा यू इट बिकम वेरी ईजी टू जनरेट फाइव सिक्स पॉइंट पर पार्ट पर स्ट्रक्चर और पर पार्ट आई एम बोल रहे हैं ठीक है 
एंड इसमें भी क्या सोचना है वैल्यूज में क्या 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 सब आएगा विल डिस्कस फ्रॉम परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ इंडिया यूएस वट इज हिस्टोरिकल एस्पेक्ट कॉमन हिस्टोरिकल एस्पेक्ट क्या है दस कम प्रिपेयर बोलो इंडिया यूएस में हिस्टोरिकल एस्पेक्ट क्या है डेमोक्रेसी इज नॉट एन हिस्टोरिकल एस्पेक्ट यू कैन पुट इट इन पोलिटिकल वैल्यूज हिस्टोरिकली वट इज कॉमन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड फ्रीडम स्पेसिफिक बोलो कोलोनियलिज्म कोलोनियल पास्ट वेरी गुड बोथ वर कॉलोनीज यूएस वॉज ऑल्सो ब्रिटिश कॉलोनी एट सेम टाइम इंडिया वॉज ऑल्सो एंड समथिंग यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ इंडियन फ्रीडम मूवमेंट प्रियम्पल इज पोलिटिकल यू विल पुट इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म पोलिटिकल वैल्यूज प्रियम्पल बिल ऑफ राइट ऑल दो थिंग्स हिस्ट्री में क्या कनेक्ट और कर सकता है इंडियन फ्रीडम मूवमेंट्स का परस्पेक्टिव से सोचो इंस्पायर किया अमेरिकन रेवल्यूशन इंस्पायर्ड द मूवमेंट्स और डिफरेंट फेसेस ऑफ इंडियन रेवल्यूशन वेरी गुड और क्या है गदर पार्टी वाई गदर पार्टी वट दे वर ट्राइंग टू डू वट इज दैल्यूज यूएस स्टैंड फॉर मैं आपको पूछा एक वैल्यू बोलो यूएस स्टैंड फॉर वट इज वट इट विल बी लिबर्टी एग्जैक्टली लिबर्टी सो वट गदर पार्टी वॉज डूइंग दे आर इंडियंस हु वेंट टू यूएसए एंड यूएसए हैज लिबर्टी फ्रीडम ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे आर राइट समथिंग देर अगेंस्ट द कॉलोनियल गवर्नमेंट दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू पुट इन jail for saying sedition and all this so there was having freedom so using the liberty freedom in usa they are trying to mobilize a freedom movement from outside so that was gadar party move connecting so all these historical aspects yeah all these historical aspects you can connect with indo us relation so when you are preparing when you are writing answer all this should come into your mind this structure you should by heart after that this is how you should think now political values mein kya sab aayega secularism democracy federalism constitutionalism preamble sab aayega you can think lot of formalities aur kya hai another thing is panchil principles this five how many of you can say without looking at the board you can say or you can very good rest of you do one thing go and fix this somewhere in your wall or somewhere anywhere first page of ir book somewhere thing is this five thing you should remember isse nahi hai panch hi li question aayega but in lot of question you should use these ideas peaceful coexistence something related to china is coming peaceful coexistence non interference all these keywords you should use and these are very famous keywords no no these i am saying in general in any question principles if you are thinking you should think in these directions not exactly panchil we are discussing we are discussing the principle underlying the panchil okay last dimension is political visits what does it mean something very recent how many of you read today's newspaper kya tha first page mein kya tha something very rele relevant to ir is yeah g20 meeting is going on so how will you prepare this sometimes prime minister visits some country he gives some keywords like three c's india china relation is 5a something like this at least keep a note of it you can use this somewhere in introduction or conclusion kidhar to kaam aayega aise nahi hai sab answer mein yahi karna hai but somewhere in one answer if you use it's quite very value addition theek hai and g20 meeting abhi ho raha hai इसको हम कैसे यूज करेंगे आंसर राइटिंग में दैट वी विल सी इन लेटर पार्ट ठीक है अभी क्या है नेशनल इंटरेस्ट डायमेंशन कैसे खोलेगा 
what is biggest national interest economic growth if you ask india ko kya chahiye koi matlab nahi pakistan ko harana hai china ko wo karna hai ye karna hai everything is backwards if economic growth nahi hai the ultimate thing is economic growth should happen and economic mein kya sab aayega kitna hai india us ka trade exactly इतना स्पेसिफिक पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है 120 ले लो थिंग इज यू शुड रिमेम्बर द रेंज एटलीस्ट अभी आज इंडो यूएस है इसलिए बोल सकते हैं मेन्स का जाने में क्वालिटी भी होगा केशवंत उपाध्यू भी होगा सब आएगा तो सो एटलीस्ट रिमेम्बर द रेंज एंड क्या हो रहा है ट्रेड सरप्लस है या ट्रेड डिफिजिट है सरप्लस है पक्का कितना का कितना कितना सरप्लस है वन ट्वेंटी बिलियन ट्रेड है उसमें ट्रेड सरप्लस कितना है यूएस के साथ पूछ रहे अराउंड थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री बिलियन अराउंड है समथिंग लाइक सेवेंटी सिक्स इज एक्सपोर्ट रेस्ट इज इम्पोर्ट सो एनी वे एग्जैक्ट डाटा नहीं बोल रहा है ट्रेड सरप्लस है आपको पता होना चाहिए एटलीस्ट थर्टी याद रखो और रेंज आपको माइंड में होना चाहिए और क्या सोच सकता है इन्वेस्टमेंट में कितना एफ डी आई आर है यूएस से सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट नंबर्स याद है कोई नहीं अराउंड फिफ्टी बिलियन यूएस डॉलर है लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स का यूएस से एफ डी एनर्जी क्या रिलेशन है इंडिया यूएस का एनर्जी परस्पेक्टिव से क्या सोच सकता है एंड अब इम... न्यूक्लियर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर में और नेचुरल गैस इंपोर्ट कर रहे अब इंपोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट का डाटा बोला ये भी चीज आप कंपलसरली देखना क्या चीज इंपोर्ट कर रहे हैं क्या चीज एक्सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं व्हाट इज हाईएस्ट इंपोर्टिंग थिंग इंडिया इंपोर्ट यूएसए क्या इंपोर्ट कर रहे सर्विसेज नहीं है क्रूड ऑयल है We'll think that every crude oil is coming from West Asia, but <laughs> even with US, the highest trading commodity, or at least highest import trading component component is crude oil. So, what all things we are importing, exporting? At least highest two three things. आपको याद होना चाहिए. Which is highest exporting thing to US? Services, software, gemstones is India's. Mm, ever. क्या बोलते हैं एवर ग्रीन एक्सपोर्ट आइटम ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कंट्रीज इंडिया एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है समथिंग रिलेटेड टू डायमंड्स जेम्स एंड स्टोन्स ऑल दिस थिंग्स और क्या है डायस्पोरा कितना डायस्पोरा है यूएस इंडिया का ठीक है और ओनली वन अराउंड सही है फोर पॉइंट फोर मिलियन है एंड व्हाट इज अनदर एस्पेक्ट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ Education. Most Indian students are going to US for education. कितने बच्चे जा रहे हैं? Around two lakh Indian students are there in US universities. कुछ तो कुछ करके पढ़ रहे हैं वो. So ये सब data मैं क्यों बोल रहा हूँ? At least in your notes ये सब data होना चाहिए. And आपके notes भी ऐसे ही होना चाहिए. अब क्यों जो बड़ा-बड़ा notes बना के जाओ, exam में काम आने के लिए useful नहीं है. और क्या एजुकेशन छोड़ो एजुकेशन हेल्थ केयर में कुछ भी साइन किया है रिसेंटली एटलीस्ट टू थिंग्स आप टू पॉइंट्स याद रखे रखो नोट्स में एटलीस्ट वन पॉइंट लिखो एजुकेशन में इंडिया कुछ साइन किया है अभी कुछ वर्किंग ग्रुप बनाया है ऑन स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड हायर एजुकेशन 2021 में बनाया था सो so, एटलीस्ट वो नाम आप बना के रखो एंड हेल्थ केयर में भी कुछ डील साइन हुआ है उसका एक चीज का नाम रखो सो इफ एक आंसर में यूज करना है योर आंसर विल बी हैविंग सम स्पेसिफिसिटी अब बोला ना जस्टिफिकेशन नहीं है कौन बोला था अब बोला था ना तो एटलीस्ट वन पॉइंट रखो सो यू कैन रिमेंबर दैट एंड रेप्लीकेट दैट एग्जामिनर विल थिंक दैट यू नो एवरीथिंग और हमको भी एक ही पता है बट पेपर में वो दिखना है 
टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर में क्या क्या सब आएगा डिजिटल टेक इमर्जिंग टेक इमर्जिंग टेक क्या है आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और क्या है इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स ऑल दिस थिंग्स स्पेस स्पेस कोलाबोरेशन कुछ और है आफ्टर टेक्नोलॉजी थिंक ऑन लाइन्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी में क्या सब आएगा अलायसेस आएगा बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर मेजर डिफेंस पार्टनर कुछ भी सोच सकता है वो सब सिक्योरिटी एस्पेक्ट आप कितना भी एंड इसमें एक नए पॉइंट सोचना दैट इज साइबर सिक्योरिटी दैट इज समथिंग वी यूजली फॉर गेट और मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग का क्या एग्जाम्पल देगा एटलीस्ट टू एग्जाम्पल पढ़ के रखो एन जी ओ पे इश्यूज कर रहा है एन जी ओ पे इश्यूज हो रहे हैं फोर्ड फाउंडेशन का इश्यू था पहले चार साल पहले फोर्ड फाउंडेशन गवर्नमेंट वॉज बैनिंग एंड यूएस वॉज राइजिंग कंसर्न एमनेस्टी इंटरनेशनल एटलीस्ट टू थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स पढ़ के रखो टू थ्री केसेस सब डायमेंशन से पढ़ के रखो इफ रिक्वायर्ड यू विल जस्ट यूज इट स्ट्रैटेजिक में भी डाल सकता है सिक्योरिटी में आपको डालना है डाल सकता है गो विद स्ट्रैटेजिक ऑल्सो नो इश्यूज ऐसे ये नहीं रखना हम यही रेप्लीकेट करेगा आपका थॉट प्रोसेस ऐसे होना चाहिए वैल्यूज के बारे में सोचो नेशनल इंटरेस्ट के बारे में सोचो स्ट्रैटेजिक के बारे में सोचो ये तो इधर उधर पहले स्ट्रैटेजिक लिखा कोई इश्यू नहीं है समटाइम्स हम आंसर्स विल बी स्ट्रैटेजिक क्वेश्चन सो इन दैट क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू यूज दिस स्ट्रैटेजिक एस्पेक्ट फर्स्ट एंड स्ट्रैटेजिक में क्या सब आएगा कुछ डॉक्टर इन इंडिया फॉलो कर रहा है नाइबरहुड फर्स्ट वट इज दिस गुजराल डॉक्टर इन क्या है अरे वन वर्ड में बोलो ना नॉन रेसिप्रोसिटी द आइडिया इज दैट ओनली वेन इंडिया इज डीलिंग विथ स्मॉल नाइबल्स वो कौन सब है भूटान नेपाल श्रीलंका मालदीव्स बांग्लादेश बांग्लादेश है ओके सो वेन इंडिया इज डीलिंग विद दी स्मॉल नाइबल्स वट एवर दे वॉन्ट इंडिया विल डू इन गुड फेथ एंड इंडिया विल नॉट आस्क फॉर रेसिप्रोसिटी ये आपका की वर्ड्स का लिस्ट में भी है somewhere you should use it now whatever strategic decision india is taking one thing is clear that is china is going to have a role in it why quad is formed why india is an active partner in quad countering china counterbalancing china strategy like we alone cannot fight china so at least bring the like minded people together and form an alliance whatever you say whatever quad goes the ultimate agenda there is a high space for china in whatever strategic decision india is taking now this is what is this terrorism extremism fundamentalism these are three evils which context we will use this in which relation which ir context we use the word three evils wo to hai security issue hi hai terrorism fundamentalism This is specifically we use with relation to Central Asia. Central Asia में आप कुछ strategic question है या CEO का question आया था maybe next next day or after that CEO का question आएगा. So somewhere you should come this into your mind. CEO का question आया. Three evils is one of the biggest challenge in Central Asia: terrorism, extremism, and fundamentalism. <coughs> Rule of law, non-alignment, multipolar global order. and last very important un organization reforms ye bhi aapko sochna hai isme kya likhega india agenda kya hai humko unsc permanent membership chahiye humko world trade organization hai to we want free open tariff free global order humko sab access chahiye so every country is not on the same plane there are conflict within un system सो so, आपको कुछ रिलेट कर सकता है सो यू कैन थिंक ऑन दैट डायरेक्शन आल्सो। हियर वन थिंग इज देयर विच इज मिसिंग डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट दिस इज समथिंग विच वी यूजुअली फॉरगेट। हम सब लिखेगा इकोनॉमी वेरी इजी टू थिंक इवन इफ आई डोंट गिव यू ए स्ट्रक्चर यू विल राइट इकोनॉमिक थिंग्स बट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट मोस्ट पीपल डोंट राइट 
Q because it don't come into mind when we write IR answer. So when this framework or some framework, I say necessary nahi you should think like this only. But if you have a framework in your mind, it's become very easy to open answer in multiple dimensions. So if you have this, it's where five points generate karna hai, six points generate karna hai, asaan hai. More points bhi lik sakta hai if you have space, speed, all these things. Thik hai? Suppose, mein bolta hai? Haan, bolo, bolo. कॉन्फ्लिक्ट है वो लिखना कॉन्फ्लिक्ट किधर है ये ऐसे नहीं है कि हम सब पॉजिटिव में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं हम वैल्यूज के डिस्कस कर रहे हैं पॉजिटिव चीज बट ये सेम फ्रेमवर्क कैन बी यूज फॉर नेगेटिव आल्सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या है आज का आज का टेस्ट का फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या है <coughs> बस 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 USA is facing existential threat. Now, is answer up explain करने में क्या बोलेगा? USA को threat face कर रहा है. So, भी ये same format ही use करना है. How US values are being threatened by China? How US national interest are being threatened by China? How US strategic interest are being threatened by China? ऐसे नहीं है, वर commonality है, उधर only ये framework use करना है. समझ मारे है? So, UN reforms may up ye likhna hai if there is a difference. A question aega Indo-Africa. You bhi pucha hai previous year. Which year I don't remember. Indo-Africa relations may. So, some African countries are not favor of India. Like what India thing? India won UNSC permanent membership with veto power. Humko bhi bada chair chahiye. But African countries chaya chata hai. Some countries continental vice hai, ye usko de, continent ko avoid kar raha hai, then ye isko dene ke liye kya matlab hai. Or some African country, ye veto system hi something wrong hai, should we get away with. So, if you can relate some countries having conflict in this, you can obviously cite that. Exactly what you want. See, when we write things, Africa ka bola. When we are writing issues in India-Africa relations. So, one dimension, one point in that is differences in UN, UN General Assembly perspectives. And either you can cite this, whatever we discussed right now. The idea is not just Africa. Whichever country which is having a conflicting stance with India, when you are writing India is having challenges with that country, you can cite that. Thing is, it can be one of the points in your answer. Abhi hua na? Abhi Ukraine ka crisis ki hua? UN General Assembly, India six times India vote nahi kiya. Hmm. Six time abstain kiya. और भी लिख सकता है इंडिया यूएस यूएन यूएनजे जनरल असेंबली में कितना भी वोटिंग हुआ है अराउंड 20 30 टाइम्स इंडिया यूएन सेम प्लेन प्लेन में आया है बाकी सब टाइम समवेयर वी आर अगेन इजराइल इशू मेनी टाइम्स इंडिया वोटेड अगेंस्ट यूएसए हां हम वोट नहीं करेगा सम समथिंग वी विल डू समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके क्लियर so, ye aaj ka four questions. Let me check any comments. Kuch hai. Speak in English. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So, this is four question. I don't think I don't have to spend time on it. So, we'll directly come to first question. So, tell me what can be different parts of this question. Introduction hum dekhega, conclusion hum baat mein dekhega. Tell me what can be different parts of this question. Bolo, itna kyu soch raha hai, abhi likha hai, 
उधर देख के बोलो एक एक बोलो फर्स्ट आप यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछा व्हाट इज आस्ड इन द क्वेश्चन इज एक्सिस्टेंशियल थ्रेट व्हाट इज इट डज इट मीन समथिंग दैट इज थ्रेटनिंग द फिजिकल एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ द कंट्री इट्स नॉट समथिंग इंडिया पाकिस्तान इवन दो न्यूक्लियर पावर्स है इट्स नॉट वी विल नॉट किल ईच अदर इट्स वेरी रेयर चांस वी विल गो इन दैट वे existential threat means something like north korea that something can happen you will put bomb or you will put go to the extreme extent so that to destroy the other country so why if this word is there whatever point you are writing your answer should have that extremist stance whatever threat you are justifying the answer you should give some extreme position in that stance because existential threat is what is asked okay hello you are saying first first part will be what are existential threats usa is facing and one more thing when you are making this up parts try to take exactly from the question question mein kya wording diya hai wohi wording leke aapka first part ya sub part heading banao isme kya aayega us is facing existential threat in the form of china you can give something like existential threat to usa from china so this will be first part what will be next one more part is there which is much more than first while soviet union so how how china threat is much greater than soviet union that can be second part of it how you can write or you can write simply china is a bigger threat than soviet union because 1 2 3 4 this will exact but there is no harm how lika it's exactly not asked now soviet union threat it is argument is given one kind of opinion is given and one more thing you have to take a note what is the keyword explain what difference it makes you have two page aapko ye analysis you don't have to do this analysis whether china is an existential threat or not you don't have to do the analysis and you don't re- have to reach a conclusion that china is not that much a existential threat to us this kind of conclusion you reach whatever good arguments you give you are right but marks it will be very difficult for marks to come clear explain is the keyword don't go into the analytical part of it you just has to give proof to support the argument and what can be third part you can give a counter perspective which is exactly what i was saying china is not an existential threat but this is the paper it should be a small part with two or three points understanding ye nahi hona hai half page mein ye counter perspective we will explain counter perspective you can still give but as a small paragraph as a small part of your answer major part of your answer will be china is definitely a threat and your conclusion should definitely in that direction china is a threat existential threat to us you are not told to counter that what happened nothing to ask okay. so how much how much part we got three parts you will say suppose two points minimum we will go with minimum two parts in this at least five four parts you can definitely generate from this first point you can definitely make more than five points second part you can at least make four so how 
easy it becomes 10 plus points anyone uh, given more than 10 points your answer you have written right now anyone have written more than 10 points in average kitna how much points you have written 7 point 12 points very good no dimension same points repeat over eh? language <laughs> Okay, okay. Economic, I said divide again. See, so we will go ahead. How we are doing all this, we will see. Bug sakta hai. If you want to add way forward also, you can give. But it is also, it should be also be small part of your answer. Should not happen that way forward is half page. Because this is not such kind of an analytical question or you are not supposed to write a policy challenge. It is not that kind of a question where if you can write way forward, you can write. But the thing is, it should be small part. Major part of your answer should be these two components. Okay. So, this is introduction. Here you can see, what you can see? What, what I am trying to do with this introduction? First thing is, why China issue is happening? why the whole context of this question is or why the China is rising, it is due to the extraordinary economic growth. Last third, three decades, if you see the Chinese growth, it is much above than any other country, even above India also, much above India also. So, it is from this context, China is building its muscles, China is building its strength to counter USA. So, first thing is we are trying to answer why, why this question or why this context is coming into picture. Secondly, liberal use of keywords. What is wolf warrior diplomacy? At least itna pata hona chahiye ye China ka baare mein hai. And uh, bolo, speak. Hmm. Yes, yes, exactly. Openly being aggressive, aggressive against India, aggressive against when Quad was formed, what China said? Asian NATO. It is Asian NATO. US is forming Asian NATO. And they are not withholding their opinions. They are openly coming into press meet and openly saying it. Openly opposing the Western order or Western system. That is part of wolf warrior diplomacy. What is this? Salami slicing strategy. Exactly, exactly. Suppose kya ye? they want to take this much of land. If they come and take the land, it will become a war between India and China. So, what they say? They will come two steps, then create an issue, then India will go for talks, some, something will happen, then they will withdraw till this much. They will not withdraw to the previous position. Then they wait for the next opportune movement, next aggression will come. So, this is salami slicing strategy. It's not just with India, in South China Sea also the same, it is repeating. So, point is in introduction itself, you can start using your keywords. Let's go ahead. Now, this I already discussed so much. This is the same thinking format which we are going to do in this question also. Even though it is a counter question, you need to think not shared values. You need to think on the opposite lines. Rest, everything remains same. And here we have seven points and lot many examples. So, yeah. Hundred the Communist Party. Yes, yes, yes. Why not? Why not? Should use Chinese vision. They are putting forward by these kind of documents. You should use it. Thing is, you can use no issues. Optional PSIR. Don't use so much of scholar's name. Don't use that thing. Rest one document to put forward Chinese vision. That is obviously fine. No issues. 
बट मैंडेटरी नहीं है सब जाके वो डॉक्यूमेंट डोंट ट्राई टू रीड एंड कलेक्ट ऑल डाटा फ्रॉम दिस इफ यू रिमेम्बर यूर यूज इट नो इश्यूज सो वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थिंकिंग फ्रॉम वैल्यू परस्पेक्टिव वट अमेरिकन वैल्यूज चाइना इज अगेंस्ट वट फर्स्ट थिंग डेमोक्रेटिक ऑर्डर एंड वर इट इज विजिबल हॉन्गकॉन्ग प्रोटेस्ट हॉन्गकॉन्ग प्रोटेस्ट विद एवरीथिंग स्टूडेंट्स वर आउट पॉपुलेशन वर आउट दे ट्राइड एवरीथिंग टू प्रोटेक्ट द कैपिटलिस्ट सिस्टम विच है और सेपरेट पोलिटिकल सिस्टम दॉन्गकॉन्ग वॉज है बट वट हैपन्ड इन दी एंड नो कंट्री केम टू हेल्प हॉन्गकॉन्ग Oh, you know, US, no UK, no one. At the end of the day, China got the full control of Hong Kong. And the next tension is going on with Taiwan. It's still not fully under Chinese control, but same strategy China is trying to implement now on Taiwan. You can cite like Tibet in 1960s. What happened with Tibet? You can cite that. So how this in explaining these points you have to show that how this authoritarian attitude will challenge us system us is always pro democratic order at least in visible perspective us is pro democratic so <coughs> what is next second most important value us stand for is free market economy what is free market economy everything demand supply means of production should be handled by market controlled by private capitalism so all these values are china is threatening what model china is promoting state controlled model if you can see fortune fortune 500 companies most these companies are from china for a long time it was us company was having absolute dominance over this recently it is overtook by china and almost all the companies from china are state some were connected to state state owned or state funded some were state is having a control over this company how is china an economic threat to us china and us are highly interdependent economies whatever strategic struggle china is saying us is having with us at the end of the day iphone is being manufactured in china major part in china some part in india but still china is there whatever it is whatever being products being sold in us a major part of it is being manufactured in china and you it cannot be manufactured in us iphone it is still costly but if it is manufactured in us it can be only owned by few people it become that much costly so somehow there is strong interdependence between us economy and chinese economy and what is going on trade war for 2 3 years the rates are going high 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 and high. retaliatory ta tariffs are being charged so this can lead to collapse of what you can cite this is the core issue behind collapse of wto when whole this trade war is going on wto is just watching it it is not having a capacity to intervene it is not having a solution to the problem it's just being a spectator to hold these events technological threat what you can say it what this company was doing it was building 5g infrastructure throughout the world in australia uk india everywhere they were having leading contracts for developing 5g and what happened why why the issue is the board of the company is having members from chinese state chinese defense some secretaries some people from chinese state chinese communist party is part of the board or high board of the company so this led to ban company from almost everywhere now somebody you told about vision document vision 48 usme one major component is technology china is not just looking at whatever it is doing till now it will continue it is looking at technology what technology it is building militarization of space is going on 
militarization of artificial intelligence is going on. So everything it is doing, new technology, whatever it is coming, it is having a military aspect to it. International, it's China is building its own space station. Strategic threat, how it is a strategic threat to principles. What you, US, Indo-Pacific US idea, what it is? Free, open, inclusive, Indo-Pacific. And what China says? UN and close, they come up with some laws. This land is of Palestine. Sorry, which country was it? Vietnam. Vietnam, something like that. Then they came up with the order, and China say this order is not applicable to us. Finished. So the whole global order is being openly threatened by China. Now, what is the environmental aspect you can think of? COP26. Kabua? 2021, up 27 over. 2021 COP26 happened and what is one major criticism? Till 26 was happening, everyone was or at least China was indirectly saying we will phase out coal. Coal. And China strategically hmm, phase out change karge, phase down bola. And what it means? Phase down is highly subjective. Phase down means we will reduce to some extent, but it will continue for next 50 years. That is stand of India. That is criticism against India as well as China. So China is also biggest threat to environment also. It is biggest polluter and it is having all those issues. Now UN organization, I already told WTO, UN close, you can something, cite something of it. Okay. The point is, you know how to generate the points. If you have a framework, generating the six, seven points of examples, that's not that difficult. Now, this is another aspect. Second part, what it is? How Soviet China is a bigger threat compared to Soviet Union? How will you say explain this dimension? Don't look at the board. How will you explain this dimension? China is a bigger threat than Soviet Union. No, no, no. I'm asking how will you think? We told a framework how to think on all this. Yes, 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 your argument is correct. What I'm asking is how to think, not the points. I'll, I'll carry on. So the point is, you can think from stakeholders perspective. Who are the stakeholders here? From Chinese perspective, how China is a bigger threat than USSR. From USA perspective, how China is a bigger threat than USSR. And if there is question is on Indo-Pacific or you can relate to some other stakeholders, how from all these stakeholders perspective, how the argument is being supported. So from China's perspective, there is high economic interdependence between USA and China. If you compare with USSR, there was nothing. There was no trade between USA and China. Major trade. This is only China have. Second, as exactly he told, China is have a technological vision. Whatever USSR was building was military technologies. Apart from military technologies, USSR doesn't have much of any developments. But China is not like that. China is have building everywhere. Military advancements you can see, USS, it's making Indo-Pacific openly challenging other countries, even Indian borders, openly challenging um, border security of India, like integrity of territorial integrity of other countries. With respect to USA, what you can say? China is a threat because USA is undergoing one of the worst economic situations. How you can substantiate this? High inflation. What is US inflation? 7% something is coming. And 7% if you think from India's perspective, it is okay. Till 6% we are mandated. 7% means near it to it. But from USA, it is an economy for decades. It is having 1% inflation, 2% inflation. Even 2% inflation is considered to be an inflation. In that country, it is having 7%, 8% inflation. That means something is fundamentally very wrong declining of dollar, everything is happening. 
Trumpism. What is Trumpism? Yeah, America first policy. Withdraw from every organization. We will withdraw from WHO. Conservative policies. Paris climate deal. We will withdraw. So this kind of against climate change. Climate change is a false. According to Trump. Climate change, I say, it is nothing like a climate change. So this kind of policies is contributing to fall of America. What other artificial intelligence? Climate change is biggest existential threat. It's not just to USA or China, but to everyone. Climate change is one of the biggest existential threat. How is artificial intelligence? So these are the dimensions which were not there when USSR issue was there. Now we have other existential threats also. So all the things will accumulate to be a bigger threat in front of US. COVID, yeah, bioweapon, that aspect also you can see. But you should be careful. Huh? This Everything is conspiracy. You cannot directly accuse China made it. But you can still use that. Yes, yes, yes. China opened for investigation after one year or something, a long period of time. By the time everything was gone. Mm-hmm. You have to write in from cumulative perspective. Yes, yes, yes. Thing is, here we are saying, due to these advantages, China have over USSR. Clear? Secondly, USA is having a worse time. Condition of USA is very weakened today, so that these problems can become a compounded effect on the overall threat paradox or whatever you say. In that aspect, you have to say. Argument is valid. <coughs> Go ahead, we are taking too much time, I think. So this is counter perspective. What is counter counter perspective? Obviously, USA is China is a threat to USA, but it is too much exaggerated to say it is an existential threat. Still, USA is the biggest economy. Still, USA has goodwill in almost all part of the world. You go to Europe, USA is a major diplomatic. All this contribution is doing in India also, in Indo Pacific also. US cannot be countered that much easily. Obviously, it can be threatened at some zones like neighborhood of China within South Korea, North Korea, Japan, Indian borders. At some zones, China has an advantage. But saying that it is an existential threat to US, that is too much exaggerated. Ideologically, US is high placed. What does it mean? Still, democratic system, open trade, free, free trade, these are all still very highly valued policies. Authoritarian Chinese policies are be still not accepted in major part of the world. We can give some other example. China is having its own internal problems. What you can see? One example. Zero tolerance COVID policy. It backfired. Another you can cite minority human rights issues. Xinjiang issue. Minorities issue you can cite. So, oh, Tibet also you can cite. Tibet liberation movement still going on, even though no forward. <coughs> so, in conclusion, what do you keep in mind? You should have a conclusion which is in line with the argument of the question. You can write something facing existen existential threat. If you can cite one more keyword in this, it's quite good. Okay. So the approach more or less remains same in all question. So second question, quickly tell me what are the different parts of this question. What introduces friction into the ties between India and the United States is that Washington is still unable to find for India a position in its global strategy, which would satisfy India's self-esteem and ambitions. Explain with suitable examples. Bolo. Friction in ties. 
second part america's global strategy hmm. you can go with the way forward also why way forward because here we are handling an issue with respect to india something which we have so much points on way forward if you 15 marker secondly one question was there uh, iran usa iran withdrawn from that jcp that nuclear deal usa withdrawn and problems for iran so in that kind of a question where india is not directly coming the question is asking what impact it will have on india or something like that in that question it is okay not to directly jump into way forward but this kind of question you can even go with it we we'll see so what is this what we'll write on introduction try to use some keywords in the introduction and try to give what is the context of this question how usa's inability to find a position for india is contributing to friction that can be first part our thinking lines remain same first we think along values national interest strategic you can generate points whatever examples we discuss so far more or less it will be same you have to discuss with respect to india what are the some examples values we are thinking human rights the report which report religious freedom report it is being published by us state department so it will say india is not have following this xyz principles and indian minister will say the report is false or so this is your ford foundation issue economic perspective what is the issues economic you can think so much issues in wto us sued india for what this solar mission program few years ago wto us sued india for india giving subsidies for this solar mission program and india lose the case basmati wala case again sued sugar subsidies recent hua tha which one cards are what strategic okay so much you can think india was taken out from this gsp preferential tariff system and bangladesh is within the system so bangladesh which industry textile industry is getting advantages of it compared to india phytosanitary measures where it comes phytosanitary measures poultry us is not allowing any poultry imports from india any milk products imported from india how it create the non tariff barrier it will say that this chemical should not be less than this percent and if that person will be some that when all indian vegetables that person will always be there so some kind of strict measures in the us is doing this ipr issues famous case which one is it ipr now what is now what is case what was it ever greening of section 3d of indian act uh, immigration visa concern what it what h1b visa you can think so, so much of examples here digital diplomacy what is the issue between india and usa india considers whatever data is generated from india is a part of indian sovereign material but usa say what it should be open it should be cross border flow of data should be there and one example you can cite osaka declaration of 2020 g20 meet india refused to sign the deal s400 strategic aspect you can write that climate finance what is the issue you don't read it think on it 
100 billion promise developed countries made it when it was made 2010 something 2010 by 2020 100 billion per year transfers will be done to developing countries for climate change mitigation and so far nothing was done and india was always saying it should be materialized somehow but nothing is happening face down of coal you can say historical responsibility you already know what is it usa contributed how much to the carbon dioxide around 25% of ha huh, 20 25% of the extra carbon dioxide after the industrial revolution in the atmosphere is contributed by usa how much india contributed less than 4% 3% 4% around that range and india is saying we are 18% population we have to feed everyone we will not take the now india is not saying it but the debate is like that <coughs> strategic what are issues you can cite who told that as 400 issue you can cite it to your russian military equipments one unofficial data says that 85% of the indian military equipment is russian made So if this much if Russian is there, how can we decouple from Russia and go to US side? There is a limitation to it. Somewhere we need Russian, at least to some extent. Yes, yes, yes. It is continuously reducing. Still, what is continental policy? Continental in Indo-Pacific, India's major strategic partner is USA. we have quad we have every arrangements whatever usa major defense partner that is set in the context of indo pacific but when we come to the continental asia technically india don't have any partners only partner india can rely upon is russia and that was also getting weakened by every year military dependence is falling china russia axis is building china russia pakistan axis is creating against india so all these in continental russia if continental asia if india need any footing india need russia whatever it be so that is one reason for india stands against during the ukraine war crisis what is your organization i already told this only 20% of the times india and us are coming on the same page in us resolutions us un resolutions Yes, yes, yes. With with veto power, some example you can come in two months. You can use it. Clear? Pay forward care subligation. Here also you can think from stakeholder perspective. India is there, USA is there. Some other points also there. Anything it you need to add on to it? the line of thought should be very similar it's not difficult to generate points conclusion panchil panchil india us you can principles mm -hmm. write it as panchil principles or panchil ideology something like that idea can be always used okay this is one different approach to conclusion if don't try to use this in every answer it will over complicate the things but if you can remember some dialogue given by the prime minister regarding india us relations if you can remember some dialogue given by foreign minister or at least you can remember the idea paraphrase it and write it that will give extra value to your answer clear he is giving so much statements on all countries so at least one one yaad karke rakho sab countries ke bare mein kya bol raha hai let's go so yeah give me first give me different parts of this question Quad is transforming itself into huh? different part of question.
squared as ठीक है आई डन लिटिल एक्स्ट्रा आल्सो व्हाट यू आर सेइंग क्वाड एस स्ट्रेट और क्वाड एस व्हाट इस क्वेश्चन इस सेइंग मिलिट्री टू ट्रेड तो इस इन मेक सेंस फर्स्ट यू राइट व्हाट एक्जेक्टली क्वाड इस क्वाड वास going okay quad started as a military agreement strategic agreement at least so first write why quad is military then come to what quad as trade now what this question is what is keyword in this question discuss in last two question you were given explain in explain you don't need to go too much into the analytical part you can simply write the arguments supporting points you can finish it here the discuss is the keyword there is a scope for going into analytical part so we are writing quad was a military then quad becoming trade then you can give it one more dimension why quad is becoming trade this will be analytical part of your answer. After that, you can go with conclusion way forward as you want. Clear? If you are including way forward also, four parts you easily got. Even four or five points, it will suffice enough number of points. So, how will you introduce this answer? Some deal is happening, some grouping is there, it is very easy. Just define the grouping. Informal strategic forum comprising of this, this is one keyword which not used here. You can use is diamond. One keyword which is relevant to quote diamond democracies. Collaboration between diamond democracies like India, all these countries. Now, as a part of extension to it. We are writing stated objectives of quad. Where we will get this? Where we will get this? Now G20 is happening. At least open the G20 website and see what is the stated objectives of this organization. At least some organization which is very prominent. This quad question kab aya? 2020 mein aya. That year quad was formed. So it was very common for you to think it can be a probable question in that year formed in 2007 2020 to a formal summit oh, first time <laughs> yes 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 so yeah at least in that probable question open the website and see what they are saying so fourth thing quad up upholds human rights rule of law Respect for sovereignty and integrity, peaceful resolution of disputes in Indo Pacific. Even in this, you can see somewhere it is all aligned towards military or strategic dimensions are there. This you can represent as a diagram, simple arrow diagram, doesn't need to take so much of time. Now, who had as a military alliance? That is first part of our point. How will generate? Ultimately, why quad is formed? That is containment of China. China is the common enemy of common against of everyone. So that is the idea behind formation of quad. Second, we already seen what is the stated vision of the quad, and almost three or four options we have somehow related to military aspects. Clear? Yeah. Now, there is active military exercises happening between these countries. Some other exercise you can remember? Malabar is written here. Or with the BS is with USA. In Australia, one was conducted, no? Black something. Something like that. Huh. The point is, these countries are actively collaborating militarily also. 
you can say it india was declared as major defense partner in this time so military components are actively coming into picture second from russia china they are directly opposing quad as asian nato okay so what they are doing they are also saying that the quad is having some military aspect that is against china all this add value to the perspective that quad is a military alliance and one thing i was always referring g20 summit is happening how to use it so during this time 2022 quad summit what you have to do is at least take half page it will take when the summit is over so many articles will come at least remember four five major things abhi idhar kya likha hai ipmda indo pacific partnership for maritime domain awareness the idea is one institution is formed which will give real time surveillance in the indo pacific region so this organization was formed in quad 22 summit so if you have a half page note five things quad 22 summit when it was happened that time you note five lines five different terms like this that is how you should use this in g20 question if a question come you should know at least some points 22 recent summit mein kya hua tha what was decided in it okay second part quad is going into trade from military it is going to a trade block what are evidences of it quad is upholding a de democratic vision free open inclusive indo pacific that is economic oriented free indo pacific kyu chahiye because 80% of the crude oil is going through that range if it is not free it is controlled by china it will affect everyone's economy second india is downplaying militarization of quad what indian military chief is saying quad is not such a intended to become a military alliance without taking on the face value of what he is saying india is still downplaying the military aspects of quad <coughs> what is this what is this okus australia uk and usa what it does nuclear submarines to australia usa or uk will provide so already there is a military alliance coming in indo pacific so this will also downplay the important military importance of quad second again 2022 quad summit if you have five points it will be very useful so g20 what is happened whatever happened editorial so much editorials will come after this one week if you read the newspaper every day in g20 meets something something will happen but the, at the end of all this you need a half page note where five six things like this is listed down 2022 quad summit these were the takeaways quad fellowship quad satellite 5g and infrastructure development global health architecture all these are not military what is military in this so these are evidences that quad is moving from military to trade block third part of our answer you want to take pick yes yes you can say what else third part of our answer analytical part which i told why quad is transforming itself into trade block what is the reason one thing is there are so many analysts or so many editorial writers you can see that era of military groupings are gone nato was a close knit collective defense strategy that kind of a alliance is not possible in 21st century era of that thing is gone we need more like partners today not like usa will come and protect india we don't need a partner like that we need equal partners which will share the responsibility what usa is doing 
USA and India has similar vision in Indo-Pacific. So we will cooperate in that because we too have similar vision. It's not like USA will come and protect India's vision. What next is China challenge? If you want to counter China, China is not putting forward a, it's just a military threat. We discussed earlier also, whatever Chinese threat is, it is as much as economic. China is having a very strong economy unless that aspect is handled how you are going to contain China. So whatever containment of China you are thinking there should be some economic thought to it. What else? We have a bigger challenge like climate change. So we need groupings to have a role in this also. Second there is so much at stake. If there is this analysis, according to this analysis, if India reduce the tariff with the quad countries only, Indian GDP can grow at 2% more. So 2% growth for India means it's huge. India is already fourth largest economy and that can gain a 2% increase just by reducing tariff or trade barriers with quad countries. That's something very quantitative. Similarly, what is you idea is I'm thinking from stakeholders perspective. What is USA's role or USA's interest in quad becoming a trade block? It has to reduce the complex interdependence with China. What is Australia? Australia is also pursuing the idea of decoupling with China. What is Australia's issue with China? Australia is forming AUKUS, submarine. Why? It is also something against China. What is Australia's problem with China? Interdependence to hai. Minerals. Recent issue. Ah, say. Region. Region, neighborhood. Recent issue came from COVID. Why from COVID? USA was the proponent of saying China built the COVID, China created the COVID, Australia, not USA, Australia I am saying. Australia was very supporter of Trump was saying and Australia wanted an independent inquiry into all this. Australia pushed for it and what you, China did in return? China did sign phytosanitary measures, we told now. From Australia, major export to China is beef products poultry products, beef products, milk products, these kind of things, dairy products, not banned, they put non-tariff trade barriers so that these products will not come to China. Officially banned, nahi kiya, but yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You can connect this with recently India is trying to sign what FTA with Australia. Abhi kuch sign kya hai early FTA, uh -huh. limited FTA already signed hua. So all these have something related to China. Okay. Yes, 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 counterbalancing China's, yes, yes, you can do, okay, go ahead, conclusion, you can write something, what has written, <coughs> China, what does have a military perspective, even though it is going towards trade block, even though it is expanding its ambit, it is still not wise to say that what is something which is not exactly military. Quad is still strategic, quad is still military. Yes, yes, yes. You can relate with that. Hard power is necessary at least in handling China. You cannot sit with your soft power only. Quad plus, yes, yes, yes. You can conclude with that also. Quad, if trade block in that aspect you are writing a conclusion. 
squared can go into quad plus all this. What next? Last question for the day. What happened? We'll try to finish in very fast. Okay. How much? We have four questions for tomorrow also. It will become very complex. We will try to finish it very fast. Thing is, major points I have already discussed. Whatever we further discussing is just the specificity with these questions. Yeah, we will we'll finish it fast. Please listen. The Tri Nation Partnership occurs is formed at countering China's ambitions in the Indo Pacific region. Is it going to supersede the existing partnerships in the region? Discuss the strength and impact of a quiz in the present scenario. What is so good about this question? Sab pucha, everything is asked. You don't need to so, put so much mind and build the dimensions on your road. What is asked, you write, you will still get 20 points to fill the pages. We will go straight into it. I am not discussing. So, introduction will define what is Okus. What is it? It is a trilateral security partnership between Australia, UK and USA. What it does? It will provide nuclear powered submarines to Australia. Okay. First part of the answer. How AUKUS is countering? This is one statement is given. So, instead of starting directly from this, you should at least respect the statement and it is a 15 marker, you have 3 pages. So, one statement is given, we are just substantiating the statement. What is it? Okur is countering Chinese ambitions in the Indo-Pacific. How? There is a vision, common vision. It's obvious, Indo-Pacific, free open China and containment of China, all these are a part of it. Second, Australia is to count. Australia is, still now Australia is not a defense active role, it is playing. Whatever Australia is within the ambit of US protection and it is still not active. Huh. Now they are trying to revamp their position. Third, USA perspective, USA lost hold. What it is? Trumpism we already discussed. Due to Trump and ASEAN split you can write. With the advent of China, ASEAN countries are made to choose between China or USA. So this is forcing split in ASEAN. So, USA is losing hold from these Indo-Pacific countries. So, they need to rebuild this. What is UK perspective? They are also try, trying to increase their role in Indo-Pacific. Secondly, a very important point. Today, they are signing a deal for nuclear powered submarines. These are not nuclear bomb submarines. These are just powered by nuclear technology and they are submarines. Now, tomorrow, this can expand to nuclear weapons ballistic missiles, then it become a real threat, okay. Now there can be arms race in the re region and India can be a part of it, all this you can write. These all points say that this is directly aimed at countering China itself. What next? Now these are all what directly asked in the question, what is the question asked? Is it going to supersede the existing partnerships in the region? Don't look at the board. What is the existing partnership in the region? Tell me at least two, three. You can remember. Quad, ASEAN, or something you can connect with. It's very difficult to think, but still, Quad, ASEAN, Five Eyes Treaty. What it is? Five bigger countries sharing intelligence. It's very difficult to think in the real exam, but st still, if you can think, it is good. ANZUS is some other organization with Australia, New Zealand, and USA partnership between them. What this organization does this intelligence sharing. USA is there, Canada is there, Australia, New Zealand, and UK. Five organization is developing intelligence. So, at least ASEAN and Quad, you should think. Yes, yes, it is also intelligence strategic partnership. So, is this going to supersede? You can directly write from this perspective. From quad perspective, it will be already discussed. 
it already a militarization is opening in the region so quad militarization may take a back hold we can this another partners are coming and these partners are some partners here is not some partners here so this may lead to clashes ASEAN unity will be threatened already discussed China is offering some benefits to some countries USA is coming from the other side so ASEAN is also facing the heat beyond military alliance we already discussed it can go to trade agreement like trade aspect can also come with AUKUS all this will come why how it is going to supersede the organization now no it is not going to supersede how, what points you will write every organization is having different objective ASEAN is specifically economic objective organization it is mainly focus is economy only no strategic competition is going to be a part of ASEAN Quad is having a broad vision we already discussed Quad is discussing everything from satellite education what not this is ex intelligence only limited intelligence space only this organization is functioning so every organization is having its own territory or its own scope so it's not like if a coup came it will completely destroy others that is not the stance second okus can act as a complementary partnership like quad okus can support quad like militarization of quad is very difficult idea from india perspective india is still not a ally of us okus yes 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 but militarization happening in indo pacific is good for india even though india is not a part of it you can write <laughs> yeah second indian statement always on a very diplomatic line quad is of course is neither relevant to quad nor it will have any impact on its functioning it definitely will have some impact but that is the stance which india is maintaining so the question is is it going to so some question like this you don't need to leave like this you have to take a stance either you should say it will not or you should say it will how many of you took a stance you you told both it can or cannot but it's anyway you have to write a line on it you have to say that this is the analysis i have done and this is the conclusion i made either it will i'm not saying you should write this only you should but clearly mention it either it goes this way or it go that way or you can also say we cannot say it can might go any of the ways okay what next now directly from the question nothing much to discuss here what is strength we will discuss and impact strength these are all we already discussed i don't think we should go deep into it you can generate examples i hope <laughs> what happened one thing one thing in impacts how will you write impact of ocus messaging to china i mean i'm not asking points what thinking process will it be see yes yes everything is correct the point is impact can have positive can have negative so make two dimensions when you are answering if question is asking you impact of xyz you should write about positive impacts you should write about negative impacts Sim similarly significance some question will ask you about significance negative aspects may yes 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 significance if some question significance is asking you should go from different perspective from india perspective china perspective usa perspective indo pacific so a question asking significance it is better to go with the stakeholder approach if a question is having a impact you should write both sides of it at least think on it so what can be positive impacts one is check china points are very similar to what we have so much discussed negative impacts okay conclusion you can write something like quad agenda connecting with or some other keywords and you can go with a conclusion <coughs> 
Anything else? For tomorrow, we have Indo Russia, Indo China. If possible, we will discuss the neighborhood, India's neighborhood relations also. Point is, no questions are coming from the, that's why it is not directly written in the syllabus. 2022 may question as Sri Lanka. Before that, in five years, Indian neighborhood, no question is coming. So that's why our syllabus list doesn't have that thing. Anything else? So go and prepare as I told, strategic national interest or values. This kind of notes you make, this kind of approach you try to do for India, Russia, India, China and try to generate points in tomorrow's paper. Okay. 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 Thank you everyone. So good evening everyone. So who was test? Bolo kuch. Kitne lika? Char lika? Teen lika? Fourth one you didn't know. Aapne? Oh lika? Nahi lika? SC objectives you cannot guess? No, I don't know. But can't you guess? Why did you do that? How much did you answer? How much? You answered? You haven't attempted anything. You? Which one you left? Fourth one. You attempted fourth one. Very good. So, any difference from yesterday? Did you use anything of keywords? Which keywords you used? Kiya? Bolo. Points generate karne. Keywords, keywords puch ra? Not from them, any, anything from your mind you used in paper? Say something if you have. It's okay enough. Itna don't ki nahi dena. Dena do, dena do. So let's start the discussion. First, where is the Paper, keyword paper, you haven't brought. So these are new, three new two keywords from yesterday's and today's newspaper. Have you seen this? Any of these? Globalization, sunai, pehle sunai. Ye aaj ke newspaper mein hai, strategy of friend shoring. Nobody read today's editorial. You have some work related to it now? Haven't read. Different. This is taken from today's Hindu editorial. Oh. I saw that editorial page either big editorial will come, one small will come here. From this article it is coming. You should follow some news which is relevant to our talks we are going in the doing in the class. So what is it? Trade as geopolitical weapon. That is obvious, you will all know. Where we can use this? You could have used in today's paper, India, China. Anything Chinese strategy you need to explain, you could use this keyword. To the list of paper I already gave you, add these things. What is this? Strategy of French shoring. What is this? Yellen says US and its allies should use French shoring to give supply chain a boost. Can you guess what is French shoring from this news heading? Countries, wait, wait, I will give you opportunity. Those countries at the seashore should do the economics or trade. Or what are you saying? Yeah. 
Countries who are friends with US should do the supply chain, do the trade. Any other suggestion? This is almost the correct answer. So what US is saying, highly countries, something like India, something like Japan, Australia, we see in Quad. These countries should align the supply chain in their benefit. Like if US has to procure something, usually where it procure from? China. So the idea is you should give more importance to ally countries, even though something strategic element is coming into trade. This in one way it can be seen as against what? Against what? Not into Russia, against the idea of globalization. Globalization see, economic should be the basics of doing trade. You should not come up with some other agenda into it. But French roaring, strategy of French roaring, this is something which works against globalization. What is this one, globalization? Globalization plus localization. Something like you can see Domino's. The same pizza is not delivered in India and USA. When it comes to India, it makes some changes. Some wedge am amount will increase. Yeah, KFC, wedge. KFC is also making something wedge. So, some local elements are coming into global products. Even though global marketing is going on, local elements are coming into it. So, that is localization. Which one? French roaring? What do you want? What it is? Exactly, US want to get some deals. What is the criteria to get the deal? Suppose you want to buy something, US want to buy something, what is the criteria? You go and buy from a cheapest price point you are getting it. That is economy is the only line of thought which you are engaging at, looking at. Now French Roaring says that, what is the risk in it? What is the risk in doing this strategy? Suppose you are getting everything cheap from China. Over the years, it is getting, you are get, developing a dependence with China. And China, if, I'm not specifically saying China, if that country is not a trustable ally or trustable country, then it can work against you. So to avoid that, even though it is not the cheapest price you are getting, the ally countries should come together and do the trade or influence the trade. That strategy in general, we call French shoring. So, US and India should do this. That is what the Yellen is some minister, like secretary in Biden administration. So, she is saying India and US should do more of this front shoring. The idea is this is also a part of containment of China strategy, broader strategy. Let's move ahead. So, these are four questions. If you are watching online and haven't gone through, you can pause the video and just see this. This question, most, most are saying this was not attempted. This was tough. Yeah, it is. Actually, the question came in 2018. That year, India joined the agreement. So, that was very related to that year current affairs question. So, you don't remember it today. It's not a crime. It's okay. Anything else? Any other issues, major issues? Any other question? SEO is always today also in news. You shouldn't say that you should don't know about SE. Baki two things also today are almost relevant today also. Yes, yes, yes. We will see this. That is within the question, we will see when discussing that question. Move ahead. So, first question. All game we, what we done yesterday, we are do, going to do the same thing. Tell me what is different parts of this question, answer which you are going to make. What significance, what is the significance of Indo-US defense deals over Russian defense, Indo-Russian defense deals? Discuss with reference to the stability in the Indo-Pacific. So what are you going to do? 
How is significance of Indo US deal you will write first? Significance of Indo US deals. What is second part? Significance of Indo Russia. What is what is the need for that? How US deal is more significant than Russia deal? Okay, next part. Stability in Indo Pacific. Anything else? Any other suggestion? Way forward, if you want, you can add also. So, at least three, four dimensions you can see. Just follow the same rule what we have followed yesterday. Let's see how we can generate points. So, what the introduction you have given? Anyone used any keywords in introduction? What is context of this question? In this definition introduction, you cannot give a definition. There is nothing to define. So, what we can do? What is context of this question? Why this question is coming? Actually, this is also a current affairs question when it was asked. It was asked in 2020. What is significance? Major development. S400 became very significant later years. This time India signed the BECA agreement with USA. So, when a major deal is signed, a military deal is signed with USA, then the news and editorial all this was in news during that time. But this year when you are writing mains, you will write mostly with reference to this. But when we are discussing the answer today or writing answer after two years, we are not going to, we might even not remember this, it is okay. You do not need to focus too much on this. So, what introduction you have given? Idea is you are contextualizing like why into US significance is coming because of containment of China. That is why the question is coming that is why all these idea debates are going on containment of China. So, that is or counter counterbalancing China. So, that we use in the introduction. Clear if de facto ally. Somebody have gone through the last keyword given in that sheet is de facto ally. What it means? Something like all weather alley. You can trust double alley simply. The point what I am showing is try to learn and use some keywords. It looks like a very expert answer. If you can reproduce at least two, three keywords in the answers. After that, If required, you can see what are major India-US defense deals which is going on. Which all deals India is signed, foundation agreement is there. You do not need to write 4 or 5. At least 3 you can remember. At least quad you can remember very easily. 2 plus 2 there is always in news. You can remember. Or major defense partner that is something which is something at least 3 points you show in a diagram. These are the major deals which are going on and you should focus on it. If you are making notes, you should make everything, but in real exam condition, at least 2, 3 will suffice. Then this is also major, not major part of the question, not asked. That is why we are representing it is in a diagram form or some other form which do not take too much of space or do not take too much of time. Okay. So, move ahead. So, what we want to analyze significance of Indo US over Indo Russia. So, actually, discuss with reference to stability of Indo Pacific. How you inculcate this into the answer? 
you are giving separate section to it that is very much okay but the idea is whatever point you are writing here or whatever point you are writing in this answer it should have tried to make some references to the Indo-Pacific in every point may not be possible but 10 point like at least 7 point should be somewhere linked to try to link it with happening or countries in the Indo-Pacific okay so whenever I told yesterday also significance we are discussing we can discuss it from stakeholders perspective who are stakeholders here India is the Konore US is the if you can see Russia greater than US that can be also part of it then it Indo-Pacific can be also part of it. So what is significance of Indo-US defense deals from all these perspectives you can think of at least few dimensions from India perspective what it can be counterbalancing China blue water policy what it is Navy. having Navy that is powerful capable or doing its own work it is right when you explain this you should write something related to Indo-Pacific what you like right Malacca Strait or some examples or some something which is related to Indo-Pacific you should substantiate the point what is second point regional security vision what is India's regional security vision here also when you are writing it what is you should connect it with net security provider idea India does want supporting country to do all this in the Indo-Pacific. India cannot counter China, India cannot directly interfere in the matters happening in the Indo-Pacific. So it is very significant, India should have a very strong supporting nations like US or Japan, Australia, all these countries in its ambit. <coughs> Military modernization, what is it? Say something, military modernization. In almost every answer related to Indian military, Indian army, this should be one of your major point. Military modernization. We are doing this S-400. Why we are buying? We need to upgrade our military. Technology transfers we are doing with Russia, with all other countries, France, Rafael deal. The basic idea of all this is, you need to upgrade the military. <coughs> what is it? Democratic values, future expansion, all these points you can substantiate with whatever discussion we already had. So go ahead. At least four or five points from India perspective you can generate, you should generate. Second, with reference to US, what is significance? What US today is fighting for? Containment of China is there. Apart from that, what it is fighting for? Minerals is totally different game. What US really is fighting is Afghanistan is gone. They withdrawn from Afghanistan and how they withdrawn? in a haphazard way and giving the country to Taliban whom they came fighting and they given the country to Taliban and they left after 20 years. So somewhere US is losing hold not just in continental Asia in everywhere. You can see this in South China Sea. When China told we will not follow any orders of UN convention, sea convention, there was no much hard response from USD. All what it is doing is sending the submarines sending some ships to the Indo-Pacific. Beyond that, to enforce the law or the enforce the order, there was no engagement from US. And small, so many small countries from in Indo-Pacific region, ASEAN countries, they are shifting towards Chinese, especially due to this BRI is also coming. 
huge investment opportunities is China putting before them. So due to all these developments, there is U.S. is losing hold in the region. And one idea U.S. keenly want is they want to regain their lost hold. Uh -huh. This is very important we to keep its hegemony or unipolar U U.S. That's the world vision of U.S. To keep that intact, they need to get more control or more access to Indo-Pacific. Counter China, you will write market potential, but you can write examples in it. Defense market itself is a very huge industry. India is one of biggest, right? Recently, India became second now. Who is first? Saudi Arabia, I guess. So, India is itself a very huge defense market. And some country who is propounding the free market, all these, how can they leave Indian market, defense market? And there is Indian interest also. What is Indian interest? Recently, we have opened the manufacturing FDI in defense segment. So, India also wanted defense investment to come to India. So, this is something like benefiting to both countries. What else you will write? Significant to stability of Indo-Pacific. Vision, it's but whenever Indo-Pacific is coming, you should include some point like this. Free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific. That is a vision which India is upholding. What is this? Alternative security partner. What does it mean? Yes, yes, yes. So, for security purposes, we need a country that is at least given option to against China. China, what it is providing, BRI, whatever the investment opportunity China is putting forward, we at least need some countries who can counter the, there is one alternative option also. So, that we can develop with Indo-US defense deals or agreements. And a step towards multipolar world order. Like this is also vision in Indo-Pacific. The idea is to develop a multipolar world order. This is against, against even US vision. What is US world vision? Unipolar world vision or hegemonic, US hegemonic world vision. So this is, even though we say that India and US are coming together, India and US are strategically aligning together, still there is a differences in world vision in between India and US itself. Move ahead. Then we can write from limitations of Indo-Russia defense deals. This is why the significance of Indo-US is coming into picture. What you can write? Role of Russia is mainly come in continental aspects. Whatever the fight is going on in Indo-Pacific is between US and China. Hardly any Russian ship is coming into fight or conflict. <clears throat> so, Russian importance even in Ukraine war, what we discussed? One reason why India was not voting against Russia was India need an ally in the continental Asia policy. But that is totally inapplicable to Indo-Pacific. Indo-Pacific, Russia is a not a major player compared to Russia, China and USA. What this is? Rising Russia, China, Pakistan axis. This axis is perceived to be against Indian interest. So, if we have 85 percent dependence on Russian weapons that have some imbalances in within it. What is this? Western sanctions? That is after word of what Ukraine crisis. Example, what you will cite in this example, Western sanctions as 400, all this you can cite. Now, even this is also related to Ukraine crisis. Due to that, even as 400 delivery is getting delayed. Promised delivery dates are being crossed and due to supply chain disruptions, all this is going 
indefinitely. Now this is a counter perspective to it. So, so far we are saying what is important is into US. So, you can give a counter perspective this to question also that is into Russia is not completely relevant. But again saying this should not be 5 point is enough. If there you are writing 10 points or 12 points in this section 4 5 points will suffice. Do not give too much argument into it. But it can be high defense equipment dependence. You can cite the data 85 percent. There are other data also like 68 percent was there 2014 to 18. Four year data is being launched. <coughs> uh, military modernization Russian system is very important to India. S400 we are discussing too much. What are other system which you can think of? What are other into Russian major defense trade or defense collaborations? Both of rifle. Rifles hai. Or important, something which we study for prelims every year. Missile, some missile, which missile? Brahmos. Every time you are using this S400, everyone will get bored. So, at least learn something else. What you can or write? INS Vikramaditya. What is it? Submarine, all this technology transfer is also coming from Russia. At least remember 2 3 because S400 is something you will anyway write in the exam. Another factor is Russian partnership is something which has stood the time from 1971. When was India signing friendship treaty with 1971 with Russia? So, from 71 to so far, there is no major conflict between Russia. So, this is something which a partnership which stood the test of time. India's continental plans we already discussed, countering Russia-China axis. This is also a part of India's plan. What happened? Fan. Okay, move ahead. Conclusion, what you will write? Okay. So, in conclusion, what you can write? What is this post cold world reality? Fall of USSR. What was India US issues be before this? What was India US stance before this? Before Cold War, before end of Cold War, I mean, before 1990s, what was into US stance? Pakistan was more aligned with US, and where was India? India was ideological partner with USSR. We are also following the socialist to some extent. Mixed economy, all these ideas are a five year plan where it came from. It came from Russia. In US also, we are having some partnerships. What was major partnership with US before this food grains? What is food revolution? Grain revolution. What is it? Green revolution. Green revolution technology support, all this came from USA. It is not like India totally do not have any US contact, but Whatever relation we have with US, there were conflicts going on. But if we deal, see Russia, we are having more of a very close ties. But post Cold War, things changed. Strategically, India is going towards USA. USSR already disintegrated. Socialism, not that much of a powerful ideology today compared to that time. Okay. 
So we'll see this answer. Who says this? Yours now. So everyone read this answer. At least see this answer and see what all mistakes you can find out in this. What introduction you have given? India is a developing country to which security and sovereignty is the topmost priority. It needs to consolidate powers both in finance and equipment for these various deals with the nations. So here you can cut down this. Try to write in how much? Three lines. Try to cut off it in three lines at least. Three. We are both jada and this may kuch keyword nahi hai. You have to work on it. Agree nahi aayega keyword. Person nahi aayega na. What is first part he has written? Significance of inter-US defensive over inter-Russian defensive. That is taken from question. Good. What anything else you can notice? Tell me. Read this answer now, not yours. Let's see how difficult it is to read some other's answer. Your answer somebody, a 60 year old person will be checking. So have some consideration, do all the decoration. Underlining here, yeah, as I read. US as a developed nation still put lots of condition. You studied English, know so much of English, you still need to cut down this. At least you would try to write one point in two lines. This is so much of full sentence like here also lack of clarity over US developed still put lots of conditions for everyone. What idea you are saying in this? Huh? Heading puts over the eye and point is something else. This is not acceptable. It is okay if you lack content. It is okay if you are making some keyword that is acceptable. It's not, it's okay. But something given as heading and point come in another direction. Anybody else is making this mistake? Take a note of it. It should be the first point. At least last point is written, then I can at least support you. It is written so much. I have read this first and I have read this first point. Even if you are doing like this, don't do it in the first point. Do it in the end. Good. You remember this agreement's name at least. Home ka sa ye ye ne. Again. What is second part? With reference to stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Okay. So in this whole answer, Indo-Pacific is not coming. Question when it is saying discuss with reference to Indo-Pacific, that doesn't mean that you need to put a separate paragraph of it. In every argument, you need to try some point, some relation to Indo-Pacific. Quad Lika, expansionism of China. Checkbook diplomacy. Good use of keywords. Still points are less. You need to work on it. Conclusion ne Lika. So ne Lika. Get the practice. If now space bacha hai, you lack some points. So in that case, you should not miss conclusion. Both jada points hai, space nahi hai, 10 marker hai, it's okay. Conclusion leave out it. But this space, you have space also and points are less. So you should do that. This here you are writing at least only two lines. You should limit number of lines you are writing on all, all this. Anything else you can point out? Tell me. Points may or ana hai. Hum kutna sub parts divide kia. You should think from that sub parts. If you can make sub parts, it become very easy. Think from perspective of India, think from perspective of US, think from perspective of Indo Pacific. So, wo art apko learn karna hai. Nay to point nay milega. 
एक ही डायमेंशन में टेन पॉइंट याद करना भी वेरी डिफिकल्ट है इट्स नॉट फिजिबल एनीथिंग एल्स या विल नॉट पुट टू मच टाइम इन इट सो कम टू सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वट इज इट करंट अफेयर्स सत्यन कुमार पाल ब्रह्मोस मिग ट्वेंटी टू या करेक्ट सो वट दिस क्वेश्चन इज चाइना इज यूजिंग इट्स इकोनॉमिक रिलेशन एंड पॉजिटिव ट्रेड सरप्लस एस ए टूल टू डेवलप पोटेंशियल मिलिट्री पावर स्टेटस इन एशिया इन लाइट ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट डिस्कस इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन इंडिया एज हर नाइबर सो टेल मी पार्ट फर्स्ट Clearly, we will. I cannot. How economic is used for developing the military status? He is saying, "Na." That is the statement you are explaining first, or how China has trade surplus. how china has so much trade surplus kitna likha how much two lines two lines is acceptable but is pe five points banaya then it is something not acceptable introduction mein likh sakta hai no issues but ye nahi hona hai china cute how china made the trade surplus Why trade surplus? What it does? How does it impact? The problem is your idea. I am not questioning. Good, very good. Problem is question is asking about impact on India. So if two page you are writing, one point five page should be this. Half page me, ये सब आ रहा है, then it is acceptable. But ये नहीं होना चाहिए. Economic part should take one page of it. Your answer. ठीक है, सो और नेक्स्ट पार्ट क्या आएगा इंपैक्ट ऑन इंडिया चले और कुछ पार्ट आ सकता है वे फॉरवर्ड यू कैन इंक्लूड सो इन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन स्टार्ट विद डाटा सो फॉर वी हैव इन स्टार्टेड एनी क्वेश्चन विद डाटा little difficult in ir to start with data but if you can remember that is very good yeah good trade surplus because more export by china due to its cheap products not too much wrong but you cannot write this in exam way forward correct so here global fire power review china is 3 out of 1 third out of 142 countries what you will do if you don't remember exactly these numbers or these things what you can do at least itna remember karna hai highest spender kon hai military mein spending highest who spends Any other suggestion? Come on, yar. US is spending way high than. I say, कुछ data है. If you take top ten highest spenders, nine, second to ten. ये दो सब को मिला हो. Still, it is not reaching US. US is way too high spending than any other country. Second coming is Russia, then China. Oh, spending it comes China second maybe. So at least China, US, Russia, these people should occupy top three position. So what you can do? China is highest spender. Top three it comes in, or top second it is coming in military expenditure. 
all these things you can if you, if you don't remember the exact number or firepower review report ka naam you can juggle with these ideas okay so this is there is a supporting statement also given even though china is china is having lot of opaque system us is spending something at least some data is coming out but china's lot of military program are still hidden or there is no clear clarity on how much nuclear stockpile china is having so even though it is third who knows exactly yeah trade surplus perspective you want to start the answer yes 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 no issues no issues thing is this is not an economy answer it should not get exaggerated if you are writing from trade surplus perspective you can start the answer no issues three decades china is having accelerated growth export oriented growth all this is the export oriented system is working that's why the trade surplus is coming all this you can write but it should be only in the introduction or two three lines only <coughs> so what is first part of our answer how china is using its economic trade surplus to develop the military power status what you can write in this military spending even economy grow karega then military spend will come otherwise where the money comes from so what is this tell me this these two numbers let me check you how much preparation you have done what is it 229 billion versus 49 billion china's what is china's military expenditure this is china's military expenditure yeah this is india's this is china's and this is india's any other suggestion us versus china this is us and this is china any other it's okay to be wrong yeah we are not going to cut marks for this thing is 229 billion is china's military expenditure 49 is india's military expenditure see how much difference we even india and china how this difference is coming from where it is coming from china's economy is five times bigger than indian economy that's why they are able to fund this so without economic development dreaming about a world power status or global power status that is anyway not going to happen what else you can write how else china is using its military economy to have a military status complex interdependence what is this F apis active pharmaceutical ingredients what it used for developing medicine and india is importing how much most of it is coming from china itself and this is something if they block it what will happen to generic market in india or generic exports from india so something india need to anything else you can think of something like this where china is having absolute dominance machine electrical machineries rare earth elements rare earth ele rare earth elements this is something question is also came in upsc one year gs3 me thing is china how much they are having 97% something like that is having absolute control even they use this power to subdue which industry japan's electronic industry they use this control and somehow hurt the industry so when a country is exporting 97% that is something which is too high to afford and that country is china which don't value any global rules and all what else strategic base what you can write as example string of pearls what is string of pearls at least two three ports you tell me two three ports you tell me 
Amber Dota, Gawadar, all these. What is India's counter strategy to this? Garland of diamonds, something like that. And which countries India are engaging with that? Which country India is trying to engage with this strategy? No, no, garland of that thing is for Indian Ocean region also. Diamond necklace, what it is? That strategy, diamond necklace strategy. That is countering the pearls, Russia, Indian influ Ocean influence is itself being countered. India is engaging with Bangladesh, India is engaging with Singapore, all these countries. <coughs> Global infrastructure projects, BRI, how you can write this here? BRI fund come from economic might of China, trade surplus is funding BRI. Why India is not joining BRI? So, sovereignty concern or? Yeah. Indian position is that BRI is not just a economic, there is strategic element, underlying strategic element which China is not transparent about. So BRI is also having some military aspects or military status is behind the idea of BRI also. What else? Militarization of emerging technologies. Space militarization, what example you can give? Anti-satellite test. When China conducted it? In 2009, 2007, something during that time China conducted it. When India did it? Anyone can? Mission Shakti. Mission Shakti was India's. When India did it? There was huge controversy regarding it. What was controversy? Two thousand nineteen. What was controversy? The Prime Minister came up, and during elections was upcoming. So <laughs> all this drama was going on. Anyway, India also did this, but militarization of technology is also part of China's. What else? <clears throat> now we are coming into key part of the question. This is what is asked. So if you are writing three page, two pages, these all parts should not be taking whole one whole page. You should try to limit this point as much as possible. Getting? Because key part is impact on India. That is what is asked. This is where you are going to major part of your mark is coming. These are all decorations. So here this should be occupy the most part of your answer. Getting? A mistake nay on hai. Even if you know too much of points in the other section, trade aspect mein sab kuch pata hai, but try to limit it. <coughs> Kya likha hai How it impact India? Either also you can think from Chinese policy or Chinese strategy perspective, after that India strategy perspective. Try to divide, kinder bhi stakeholders apply kar sakta hai, apply kar. Because if you take this heading, and try to generate points, it's, I'm saying it's very difficult in exam condition. You still generate five points. I'm not saying you cannot do this. But quality points, Anna, I try to have some sub parts or some divisions or some thinkings. So think from different perspective. What is this growing power asymmetry? China and India difference is growing. When you, if you take how much is Chinese economy in 1990 and India, we are almost in a similar phase. And after three decades, China is five times bigger than India. This is something very significant. Now, China perspective, what, what all you can see? Militarization of borders. That is, we are observing in Ladakh, Doklam, all these areas. And what this guy has, Shiv Shankar Menon, what he is saying? Border is not the real issue. It is just a lever to regulate the temperature in relations. We uh, discussed yesterday salami stri slicing strategy. So China is having so much of plans in doing all this. And people criticize India. China is coming with doctrines like wolf warrior, this, that. What India is doing, India still failed to 
establish a credible doctrine against Chinese, all these ambitions. It is recently India getting the momentum in some direction. So far, so much critic scholars criticize India for not establishing a credible strategy against China. What is this? Next point. Pakistan as an instrument against India. What China is doing? Technologies are giving, the helicopters are giving. CP is also, you can write, no issues. Yeah. Core ideas, the one good example is given. After Article 370 abrogation, all this issue was going on. China was very prominent in giving more international attention to the issue. Some close meeting of Security Council was conducted by Indonesia, I think, who was the head of the UNSC. <coughs> oh, very good example. Masood Azhar global terrorist status was there and China was blocking it. What else? China is making inroads into neighborhood. So much examples are given. Every country you can cite. What they are doing with Bangladesh? They are the largest arms supplier to Bangladesh, China. What they are doing with Sri Lanka? You already know, debt trap, debt trap diplomacy. Trans Himalayan multi-dimensional connectivity network. What is it? Between China and Nepal. Economic contacts will grow. 70% of debt of Maldives is owned by China. So you can foresee next debt trap diplomacy. If we are seeing, there is a good chance Maldives can go into the same cycle. Unless something is not done. <coughs> okay. So much examples you can cite. Every country you can take. I am giving so much because you can write at least one or two in the real exam is enough. What else? India perspective, what you will write? India, Russia. India, Russia, yeah, obviously. You can write, very good. So, from cooperation and competition, we are moving into counter and containment. This is also a keyword you should have used. Necklace of diamond strategy. This was what we were discussing later. Geostrategic shift towards US. Example, you can cite quad. I don't think we need any further discussion on most of these points. Threat to all weather into Russia. What all other, other countries you can bring into it? Maldives. Small countries. India, Nepal, you can cite. India, Nepal, what is happening? India, all goodwill is being destroyed. What are economic implications? Banning of apps, even though it is totally economic matter or we say it is an economic matter, there is strategic aspect to it. We are, other apps are also creating problem, gambling like apps are there in India. We are not banning those. We are specifically banning some apps that is from China. There is some strategic interest in behind this also. Any other points you can think of? You are written in paper. Neighborhood first policy. It will be having challenges. Very good, very good. Hmm, India hydropower developments all are getting halted. Chinese spice, okay. So what you are trying to say? Internal disturbances in India. Very good. Move ahead. So, how should India handle China? Don't look too much into board. We have three perspectives. Idealist way of handling China. Pragmatic way, realistic way. What is idealist way of handling China? 
narrow vision. What is narrow vision? What is that narrow vision? One shield, very good. Asian solidarity. Hindi genie, bye bye. Who is proponent of this? Jawaharlal Nauru. And it it was very good idea, but fall down in 1962. Now, what is realistic way of handling China or perceiving China? China and India cannot be bye-bye. We are culturally different. We are expectations are different. And China is having a worldview of unipolar or middle kingdom, kingdom complex. You, there is keyword in your list I have given. So China is a country who still holds so much value to the middle kingdom, kingdom complex. And with that a country, how can you be bye-bye? So realistic aspect is China is going to be an enemy of India and you should see China like that. Who is proponent of this? Who is proponent of realistic view of China? Here we told Jawaharlal Nehru. Similarly, who is this? Vajpayee. Jashwan Patnavis. Fernandez, George Fernandez, okay, or else there is more bigger names here. Come on, who was who's greatest opponent of China policy of Jalan Aru? Sardar Patel. There are, if you search internet, you will get a letter written by Sardar Patel to Jalan Aru when it was written 1948 or something. And that letter was clearly explaining whatever policy India is taking with respect to Tibet. When Tibet, when China occupied Tibet, India was muted. And Sardar Patel was foreseeing this, whatever strategy India adopt with Tibet is going to be very important for India-China relations. And ye bye bye nahi hai. we need to maintain Tibet as a buffer state. India need to, like British, when British was there, British was very active with this buffer state. They want some buffer state between which countries? Afghanistan in this area to counter the Russian influence. So India need buffer state Tibet as buffer state between India and China. This was a letter written by Sardar Patel in 1940 something, 48 or 49 or something. And Jawaharlal Nehru was against that idea. He was more of towards idealist aspects. And 1962, he got the <coughs> real medicine, whatever, what is pragmatic stance of handling China. The idea is we are going to have differences. Border dispute, we cannot engage with China by saying that. When border dispute is settled, then we will have close engagements. That is not feasible. So, pragmatic view is you should compartmentalize. That is what we are trying to engage for last 10 years or 20 years. We will deal everything separately. Border issue we will talk separately. Economic side we will talk separately. Clear? Go ahead. So, in the answer, you don't need to write all this pragmatic or realistic, idealistic, all this. Pragmatic you can take and extra extrapolate on it, but don't need to go to 1960s events and so. That is just for understanding. Now, you can increase a way forward. Future will be antagonistic cooperation. There is no way India and China will have all the issues resolved between them. But there is no way India and China can completely non-cooperate stance be lesser. Somewhere there should be cooperation. Let me read some comments. Impact on India. Due to China's financing its debt policy, it got something more like taking ports for Lee, Zamba and Dota. Very good, very good. Guy knows so much things. Both are nuclear powered countries. Very good. What is IG? Pragmatic approach. Both are members of SCO. So, how should India handle China? It 
India needs proactive. India needs some strategy, long term strategy. China is making strategy for centuries. Next two centuries they are making strategy. At least India should have a vision for long term vision in how to it should handle China. What is low key diplomacy? We will not go openly fight with them. And even though differences is there, keep it aside and try to get the things done. Compartmentalization of issues, I already told you. What is smart balancing? Instead of seeing totally from the difference, China is five times economy, India is five times less, that doesn't mean India is totally insignificant. Even if China is having so much military strength, if a real war happens between India and China, India have enough firepower to have a complete destruction. So it's not like somebody is so big, somebody is so less, this is going to be the end of the world. So India need to look beyond these differentials. Economic dependence in critical sectors like rare APIs. Itna dependence nahi hona chahiye. Something should have been done to get away with this. Strengthening counterbalancing agenda. Quad strengthen karna hai. Militarization of quad should happen. Revisit regional presence. Neighborhood first. Net security provider. All this you can write. Go ahead. What you will write in conclusion? This is again something which is said by foreign minister. This is a scholar. You have seen the website of RF. Anyone going through it? Something I observe research foundation. You should go through it. It is very good for international relations. Only very few websites which you can totally rely on. And ORF is one of them. If one article you are getting on Indo-Russia relations, something like it will have all the points for your exam. Indo-Russia, you don't have to do it from anything else. Not historical part, recent developments, everything will be covered. So very detailed articles which will come in it. And major articles are written by Harsh Vipan. He also writes in newspapers also. So whenever you see his name, he is writing something in Indian Express or some newspapers, compulsorily read it. One other important name is C. Rajamohan. He constantly writes. Which newspaper? Indian Express. So if he is writing something, it is mostly it is important to our exam. Don't miss those editorials. Yes, yes, yes. They are having different perspectives. I'm saying you should read it. Don't replicate their ideology too much. That we will have issues. Like when you are reading editorials, most people who write the editorial will have extreme stance. Some people will say India should get away all the cash. Everything should be digital. And they will give so many arguments to that. Doesn't mean that in answer you have to write that. If you take that extreme stance, you are blind to other sections. In exam, you should not show that even if you believe that. So read means don't follow their everything what they say. Okay. And if something major is coming, you should note down it, get into your notes and you can obviously use in conclusion or any version. He is writing again. Already one book is there, no? He will get, don't get time run. He's too busy running to every country. <coughs> he already written one book, I guess. I don't know. Something, something how India see the world, something like that. One book is there. 2018, something. Before became, he became the foreign minister. And I think that idea what he wrote there is being followed here itself. It's not something totally different. <coughs> Move ahead. Okay. Yeah, whose answer is this? You are. Okay, let's see. China emergence as a technology, economical military power is being visualized as, what is this? nation, so much English and no keywords. How will you become tougher with this kind of writing? 
economic relations to develop potential military stations status economics relation to develop you should take heading as much from the question it is having some other direction trade pacts affecting sovereignty dri good debt trap good and circle mind. one thing i will say four lines in whole page there is only three points three page you write and there is ten points is something less <clears throat> new land law what is this new land law Five fingers, all this is theirs. Claiming the land, that is what is. Okay. Should give some examples. Should have. Very second heading. However, we can't prevent these effects totally. What was the question? Impact on India, right? Something like that. Where is your heading showing the impact on India? There were very big mistakes, like unacceptable mistakes. Impact Pucha and something else you have written and finished the answer. Getting the idea? If impact Pucha, this whole dimension should come here. If there is impact on I, more than one page should be impact only. These mistakes totally unacceptable. Knowledge nahi hai, hamko aapta nahi hai, yaad nahi hai, keyword nahi hai, yes, okay, okay. You can work on it by you write mains. Padega, padega, keywords aayega, knowledge will come, dimensions will come, points will increase. Kal nahi hai na mains. But these kind of mistakes here, if you are practicing and if you replicate in mains, then it's very, very bad. Which one? Critical next answer SEO. We'll see. Take Don't take harsh or bad. Point you are getting now. We're taking too much time. We'll discuss first. What is this? Critically aims and objectives. Critically and examine aims and objectives SEO. What importance does it hold for India? So, what are different parts? Aims and objectives, critical analysis. Second, what is asked? Importance for India. One thing I am very interesting. How will you do critical analysis of aims and objectives? You haven't written, escaped. Uh, tell me, others who have written, tell me how will you, how you are going to do critical analysis of aims and objectives of an organization. Everyone is guessing. It's not like we are not experts. Tell me what approach or how you are doing. Decent, decent. Decent. Approach is something is there. Let's see what we can do. So, introduction, I don't need to explain anything. It is an organization, SEO. You can simply define the organization. And don't study so much. It is a Eurasian organization. If you can remember the year when it is formed, write the year. Then countries, if you can remember, write the countries. Okay? Nothing more to talk in this. We'll do a little first. We are taking too much of time. Yeah. So, what I am done is, what we are question is asking, critically examine the aims and objectives. So, what we are do, these are the aims and objectives of SEO, as per SEO, a stated charter or every document or anything. These are the aim, stated aims and objectives of this organization. Then we have a cross view. Are these really the objectives of this organization? 
and how will you do use this from different countries perspective is india joined the organization with the same vision is china upholding this organization with the same vision is russia being a part of this with the same vision so that's how we are doing critical examination or critical examine of these aims and objectives okay so in this we have very good words strengthen relations promote cooperation in energy economic all these aspects safeguard regional peace democratic equitable okay yeah so why china is part of seo china before this there was having so much issues with central asian republics so border issues all this were so china need a mechanism to solve all this and seo was very good option before that when ussr disintegrated 1991 after disintegration of ussr what happened there was a power vacuum in central asia us was something like a protectorate ussr then once ussr is gone there should be somebody so this gap was filled by china and the product of this development is seo getting so china's now if you look there is 30 years gone after that now if you look china want seo because market access to central asian republics and central asian has so much of resources which resources crude oil natural gas uranium all these things okay and bri is also part of chinese vision now what is russia's interest in part of seo oh, it everyone expected to happen that way but still that is not credibly happening china you russia is still close russia and china russia china friendship when it is going everyone expect that this is not a long lasting friendship mutual abhi benefit hai so they are friends tomorrow benefit will go and they split but they are not splitting so far the graph is going up let's see why central asian republics want to be part of this they want to fight the three evils separatism fundamentalism extremism all those things political stability they need support economic development is obviously goal of it why india need it connectivity so much things are going on security aspect rats you can cite so these countries are part of seo for different different vision and stated objectives is having some against aspect with what these countries are standing getting the idea you want to pick out is not these points only how to do the critical analysis or critical examination of aims and objectives of an organization tomorrow a question some other organization may come you should have that idea so now importance to seo to india it's same we same use the same thinking pattern what we done yesterday shared values from values perspective what is importance national interest strategy values very difficult to get how you give me some forget the question central asia values you can connect with india tell me some some examples values means historical aspects something some examples are wo kya hai puch raha let me sing if any online guys are saying new land law china allow its action to be legal like galvan flash good good yeah nothing coming tell me tell me what i was asking shared values with india and central asia what you will say are come on yaar buddhism buddhism is the so much is now silk route it was having connection with india gandhara all came from somewhere there like this all these people were they came from mughals momos all these things gone sufism so much connections you can have with samosa <laughs> yeah maybe okay so in this question let's move ahead 
reaching out to central asian fighting three wheels this three wheels a part of india's problem also everywhere this problem fundamentalism is coming there is a problem economic integration you can international north south transit corridor we told yesterday now from moscow to bombay it will connect mumbai ashgabat agreement we'll see in next question investment opportunity for indian private sector energy security very important kazakhstan is world's largest or second largest largest or second largest uranium reserves sure i think it is second largest is australia go and check my opinion is second go and check <laughs> technology diplomacy so what is greatest technological development that happened in indian rail path near past come on upi very important in us it's still card system and upi become in such a big thing in india and india can really trade this other framework india is trying to sell this to other countries jam trinity all those things so these have huge potential to sell to central asian countries tomorrow you have question on africa so these technologies can be very much replicated in africa we have india's problems are so much similar to problems in africa so you should write all this okay and something i told yesterday if some summit is going on note down at least two three words seo young scientists of conclave india virtually hosted in 2020 but health health diplomacy traditional medicine is something which india is trying to yoga is already always there traditional medicine is also india trying to promote countering transnational terrorism raj's architecture you can write strategic balancing what is it so much india will go with the us then some balance should happen here seo is a part of that also <coughs> now what is next part this is not exactly part of the question but still we are studying it you can write any of this okay i'm not spending too much time on explaining all this we already most of points we already discussed seo what you are saying challenge thing is thing is not strategy in what is happening in seo all other countries are part of bri only india is not a part of bri and when last summit happened seo which is not a part of bri given a something like statement on bri and all other countries signed and only india did in sign we are not a part of bri we are not signed this india stay apart so india is facing some kind of strategic isolation or some kind of chinese dominance india is feeling within the organization you can write that you got yeah bilateral very good you are having the idealist view सार्क में क्या हुआ सार्क इज नॉट वर्किंग आफ्टर इयर्स ऑफ ह्यूज पोटेंशियल एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल मैकेनिज्म इज मेड इन वेरी अर्ली 1980s एंड ऑल 30 40 इयर्स हुआ कुछ नहीं हो रहे उधर क्यों नहीं हो रहे बायलैटरल इशू बायलैटरल लेके उधर बायलैटरल फाइट ही चलता है इंडिया ये बोलते है पाकिस्तान ये बोलता है यू कैन राइट आईडिया पर्सपेक्टिव नोबडी विल काउंटर यू बट द रियलिटी इज इफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वांट टू work keep the bilateral apart solve it within you itself that is <coughs> okay anything else conclusion i'm not going to explain this you can expanding the vision health sector business all this you can write we'll see your answer tomorrow happy so what is this this question most of you have in written who written you written now tell me different parts of this what is 
this is something you have written. What you are thinking? Powers in Central Asia. Okay. This will be introduction. Okay. What else? So, how it will impact uh, India and in Russia? Okay, how this will impact India's interest. Okay, next. Implications you will write. See, this question, there is difficulties. And you will see similar so many questions. Statement is given what it is. Central Asia is having outside powers and this also is zone of interest for India. And even if this statement is not there, this is also a valid question. Discuss the implications of India joining Al-Gabbat agreement. So what you have to take note of it, it is a 10 marker. This is what you get. All these arguments you are making, Central Asia, or whatever argument we are generating from this statement, it should occupy a small part. Maybe nearly 50% of the first page. Okay. Main part of your answer should be discuss implications of India joining this agreement. Are you getting? This is the question. And if there is a statement here, something like explain. After this statement, there is a keyword given, explain then your answer can have 50% of this and 50% of the other part. In this question, one statement is given. After that, some other question is asked. And I say, I am directly correlated. You can write on the statement for two pages also. So, even if you have 10, 20 points on that statement given in the question, your marks will only come from what is asked. So, it should have minimum space as much as minimum as possible. Don't make these mistakes. These small, small things should have awareness. You should have the clarity when you are writing. Even reading the question for first time in exam time, you should click all these things. Otherwise, one page likhne ke baad so hai means it will backfire. Getting? Go ahead. So, what is the introduction? Thing is, what I am also trying to do is, we will do Right, start the answer from the statement. Whatever the statement is given, we are support giving some supporting arguments. Which all outside countries are there, why they are coming for coming for uranium, petroleum or strategic interest, vulnerability, what is the peculiarity of the region. The region is having authoritarian countries. All Central Asian republics are ruled by kings, no democracy, these kind of countries. They are always vulnerable to radicalization, terrorism, all these things. Okay, some kind of contextualization is given here also. Got. Second, the region is a arena of great game being played by blah blah blah. Same introduction. This diagram you can focus upon. What it's saying? Importance of Central Asia to India. This is also not part of the real answer or major what is asked. So this is also should be shown only as a diagram. Don't make a separate heading and write five points. Points I am not discussing. We already have so much discussion on all this. Go ahead. Now this is an answer where you can make a diagram. If you can at least remember which you will be finding very difficult today. Because this is a current affairs question from 4 years back. So you are not remembering which countries prelims ka bhi yaad nahi hai. It's perfectly fine. But if something is coming from today happening you should remember the countries. And you can make a rough diagram of it. Okay. Now you can write something about the agreement. What the agreement is. The agreement is transit corridor. Transportation of goods between. Connecting two regions. Central Asia and West Asia. These two regions in between. There is a transit corridor. That is the vision of the agreement. And India joined in 2018. These are other countries part of it. This is only for knowledge I have written. It is okay not to remember all the facts in the exam hall. At least remember, you, this should you, you should know. The 
objective of the grouping or the agreement is having a connectivity between Central Asia and the Western Pacific. Here at least two countries you can say Tashkent. What is this? Tashkent. Which country it is? At least remember some countries which is part of it and here also some countries which is part of it. Okay. Now we come to the major part of the answer. Here also we are not going to discuss too much of it. Anyway, this is four years back current affairs question. We will see point generation idea should be similar to what we have done so, so far. We will think from value perspective, we will think some political perspective, economic interest and other all the strategic, strategic will go on. So yeah, political implications, democracy, India we are very happy to spread democracy wherever. It is a proponent of largest democracy, all these things, peaceful coexistence. Some idea we have taken from Panchil. That's why I am saying Panchil, learn karo. Most of the answer may kidar kidar kama aayega. Economic implications, trade barriers is karna hai. This is a 70 million population market central Asian republics. So, and China is having some kind of a monopoly so far. So, India can very much have a say in this. Infrastructure development is very much other, there are other infrastructure development going on. So, synchronization of both can be very much helpful for India. Strategic implications kya hai? Alternative to China. High octane diplomacy, we, where we will use this? Tomorrow there is a question on Western Asia. I want to see everyone use the high octane diplomacy. Go home, search newspaper, what is it? It is nothing rocket science, but try to use it. At least some keywords we use today, if such is applicable in tomorrow's question, use it. Energy security perspective, what India wants? Crude oil, 85% of Indian crude oil is imported. So we need crude oil and it can, natural gas can be sourced from Central Asia. Even Russia is there, how we are sourcing crude oil from Russia? It is coming through sea route. So, Malacca straight all this. So, we can cut that and if this corridor is coming, it will be very easy. Pipeline, all these can, ideas can be, the Chab, Bahar port, all this can be connected to it. Climate mitigation, that's, you can give some explanation to it. Okay, not explaining too much on it. Conclusion, this is another way of conclusion. This is something you should take note of. Prime Minister, he keep on giving some kind of formula, 3A, 5C. So, 4C is something which is related to Central Asia. Add in your keyword 4C which is related to Central Asia. Connectivity, commerce, capacity, enhancement and contacts. Okay. Connect with this vision and give a conclusion to it. So, today you might have seen India-China was the discussion India-Russia but questions were SEO Central Asia some mismatch is there, not mismatch, it is, but tomorrow exactly these questions are coming, India-Japan relation, India-Israel, India-Africa policy, West Asia. I hope you will prepare something and come. Sure, I will use all your answers in the PPT. <laughs> Don't tell me that time like, my answer ye nahi hai, wo nahi hai. Clear? So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Good evening everyone. Welcome to third class of IR. You two are new guys. You attended all class, right? So, how was test? Kalika. Any difference in writing after class? Thought process has improved. Okay. You are able to create more points, more dimensions are answer. Try to link with all these gola gola dikara. Or good? All for your return? How much time you take? So maybe come karna padega. Like once we go ahead. Abhi kya kar raha hai? Content is first step. And hum discussion first class mein bhi bola. You can understand in English also. Now she is. So we were saying, 
कंटेंट इज फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड इट हैज लिमिटेशन कंटेंट से पूरा काम नहीं हो पाएगा वट मोर वी नीड इज करेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन करेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स इवन बाई रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन यू शुड नो द स्पेस इज फिक्सड टू पेज फॉर टेन मार्क्स थ्री पेज फॉर फिफ्टीन इतना ही है सो बाई जस्ट रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर विच डायमेंशन आई शुड फोकस ऑन like which aspect should cover more part of my answer which aspect i should limit even if i know so much about it i should limit that writing in the paper so these aspects should be very clear to you if you are making a mistakes in this something is fundamentally wrong clear ye humko pura avoid karna hai after attending class or whatever you are doing answer writing whatever practice you are doing make sure that these kind of mistakes you should are not repeating because content over the time mains is in after prelims 3 months after prelims also even that small time is enough for building content required for mains but if you made a habit of making this kind of answer writing mistakes you don't know how to generate points you don't know how to think when a question is asked in ir or geography or any other subject if this is if you have in work if you are having inculcated the habit then something is not you cannot pick it up in a day it needs practice it needs right kind of training guidance all these things so that's what we are trying to do and even i see some of your answers yesterday some online also people are making so much mistakes like basic cheese we are again and again class mein repeat kar rahe even after that the same mistakes are being repeated in many answers so what we'll do today is we'll try to focus more on what should be the structuring part of the answer sub parts we'll give little more focus on this like yesterday i have seen more focus was going towards content side so we'll have to have more clarity on this clear let's start so these are four question if online anyone watching haven't seen the question you can pause video go through questions and kindly attend the class after writing and trying to write the answers okay so briefly i will explain the process what it is how to generate points in ir and to a new guys so whatever question you have got in ir you have to think from three perspectives shared values between the countries national interest and strategic interest whatever these approach we are liberally using in most of the ir answers challenges pucha hai significance pucha hai kuch bhi pucha hai this is applicable we are liberally using it and you can think in not so many dimensions regarding it for example in japan what will you write in this so many of you have seen your introduction india and japan share cultural values kya likha hai india and japan share historical and cultural 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 values now if you are wait wait if you are writing a statement like this why you are not giving some example if you are not giving at least one example then what's the value of this statement whatever you are writing you have to substantiate neither school students will write it what is give me some example you can think it's not something i'm not telling you to build something read history book wherever buddhism why not you are not writing everyone of you can think buddhism as common link between india and japan still you have entered you itself told buddhism now still you have not written in the answer so whatever argument you are making try to give substantiated what else we will think one values perspective we will think what other perspective you are going to think political values democracy secularism all these political values come into it what else i told you to remember panchi panchi principle five panchi principle you have got that keywords booklet you see in telegram i shown you 
So there is Panchil in it, right five, whatever the five Panchil principle it is and by heart it. It's going to help in so many answers. What next? Political visits. If Prime Minister visited that country, think on that lines. I'm not saying these all will come in one answer. At least one or two will be applicable in almost all the answers. No, you have to optimize that also. If you have 10 value points, you shouldn't write it 10. At least only use one, two. If you are speaking on today, one question on India-Israel relations. So when you talk on India-Israel, you cannot go on writing shared values. Just write one, two shared values, then straight come to strategy. Or start with strategic itself, because that is the core point. And here, national interest may kya so Tell me. What is the most primary national interest? You tell me. Sit, don't. What is the most important national interest of India? Security, what it is? Economic, what it is? Technology, energy, what is? What one is the most important? Economic development. To safeguard economic development, we are doing all the things. Even foreign relation contact you or to safeguard our economic development, to safeguard our growth. Trade, import, export, trade surplus, hai, trade deficit, hai. investment, kitna ho hai. what next? Diaspora is significant, diaspora is there, how much it is? What next? Energy security. All these aspects you have to think. What next will come? Education. If any student exchange program is the if any innovation fund, student visa liberation program. There are scholarships, student exchange, all this program with Africa. You can write. Yes, yes. What next? What next dimension? Health will, healthcare will come. Science and technology will come. Healthcare you can always link with COVID. Pandemic may India kya kya? IR. Vaccine my three. So cite it in so many places. We have sent vaccine to almost all countries in African countries. If you even if you remember, don't remember exact data. At least vaccine maitri to you should have that much memory. Yes, yes. What was next? No, no, national interest may next point kya aega? Security, border, all this. All the security related aspects. Geography related aspects. Geopolitical related aspects. What example bolo? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. All these things will come into picture. And this may be one more inner dimension. Bola tha. What was it? Disaster management. Example, bolo. India is sending so much programs. Mission Sagar, it is Indian Ocean region. India is having Mission Sagar program under which in recently Mozambique hazard hua. What is it? flood something, then India sends so much relief material. So think on these dimensions. When you are making notes, at least get one one point for every country or every country which you think major country where question can come. Don't make 190 countries, tell list and I will make all this. Only those countries where question can come, India, US, India, Russia, India, China, India, Japan. These are countries which are repeating in paper. So on that countries in every this dimension, you should have at least one point. One point at least for each. In education, India, Japan, what is going on? You should have able to speak one word. Ye deal from in 2020 or 22 or something. Okay. Strategic me kya likega? Doctrines, neighborhood first, Gujral doctrine. What next? 
China, neighborhood, extended neighborhood, all those things will come. This may be one thing which people usually miss is UN reforms, UN organizations, or any other organization, Asian Development Bank, BRICS Bank, New Development Bank. Which one? If, yes. Why? See, there is a group called G4. What G4 is doing? Which countries are in G4? India, Japan? Let me see if any online guys are answering. Which all countries are part of G4? India, Japan, along with Africa. No, yeah. Tell me, Shigar Srivastava. Which are countries, current affairs, which are countries in G4? India, Japan? Brazil? Yeah. Germany. So these four countries are part of G4. What G4 is stand for? They will support each other's claim for UNSC permanent membership. These four countries. And which is opposing to G4? Coffee club. This contains Pakistan, Argentina, all these South Korea, all these countries. Okay. The point I was making is you should think on these dimensions. If you can picturize these three points, rest of the thing should be fixed in, it should automatically come into your mind. First, we will go through values, then we will go through national interest, economic, all these 111 points, then we will come to strategy. If you can do this exercise in few questions, generating 7, 8, 10 points is not that much difficult. Time. Clear? Don't go too much deep into it. This is made only for understanding or our generation of a point into it. This is not like you can border interest, security interest, you can keep in strategy also. Or liberal rights to you, no issues. This is not something like foolproof, you should think this way. No such criteria. You can write strategy first, no issues. So this is little bit expansion on whatever I told right now. If you want to take screenshot, if you want to take anything, you can take. This is the way of thinking that should have come in IR paper. Okay. So let's continue our discussion. First question. <coughs> what is the question? In the if the last few decades were of Asia's growth story, the next few are expected to be Africa. In light of this statement, examine India's influence in Africa in recent years. So tell me, forget about introduction and conclusion for a while. Tell me what are you going to include in the body. I want clear answers. Yesterday we got some carried away with it. But seeing your answers, I am very disappointed. Like so many mistakes are coming in this aspect. So what are you going to write in this? Let's let's go step by step. It's okay. Last let me let me go step by step. What is what is asked here? Keyword in the question is examine. What does it mean? So this answer should have an analysis part of it. You cannot leave this question without writing. India's challenges India is facing in Africa. Examine India's influence in recent years. So you say these are influencing factors. You should write limitations of India's influence also. In some question yesterday also I told that you can write. Even if you don't write it is okay. Some question I told. But since here the keyword is examine. In this question you should write the positive aspects, limiting aspects. Clear? If this were explained, in question where the keyword were explained, then I will sometimes suggest go with one dimensional answers. 
to influence in explain india's influence in africa then only write about india this india did that india did that kind of answer is enough but here is examine so you should have that clarity now what are the statements in the what are the parts of the statement see there is some reference to asia growth story but the key question is africa's growth story key question is india's influence so if you have two pages what will you do half page you will devote for asia growth plus africa's future diagram very good excellent this part should not be more than this part why we are writing because there is a statement given this statement and question is little different slightly misdirected but since a statement is given you cannot simply forget it so but don't give half page to it within half of one page you should include asia's goal story even one line or one point is enough not more than that no potential of africa or africa's future regarding that you can give a small diagram something like this three four points that is enough the point is it should not take more than half of your first page after that major part of our answer will be india's influence and how you divide india's influence it should also have two parts and that can have 50 50 division whatever space is left you can divide in 50 50 or 60 40 50 50 that is also okay okay and if you want you can include a forward in a small space and you can two line conclusion so this picture should be clear in your mind by reading the question this division of space how you are going to do getting let's move ahead so how you write introduction first part of the answer if you want to go first go alone if you want to go for then go to the good good asia growth China, India, ASEAN. What is it? Current affairs, please explain. Yeah. So what? What I tried to do here is, we'll start with Asia's growth story. It's okay. It's okay. So what we'll write on Asia's growth story? How we can substantiate the statement? What it is given? Last few decades. were asia okay so what is happening okay so we need to some data if you remember that we work become very easy last few decades were of asia that we want to show that is the statement given So in 1960s, Asia's contribution to GDP, world GDP was 12%, and within 50-60 years, it become 40%. So that's why we are saying last few decades were of Asia's. So we substantiated what is the first part of the statement. Okay. Now next part we are coming to looking forward. Why Africa is a continent of hope? The so use of keyword. We. You can go. Is it off the AC? You decide. If you want, I can off the AC. Okay. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. Let's continue. So, what is the second part? Now we have to prove that next decade is of Africa. So, one keyword used is continent of hope. after that we have given some examples or dimensions potential of africa in the upcoming decades and here so much data is given 
you can note down pose or whatever in exam condition two or three even two or three data or two or three points that much is enough because we only have half page to fill all this data at least two three points of this you can remember you can replicate that is good tomorrow's topic is un organization wto who all this wto who unesco UNSC, all these things. Instead, I don't think so. Instead, question is in 2022 that we already did. It. Continue. So, this is clear. I am not spending too much on content explanation, all these things. <coughs> So the same framework I have told we are going to apply. What is our first part? India's influence in Africa in recent past. What is the principle? What is the value from value? What is one element you can think of? NAM. Even though NAM is getting irrelevant or NAM is getting subdued, still NAM is not gone away. India still hold on to it. Somehow it is still a deciding factor between India and Africa. So only one point from shared value we are writing because that is not the purpose of this answer. We are directly going into recent engagement. And in this question, you should also take note of examining in recent years. So whatever point you are writing, whatever substantiation you are giving, there should be some reference to recent happenings. times India Africa relations. Because we have something like recent years. That's why NAM, even though it is value point, first point, good point, we'll write only one or two line of it. Don't go too much into it. Now we come directly into political engagements. We are following the same thought pattern. You getting it? But one example you can say 2010, 19, Prime Minister popularized the Kampala principles. It is something related to inclusive growth. Pre, take everyone together, all these basic ideas. What else? Now, values is over, political engagements is over. Next term, most important element, economic engagements. We are done in US. I told you to remember the bilateral data with major countries. How much is trade happening? How much is trade balance? Kya situation hai? So, Africa together is fourth largest trading partner. It is having a trade of 89 billion. Who is the highest trading partner? You are still two years back. USA is the highest trading partner with around 119 billion. Okay. China is second with around 115 billion. Okay. So major countries at least you try to remember these things. India is fifth largest investor in Africa with 73 billion of investments in last 20 25 years. Now, what is speciality of Indian investments or Indian business economic engagement with Africa? We always speak it in terms of China's engagements, economic engagements with Africa. If you see from China's engagement with Africa, it is having elements of debt trap diplomacy, elements of trying to buy all the resources of Africa. All these elements will come into picture. But when India is engaging, India trying to give skill development to the Africans, trying to have some social development aspect to it, try to engage with the development partner of the countries. So all these elements India brings into the table. So this is India's advantage as well as something you should highlight when writing or giving substantiation to these points. Now recently some happening, G20 is happening. COP27 is happening, you should write down at least a word on what all developments is happening. So recently at summit of the Indian African conclave, this was organized by CIA and Exim Bank. So this is bringing to the different business partners. This was just one heading in newspaper. But if you remember, note down or at least remember this much like India Africa can conclave 2022 may why, you can use it as a substantiation to your argument. You are giving so much one-one headings, right? 
you should give some data some example something credible to substantiate every point you are opening answer in different ways what you have to do next is you have to learn this you need to get the work done clear move ahead what is education cite some engagements scholarships given to 50000 students over 5 years study in india initiative recently launched something i again told you are studying india africa on every dimension we talk first you should have one examples that is only what you need beyond that how much you knowledge you have it's very limited scope to use in exam health engagements vaccine maitri india sent to 30, 39 million doses to 42 african countries even if you don't remember exact data Try to remember the range of the data. You can cite 40 million, nearly 40 million. Nobody is going to kill you for that. Or even that is not possible, at least remember this vaccine Maitri. Getting India Africa Health Fund, generic medicine, vaccine supplies, not COVID, traditional vaccine supply. India is leader of these two entities. Should come to your answer. Okay. Technology transfer, future transfer has so much possibilities. UPI system, Madar framework. This is something which can replicate in so much answer. When discussing on Central Asia, we also told the same point. In Africa also, it is relevant. Green growth partnership. What is this ISA? Solar alliance. So many African countries are part of it. Today, right? What is LOC? Line of credit. India Passport Project 10,000 megawatt solar plant in Sahel region. Okay. What we are doing is we are following the same mental framework and picking one example. Beyond that, nothing we are doing here. <coughs> Move ahead. What all else you can think of? Disaster management. Sagar mission. India recently did help the Mozambique. You don't need to write this example also. Any example India recently did, you should cite. Something new came tomorrow, cite it. Security influence. Indian Navy is conducting so much anti pirate operations. Sometimes picture will come with blasting ships. So Indian Navy is very active in anti-piracy operations. International collaborations. One example is Asia-Africa Growth Corridor. Indo-Japan. Very good. So, you got how many points you got here? 10 points on one dimension. So, that is too much. In example, if you use right 6, that will suffice. 6, 7 will be okay. We have other dimensions to write also. What are challenges to Indian influences in Africa? Because the question is examined. Should not leave it with positive sides only. What are challenges? In challenges, how you think? Don't read the point. In challenges, how you are going to think? Challenges, significance, all these questions, try to break down the question into different stakeholders. Think from India's perspective. What challenges India is bringing into picture? Think from Africa's perspective. Think from global anything, global order. Other stakeholder in, involved, if China is there, USA is there, any other stakeholder is involved, think from all those perspectives. At least one, two points you can generate on each, the, that will suffice the answer. And it is not necessary to write these. This is for our under, understanding. This is the mental process you need to follow. Getting? Hazards of treating Africa as a single unit. Right? So many scholars criticize that India is still living in time of 1960s. India still consider Africa as a non-NAM, extension of NAM, or something like poor country relationship. Africa has been so far. They are one of the biggest growing economies. So in, with the China is doing proactive engagements, India should also come up with something like this. So if India still treat Africa as a single union, we will miss all the differentiation between in within the continent 
we cannot deal south africa and south sudan with same mentality south africa south africa is a booming market booming economy there are different types of engagements required okay setbacks in software engagement in diaspora you this is something which you have all kitna bar newspaper mein dekha hai african students being manhandled african student ko room nahi milta they india is inviting them giving them scholarship and promoting our higher education sector in africa but indian society what it is doing they are treating african student has racism so all these cases different times newspaper mein hai so this is what is doing it will deteriorate india so far something is happening to foreign citizen in india it is going to be global news not going to be stop in india so this will reduce india's credibility what else diaspora diplomatic outreach issues still based on colonial narrative i already told it lack of coordination prime minister will announce something minister of external affairs work in some other way instead of defense work in some other way there is still need for lot of coordination between india's engagements limited outreach to diaspora india is having very active outreach to us diaspora european diaspora uk diaspora but african diaspora is very significant diaspora still outreach is very limited this has to overcome then think from perspective of africa political instability if a region is politically instable how our political promotion you do which company will go and invest there political stability is not there how can investment stay for long term in example most prominent example what afghanistan what all investment india did no political stability is not there taliban took over what is what happened to all the investment india did india made parliament india made dam india made whatever india can road all these infrastructure things but political instability in africa is also one of the most politically instable region still even though stability is increasing but still there is question one example south sudan civil war in 2021 is it 21 please cross check it in some doubt now challenges with respect to external actors what are challenges global competition search trample what it is the idea is so much mncs are high in africa they are coming into africa and why they are coming they want to acquire the resources of africa africa is a highly resource center why mncs are putting so much interest in africa they want to have a control over the resources now africa a factory is there profit making industry is there where the profit will go to some other countries and it is not being benefiting africa don't have political system to put enough taxation good taxation mechanism all this is not established all the benefits of industry will go to some other countries and africa will remain something under under developed stage so third scramble is very good keyword you should use idea is this mncs you understood right different big companies they are coming in adani group is acquiring petroleum reserves or coal reserves in australia or africa maybe kuch kar raha like that different us groups or different countries group, big groups are coming and they are acquiring land resources all these in africa now there is intense competition among these companies now whatever these companies if it is ultimately not benefiting africa then the whole picture what it is it is something a loss to the continent ultimately all these coming india also promote fdi we have a system here if a company bring in fdi they can generate business then they will give job to indians and they generate profit we will tax them 30% 40% kitna hai hamara corporate tax 25% abhi reduce kiya so we have a system to tax them we have a system to check the illegal activities is not happening but if a country there is taxation is not that evolved taxation capacity is limited there these mncs are coming and competing with themselves to get the resources ultimate gain of resources who will get the localized or the country or the nation will not get 
clear yeah neo colonialism another keyword you can use in this question <coughs> then china factor is applicable almost everywhere in every ir answer you should think from chinese perspective what is the chinese trade in africa is around 2.5 times that of india chinese investment is three times that of india so china is having much greater inroads in africa than india way forward it's not that much necessary the 10 marker to page will always finish but still if you want to see you, you can write all this point not going to explain all this practical diplomacy what it is as a new thing was told we discuss some more within the answer it what is practical diplomacy engaging non official level non official means engaging actors engaging ngos engaging private firms also all these people which is not part of the government using them to contact the foreign policy or for interest shouldn't we write about economic perspective as the question is growth of africa obviously you should give importance to economic perspective do india is trying to have some security yes yes very good sugar so mohit in conclusion what you can do this is one approach to conclusion which i want to say, show you if some important thing is said by prime minister or foreign minister or even some scholars if some very important line on india africa you can remember you can write those and it is not necessary to write the exact words paraphrase in your own words and write it just take the idea then paraphrase in your words and write it okay yes yes very good excellent excellent very limited words one keyword is also the good so this what you can do if you are making note in every country us if some important dialogue is told by foreign minister or prime minister you should note down it smo ahead anything else smo ahead we will try to do it fast second question the time has come for india and japan to build a strong contemporary relationship one involving global and structured strategic partnership that will have a great significance for asia and the world as a whole comment so what are you going to do what the question is demanding tell me tell me what are parts you are going to make strategic and partnership between india and japan okay india japan partnership india japan partnership significance yeah tell me how you are going to categorize it we'll do challenges right you remember last question last question how did you generate point for challenges you can speak in hindi no issues thing is when you are writing significance it's very easy to go through the point of stakeholder for from point of india what is the significance you can go this way who are the actors one is india what is the second one japan now there is question is that will have greater significance for asia and the world all these things are coming so next go through the region what is the region of this it will come asia then it will come indo pacific regional what is the relationship then global issues you can cover 
Africa, you are engaging Asia Africa growth corridor, world order, China threat, income there also. All these elements you can think from this direction. The question is also demanding that is directly asking Asia and world. Okay. And what I asked you is you should think from different different perspective. Think what is significance from India's perspective. Think what is significance from Japan's perspective. What is significance from perspective of Indo-Pacific, stability of Indo-Pacific, or growth of Asia, or stability in Asia, militarization of Asia, global supply chain, everything you can think of. Clear? Anything else you want to add in this answer? The keyword here is comment. Comment means it is not necessary you need to write the challenges. If you don't write challenges way forward, no issues. And this is how much mark? 10 marks only. So even this will have enough. Don't comment means it not necessary to do the analysis. So this is only enough in this question. Move ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me dimension. Issues way forward, I am saying the keyword here is comment. If you are writing issues way forward, how much is it? How much is it? Space is taking full page, right? Almost. If you are writing two page, writing two page, and 50% is we are writing something which I cannot give you marks. Here keyword is comment and it's not necessary part of the answer. The analysis, issues, way forward, all these are not necessary part of the answer. And you are writing 50% means you are going to lose marks. These mistakes should not happen. This is why I am repeating n number of times in the class. Content you don't remember. Content you don't remember. Keyword you don't remember. Modi ji ne kya bola. Ye bhi mujhe yaad nahi aata. Understandable. Okay, human being, everyone is like this. You can learn by the time when means come. But these kind of mistake you should not practice when you are writing answer. Either we or bhi jaga jake answer write kar raha hai. Gar jake baith ke answer lik raha hai. Ek hi answer lik raha hai. Phir bhi ye mistake nahi hona hai. Bees lik raha hai. Ek lik raha hai. Kither institute pe jake lik raha hai. Apna ke liye lik raha hai. Kabhi bhi answer writing aap aaj se kar raha hai. You should not make this mistake. Something which is not asked, something where mark is not that much relevant, you cannot give 50% space to it. Space is limited. Even if you want to write it, I have so much good points. You write, take a small 25% of the page. Of second page, 25% you write. Not fully discouraging you. But it should not happen like this. Clear? So what introduction is this? <coughs> that is what I am saying now. You should look at the keyword. Where it gone? You should look at the keyword. Here it is comment. Comment means it's not you are not going to do the analysis. In last question, it was which was first question we discussed. First year, second. Examine was the keyword. Examine karo bola hai, then you have to do the analysis. Critically analyze the objectives. Last, yesterday we discussed. Critically analyze objectives, aims and objectives or SEO. In that question, if you are not writing against or objectives of SEO or limitations of objectives of SEO, then you are making a mistake, right? So you should read the comment very carefully or keywords, whatever it is in the question very carefully and understand what is the demand of the question. How much space I should mentally allocate to which are different parts you are. Okay. So this is some writing from Shinzo Abe. Towards beautiful nation. So how you remember these kind of things? Here also when you are making notes, at least for one country, two, three comments, you should keep note of it. Take a paper, write down. 
India, Japan, I told you this, this, this is how you think. Make that notes and in the end you write something like, like this, comments which you can remember. Okay. Move ahead. You can paraphrase. Don't try to learn by heart. It will be very difficult. How can you by heart all these simple, simple words? You write in your own words, just take the key ideas of it. Learn one, two key words. There is a conflict in what Shinzo Bay's ideology is and what you are writing. Then somebody will pick you. Otherwise, have some common sense and handle the situation. Okay, so how will do deal with this? Significance of India, Japan. We are thinking from India's perspective. Now here we follow for generating these points. You can follow the same Gola principles. You can think from values. You can think from national interest. You can think from strategic. All those, all those big big blah blah things you can apply. So democratic vision, quad spirit. We discussed so much on quad. Go to YouTube and see last year like yesterday's lecture. You will get to yesterday no first lecture. Complementary economies. <clears throat> what is complementary economy in India and Japan? Tell me. What is the complementary? Don't read that. I'm not telling you to read that. What is complementary of India and Japan economy? Yes, this is that is not. Think more. What is complementary about Japan and India? Leave the economy part also. What is complementary about Japan and India? Society, culture, Japan is an aging economy. What is age there? Average age is above what is? India is democratic dividend phase we are going through. We are st stepped on to the dividend phase which will last for next 25 years till 2040 or 50 something. So we are a very young population with so much population we can be human capital of the world. While Japan is a country where human capital is becoming extinct. Not extinct, but very difficult to get. So there are so much opportunities. <coughs> Nuclear diplomacy. Why is this very important in Indo-Japan relations? Yes, yes. Japan. Japan is the only country who face nuclear weapon issues. And Japan is very strict on it. And what is India's nuclear issues? In 1998, what India did? Yeah, Cochrane test India did. And what happened after that? India was severely treated by all countries. And no country was giving, ready to give even the power plant nuclear equipments to India. Equipments, technology, uranium, anything. Even for you power generation, they won't give to India. India was facing sanctions from United States, something similar to what Russia is facing. But Russia, it's a little different. If India cannot have capacity to counter it, we have our own nuclear programs, but still there, if we are looking for mass expansion, something we are looking nuclear as a major technology for powering India's energy needs in future. Indian programs are limited. We need technology cooperation. So that was all blocked after India's Cochrane test. Then how this was resolved? How this resolved? Who resolved? Russia did something, but main resolution kidder say. Who was Prime Minister after this? Vajpayee was Prime Minister in 1998. After that, who came? Manmohan Singh came. Then what was Manmohan Singh's first government's biggest political threat? 2004 to 9. Nuclear deal with US. 1, 2, 3 nuclear deal with US. So US came forward and signed deal with India. US told we will provide you XYZ of nuclear technology or uranium for peaceful use, not for making weapons. And India was a very credible state. India was not misusing its technology. India is not giving technology to some countries like North Korea or anyone. 
India was maturely using it and we played a very active diplomacy. Indian diaspora was one of the biggest contributors, US diaspora was biggest contribution in lobbying for this deal. And what happened to Manmohan Singh for this deal? What happened? What was his trouble? Actually, Congress was ruling with support of communists. Communists were supporting Congress from outside. And huh, they withdrawn the support to Manmohan Singh. He was facing what? Hmm. But some other parties, I think SP, some majority party. I think SP, some other parties supported him and he won that. Yeah. He won the next election also. He created the goodwill of it. That was one of the biggest major achievements of Manmohan Singh, one government. One next. Go on to discussion. So, Japan, what I am speaking, we deviated from the topic. So, Japan is the only country who faced something very bad on nuclear aspect, nuclear weaponization aspect. So, and Japan is very strict on having this, after this, US supported India, Russia was very prominent. After this deal, which country benefited best is Russia. Scudum plum plants, all other plants, India, many nuclear plants are being supported with Russian technology. And Russian companies got opportunity to sell their technology, all these things. And Japan was still not ready to accept India. They were keeping some distance till again 10 years. Then Narendra Modi became Prime Minister, then he visited Japan. Then some again talk and after long talk, they deal signed deal with India. Japan, so Japan support is something if Japan is supporting, then India is a very matured nuclear power. In Japan support, how will we need in future? For NSG membership. What is NSG? Nuclear Supplies Group. Why India is not a member? Ukraine is gone. China is not allowing India. NSG works in NSG. How NSG works? Everyone should approve, then only you will get the membership. Either China will block it through some proxy countries, or China started directly blocking all. So, China is creating issues for India's NSG members. So, Japan's support will be very crucial. Security aspects, what you can write? <laughs> India, India's security vision. What is India's regional security vision? India is net security provider in the Indian Ocean region. If India and Japan come together, they can have this wider ambit. Can have a Indo net security provider in the Indo-Pacific region. Southeast Asia especially. What is strategic aspect? Counterbalancing China. What will you give a explanation to this? What India is facing heat from China? Where India is facing? Border in Ladakh. But we are seeing. Same issue is going with Japan also. What islands China is claiming? Senkaku Islands. Japan, China is saying, you are okay? Understanding? Yeah. So, China is having direct border issues similar to India with Japan. Sorry, opposite. Japan is having issues with China. So, you can give a substantiation to it. <clears throat> what else? So, in Japan perspective, tell me something. External balancing against China, same point. Economic dependence. Yeah. We discuss so much on US. China issues. US issue kitna bhi strategically fight karo. At the end of the day, US economy is highly dependent on China. Interdependent is so strong. And Japan is also in a very pain situation. You can fight with China, but economically decoupled with China is not feasible. Manufacturing in so many aspects. Market. So even India is an alternative country sitting here. If you really want to decouple China, you want to expand this. There is so much opportunities between India and China. Future expansion, AGC, investment in ASEAN countries, all this you can say. Okay. This is same thing. Pahle question with the Asia Africa Growth Corridor. What else? 
Think from regionalist perspective, Indo-Pacific or Asia perspective. Multipolar world vision. What is it? We discussed yesterday also. US is upholding a world vision of unipolar world or hegemonic world. While India and so many other countries are looking for a multipolar world. Dependable al alternative. In what context it is told? DRI. BRI is making, what is this BRI? Belt and Road Initiative of China. They are making investment throughout the world. So at least an alternative a coming together of India and Japan can serve. Abbe Doctrine. Japan is a country who very famous for rule of law. Rule of law is something India's vision for indo -Pacific. Rule of law should be followed. BRI, what BRI is doing? BRI is making trade corridors throughout the world. ASEAN countries, for example, ASEAN countries, they are making so much investment in ports. So what ASEAN country can do? Even if they, what happened to Sri Lanka? Debt trap diplomacy was kissed them. So BRI and so much things about BRI is opaque. You will get the money, but you will not sure where it will go in the future. So, if India and Japan can come together, they can offer an alternative to it. Yeah, some other investment opportunity. India is also looking for India's making investment in Africa. India is also a country who can capable of making some developed investment. Even though directly cannot, not in a position to compete with China. But still India can have a prominent role in that. So, what else? Significance to global order. Here you can write all these G4 countries, coffee club, sustainable development. Okay. Some points are repeating again and again. In the end of the day, if you think these dimensions think from stakeholders' perspective, getting 10 points is not big deal. This is one another way of writing current. Conclusion. What is difference here? What is difference in conclusion? This conclusion. See, yeah, one thing is a very important thing happened in the recent part. Actually, I framed this answer when these things happened. That's why it directly came there. The, the idea is. If something relevant is going on in news, something relevant which recently happened, you remember, between India, Japan or India, Israel, you can obviously use that in conclusion. Shinzo Abe, demise Hua. So, you can use it in your answer some way or other. But don't make a political statement of it. That is very important. <coughs> okay. Let's move fast. What will you do with this? India's relation with Israel has a slate acquired debt and diversity, which cannot be rolled back. Discuss. What is the word? Discuss. Okay. So, what we'll do here? Tell me part. Discuss means an argument is given. You have to support this argument. This part you cannot miss. You have to support the argument very well. And negative countering the argument, you have a scope. If there is a scope to counter or some argument is given where there is enough counter position also, then go with countering also, no issue. But even if you don't do this, that is not too much going to hurt. There is some level of flexibility in it. And every question may you do this in Okay. So what will you do with here? <clears throat> what depth and diversity are there in the recent past? That is you have to substantiate. In this way, depth and diversity. This, you, this argument you have to substantiate. What is the other part of the answer? 
which cannot be rolled back. Way forward, you can write. Uh -huh. Roll back means you cannot go back. Improved further means different idea, right? Roll back means you cannot go back your previous position. Improve further means looking forward, you have to improve it. You can include that. Why we can't roll back? This can be analytical part of your answer. Here we will simply state facts. This happened, this deal signed. That's why the relation is coming close. Prime Minister visit to war. All this happened due to only facts you have to quote. In this you can give the analysis. Why India-Israel relationship is coming closer? Why India-Israel is having long-term vision? All this you can discuss in this part. After this, don't think if it is a 10 marker, there is no much scope for writing challenges and way forward. The 15 marker, you can think of adding a challenge and way forward to it. Okay, move ahead. So this is a basic picture of what happened between India and Israel. So what is Israel in Palestine issue? Palestine means Arabs. Arabs people were living there for centuries. And Israel, Jews have religious issue it is. Jews as a claim to the land on religious basis. God given them this XYZ land. So they have religious claim, claim to that land. So this was going on for centuries. And after World War One, World War Two, all these times, Hitler massacre, Hitler issues, all these were happening against Jews. So Jews wanted somewhere to go, and this issue became more prominent. Countries requested Britain; it was under the control of Britain. And countries requested Britain to open the gates for Jews to come to Palestine, and they started coming, and all these issues were further going on. So what we will discuss is what is Gandhi's views on it. Gandhi's views, Palestine is for Arabs. He is a spiritual person. He is from a moral perspective. His views are coming. And he said that Palestine is for Arabs. And Palestine should not be a religious Jewish state. What is Jawaharlal Nehru difference? What it is? Jawaharlal Nehru told that Palestine Israel issue is an imperialistic issue created by British to do their divide and rule. He was also of the same opinion of Gandhi that Palestine is for Arabs. So this mentality dominated India's post-independence diplomacy with Israel. So that is because we see when we recognize Israel in 1950, there is a UNGA resolution 181. What this resolution came up for? Palestine should be split between Palestine, Arab Palestine and Jewish Palestine or Israel, two state solution. And India voted against this. India voted one country for that. And India recognized Israel in 1950, but India was not having any diplomatic contact with Israel. Now in 1974, India was the first non-Arab country to recognize PLO. What is PLO? Liberation Organization. After that, establishment of dip diplomatic contact with Israel came in 1992. What is the most important thing about Israel? First thing India, Israel, what come into mind? Defense equipments. Why in 1992 defense equipments? Why is the connection between these two? Give me some answer. Why in 1992 India was in need of a defense partner or defense equipment? from Israel, for say any other part. Why in 1992? 1992 may be Chwara. Exactly. In 1991, disintegration of USSR. USSR was India's major military supplier. Even today, the USSR is the major military supplier. And India was so much strategic aspect is dependent on USSR and once the USSR is gone future of Russia we cannot predict there was uncertainty and that why India needed a partner and Israel is something who can replace it who has the at least technological prowess to replace it US 
yes yes what is dehyphenation policy we have two countries fighting each other and india has to deal with it then what india will do india will not take side we will discuss with do two or person independently we will deal with israel independently we will deal palestine independently we will not come in between their fight that was something india's official policy for so long and what modi doctrine says it is not deviated too much from dehyphenation policy but it upgraded the israel relation to strategic one not just a give and take relation we have so much common we should do so much common things that is what we have to write in the one and prime minister was prime minister to visit israel in 2017 still india is not totally ready to give up in india's autonomy even if we go so close to israel in 2017 voting in unga israel won jerusalem as its capital and usa moved some i think turkey moved against resolution against this and india supported this india went against usa india went against israel and supported this resolution so even though we are close we are never going to leave our strategic autonomic position we will go with merit of the case 2019 india voted in favor there are other reasons too can explain it not now will take so much of time already <coughs> okay one major is moralistic value itself like jerusalem still palestine have some claim on it we cannot come and make jerusalem only us claim only israeli place that is moral aspect to it but obviously there are political elements to it also go ahead yes okay for christians also we'll discuss all this later recent conflict means it was what you are asking can you likho kyu kyu stop kar le if relevant to the question likho but india israel relation bol raha uske beech mein अननेसेसरी चीज नहीं लेके यू कैन राइट इंडिया का स्टैंड यू कैन राइट बट डोंट राइट इट फ्रॉम दर्स्पेक्टिव ऑफ इसराइल और डोंट राइट इट फ्रॉम दर्स्पेक्टिव ऑफ पैलेस्टीन समथिंग इज इंडिया इज सेंग इंडियन पर्सपेक्टिव यू कैन इंक्लूड इन दी एंसर और अलेवन टू वट एवर क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट यू कैन इंक्लूड एंड डोंट टेक इन आइडियोलॉजिकल स्टैंड इन ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन तो इज अ वेरी minimalistic introduction you can see well, yeah you can write now who is stopping me 30 years war india started the diplomatic relations with israel <coughs> so what will include in the body how india us oh sorry israel relation is acquiring depth and diversity high level political visits already told 2017 first prime minister to visit israel israel prime minister also visited india after that defense cooperation some examples you should keep in mind defense cooperation agreement will write i am specifically saying to you defense cooperation agreement no agreement will write but your answer can have any mark only if you give some example uav is what is uav and aerial vehicles radar systems missiles barakat at least remember one missile that will suffice india israel vision for defense cooperation deal was signed long term vision 10 years we will have defense cooperation israeli participation in make in india all these big big companies adani group tata advanced systems tech mahindra all these are signing deals with israeli counterpart agriculture diplomacy very important if you are speaking from israel water efficiency all these technologies precision agriculture drip irrigation all these come into picture trade how much trade is happening 8 billion in 2022 education 
हेल्थ केयर स्ट्रेटेजिक वेस्टर्न क्वाड इज वट इज वेस्टर्न क्वाड आई टू यू टू नॉट गोइंग डीप इन टू इट सो ऑल दिस डायमेंशन यू कैन रिलेट टू योर हैंड्स गेटिंग वट नेक्स्ट Why it is said that closer? This is an analytical part of the hands. Here, what we will do is, why India and Israel is coming together? We will have a look on it. Here, you can follow the same procedure. Only national interest strategy. It was civilizational connection. What is one example you can say? Jew diaspora in India. <coughs> Ancient literature also some relevances are there. What is it? Also, they were good to become something like that. That is having a replication in Jewish literature also. Contemporary economics. What is con complementary on India and Israel? I asked you about India and Japan. What is complementary about India and Israel? Research. Israel is an economy with so much research capacity and innovation, but Israel don't have market, and India is one of the big market for all those products. Strategic coherence, Western side, both are friends with US. Acquiring long term vision, 10 year roadmap, already discussed. In line with high octane diplomacy. I told you to use this yesterday. Have you used high octane diplomacy? Should use keyword. This is in the list I provided you. There is high octane diplomacy in that also. Start inculcating it. Facing similar challenges. What are similar challenges? Faced by India and Israel. Don't read. Think. Cross border terrorism. You told now Hamas bombing all these issues. India is also facing similar to it. Infiltration in yes, yes. Radicalization, all these. Okay. So, yeah, this is just for knowledge. I have included this. Some irritants in India, Israel relations. The Gaza controversy. The Gaza started from Israel. It is an Israel company. What is the name of the company? NSA. Something like that. <laughs> not explaining the issue in detail. India pro Israel and Palestine stance. India is still not completely came out of that Israel pro, pro Palestine stance. India still support the humanitarian rights of Palestine. Fishers in Middle East. Who is the biggest pressure against Israel? Turkey or Iran and India what India need? India want good relation with Iran also. When the US sanctions came after the nuclear deal withdrawal then we reduced the economic deals with Iran. Before that whenever the nuclear deal was active, Iran nuclear deal was active, India was very actively trading with Iran also. So India is a country who can do with anything with anyone and these countries don't make that much of an issue. China factor, always writing, communalization of India-Israel relations, politicization, all these create issues. What is play for us? Nothing new, I think almost you can get it on your own. No need to explain anything. Okay. Here also use of keywords. You should take note of use of keywords. India and Israel relation has forced the era of ideological posturing and moral politics. Explained in the first class, real politics and moral politics. So in Israel context, who should use this? Now we are having a pragmatic stance with respect to Israel. This open for engagements, wider engagements in future. Okay. So what is last question? Kushna Energy Security Council, West Asia and Energy Security. So, I will you address this? We have a statement and we have a question. What is statement? Energy security is very good for or very much needed for economic progress. Question is, analyze India's energy policy cooperation with West Asian countries. What do you do? Tell me. Be touch to now. Class. Let them say. You tell me. How do you approach this question?
Ukraine, Ukraine all you can write, but somewhere you should limit to West Asia. Russia say what? Thing is, the question is not about Russia. The question is West Asian countries. So argument should also be somewhere related to West Asia. Link you can link the argument with Udar Ye Hora, this why this is a bore. But main crux of your argument, West Asian countries should be part of it. Which are West Asian countries? All the Saudi Arabia, UAE, Iran, Iraq, India is so much importing from Iran. <coughs> yeah. Move ahead. So at least first part of your answer, you should write something on importance of energy security. Hmm. Energy security and link it with economic data. Please write something on it because statement is there. And in next part, you can directly go into what is keyword here? Analyze. So what you will do? You should, your answer should have that division. Yeah. Analyze. So you can do, give three parts again. Station countries. This is our energy policy. One, two, three, four, five points. No analysis of this. Here you can have a box. And give positives, four, three, three, four points, negative three, four points. Then give a way forward if you have space and knowledge. Then you give a conclusion. Clear? In point generation, we either go with stakeholders thinking, otherwise we will go with the other one. Three rounds, strategic values and national interest. So, introduction, what you will write? Energy security determines all ambitions. This is what I said. Very vague statement. You can give some data. If you remember some data. Or, yes, yes. Graph. 80%, 85% energy is crude oil is imported from outside. Data also you can say. Okay. So, first part of the answer India's energy policy cooperation with West Asian countries. Here, what are you right? Major fuel source. Here also data 50 years, 15 years, 60 percent in last 15 years. LNG is 85 percent is coming from West Asia. Energy infrastructure development is happening. 15 billion dollars signed between Saudi Aramco and Reliance Industries. Strategic petroleum reserves. They are also the UAE and Saudi Arabia is giving the petroleum required for this. Renewable energy cooperation, where it is happening, ISA. You can cite ISA. The station countries are also a part of ISA. And energy efficiency, which country come in when energy efficiency we are discussing? Israel. Israel is also part of West Asia. Should not think that only Arab countries are part of West Asia. No. Giving a West Asian countries means Israel. One point should be regarding Israel also. Okay. So, this is the analytical part, positive negatives. You should at least have three, four points regarding that. If your answer sheet has all these dimensions correctly, then the only gain is gaining enough knowledge, we have bare minimum knowledge. That will, if you are continuously working from now to next mains, knowledge will come, come, come. But if the structuring, how to gain the knowledge, this part you don't know, then it will not come in the paper. You will have so much, you will be very knowledgeable person. The end of the day, if it is not coming in the paper, then, but it's all for. China factor, why not China factor? China is making so much investment. If you say Iran, Iran is a part of West Asia or Central Asia. I'm just giving an example of Iran. They are signed a 25 year. 400 billion agreement for investment, Chinese investment in Iran. 25 year, 400 billion investment in Iran. It's something too huge. So, China is making inroads in West Asia also. They are making investment in with Israel also. When Israel answer also, you can write Chinese factor. 
is not like indian they are signing deals with only indian company they are signing deals with chinese companies also china is not like only limited to borders or indo pacific china is having a global game global plan they are having their strategies okay anything else you want to discuss what is poor diversification like there is a risk if 85% of our oil came from us west asia and west asia is a country with so much infighting iran is there at one side saudi arabia is there at one side israel is there at one side and these three groups are always fighting for it between them and west asia is having instability iraq issues afghanistan all these things are there in west asia so india wanted to diversify its oil from other countries latin america africa russia russia recently it is increasing so this was a plan which was proposed 20 years back but still we are heavily dependent on west asia itself sustainability is choose our energy demand is going to quadruple by 2014 it's not going to come down <clears throat> entanglement with us sanctions which example will you give iran us sanctions came it's very difficult for india to trade with that country even though we are trading with sanctions with russia but handling smaller countries in that plane is not difficult it's not easy beyond oil cooperation even though it started it's still in a very nascent stage So this is conclusion. Nothing much to discuss more. Integration of strategic in calculus into India's West Asia policy enhanced scope for engagements much beyond the energy perspective. If you want to discuss any of your answers or show any of your answers, you can do it after the class. So these are topics for tomorrow. Come prepare with these topics. Question will be on these topics itself. Don't go and look the previous year question. Take the topic and prepare the topic. Then come and write the answer. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Good evening, everyone. Okay, test. Kitna likha apne? Two and a half. Kitna time mein? Jaldi aaya tha na aaj. Six twenty. Still forty-five minutes. Two question. It's not enough. Should be in thirty forty minutes at least around. Four questions. What about you, Satyam? Satyam, right? Why one question? Why not? I gave the topic yesterday. What about you, three? Hmm. So how was how was paper overall? context very particular questions so yeah i discussed with you these are what is the four questions these are quite difficult set of questions why difficult high specificity is there every question has something very specific thing is posed this is in 2019 as unesco what it is question is are saying us withdrawn from unesco and aftermath of that some question has came first question who why this question when it is asked in 2000 covid 19 was happening so much criticism against who 
what about this wto question trade war was started and reaching its heights this question also some kind of reforms was going on in the organization so every of these question they are all what kind of questions where you put it highly current affairs question so if you were attempting this question in that year you may not find it very difficult since we are 3 years ahead and we are trying to remember the points which were relevant in long back obviously we will find some difficulty so that is okay understandable so what is a learning from all this if preparing for 2023 you will be giving mains this year what will you do regarding the organization till yesterday we were discussing countries india israel india all these countries west asia so most of the year one question is from organization some kind of organization seo quad ocus all these kind of things united nations organizations yeah now g20 summit is happening so if something very credible is happening in here or something very important declaration came out or not g20 with any other organization any other un organizations most of these are specialized agencies who unesco what are other specialized agencies give me few examples ilo next unicef fao all these things unicef all these un specialized agencies go to un website i again saying start the practice of going into the original websites g20 some declaration has came out it will be long declaration you don't need to read all things and all at least take like we have done 2022 quad summit we have used liberally in that summit declarations in the answer so at least take four or five points what are major outcomes of the g20 declaration that has came out yesterday it came out i guess and, and again questions are coming from only current affairs or something which is relevant in news that year so any organization any un related organization is having any issues or issues is being discussed regularly prepare that thoroughly five year back something happened you don't need to dig that even this organization you are not getting point you are not many of you might not be getting any enough points in this it's no big deal you don't need to go and study all the committees also because that was relevant that for that year but if similar any other organization was in news aya hai then prepare the committees of that organization prepare the overall structure of that organization prepare the functions of that organization have a look abhi g20 aaya hai to g20 mein basic idea you should have okay well, let's go back so where is your keyword list you don't have if you have take it and add this where these are coming from who all read today's newspaper you read cop 27 very first page itself it is given in hindu what is carbon border tax tell me you can come here yaar yeah. it's too long you are comfortable there okay speak hmm hmm okay okay why is it in news which country is proposing it which set of countries is proposing it developing countries any other guess say i n island countries why island countries why 
they are submerging. So they want some strategy. Any other any other suggestion? Developed countries, why? Okay. Developed countries are proposing this because they are getting imports from developing countries which are polluting. That's what you are saying. <laughs> so developing countries are not still realized. They are still in process. Any any other? You have any anything to add? Any other set of countries? <coughs> this is proposed by EU. Every argument you told is exactly correct. Developed countries are being propagating the idea of carbon border tracks. Idea is same. If a good which is produced in India or China, mostly Indian electricity is coming from which source? Fossil fuels, coal. How much is coal dependence? 60 percent? It is too much. Around 60 maybe. So this electricity we are using and our transportation most are running on fossil fuels itself. So it will have huge carbon accumulation. Same which goes with China also. So when India and China export something to you, EU, they are coming up with a new form of tax, carbon border tax. And what is India's stance in this? This is exactly why it is in news. What is India's stance? Refusing. Any other? Why refusing? Per capita emission is very less. Another reason was we are still developing. Still developing. Any other reason? Any other argument? Try to make something. India is importing from EU. So, India is supporting this, you are saying. You think India is? It should be done across all countries, not just one, two countries, on all products also. It should be something like universal system. This tax will work against our exports. So, so far India's stance is, India is of course against this carbon border tax. India, what India is saying, it will create another tool of protectionism or another protectionism device. What is protectionism? To safeguard our in local industry, we will impose higher taxes to check, limit the export imports. So India is saying this will distort the market. This will become a tool with specific countries like EU or some developed countries so they can check the ex imports from India. So India is saying this is a protectionist device and this should not be allowed. India, China, South Africa, Brazil, all these countries are opposing this. Now what is this? In our lifetime campaign. See in exam, you when you are adding this into keyword, exactly remembering these provisions of this campaign, not required. But in substantiation or in justification of some points, you can use this. What is in lifetime campaign? You are making too much guesses. <laughs> Idea is same. Carbon, it is in G20. This is something related to all this. Carbon emission should come down. Yes, yes, yes. Extension of that. The idea is engaging youth for adopting sustainable lifestyle practices. Youth means who? 18 to 23, I guess. Idea is engaging them to adopt, which is good for earth. All three are taken from today's newspaper. 
why I am discussing not just to show these three, but go through the newspaper where you will get these kind of words, these kind of ideas. Take it note in that keyword list, add on to it. At the end of the day, like when you have mains coming in one month or 15 days, if you don't have a consolidated material with you, for IR, I made the notes from all places, from test series, from class, from newspaper. If I don't consolidate you, you don't have that consolidated material, it's not going to work. You cannot juggle between materials and take this institute. You cannot be. Really. Now you still have the time to have the flexibility. But after prelims to mains, just three months, you have to do optional essay, ethics, all this. In between IR also, you are changing two materials, means that is not feasible. So whatever you are making, your overall vision should be what? You should have all the content at one place and make all that structure, values, national interest, what do you say, strategic. All these structure make in that material itself, thought process, if you can think something else. It's not required, this is the only thought process in IR. If you can make out something of your own, make that and put everything in one place. The idea is you should have such a material. Okay. And keywords I already given around 70. That is very good enough. But still going through newspaper, you see something add on to it. Getting the idea? Clear? So we will go to today's questions. Let me see if anyone is seeing online. Yeah. So, first question. Here, one more thing that add difficulty to all these question is, what, whatever approach we told yesterday, that is very difficult to apply in most of these questions. Values, national interest, strategic, all that things will not work. This is something like a reality check. Till yesterday, if you are writing paper following it, till yesterday, we how many questions we did? Three days, 12 questions. Almost all in 12 questions, we were using the pattern and we were like feeling the luxury. <laughs> These all questions are something, it is not really applicable. It is very difficult to apply. Why? Because they are very specific questions, specific to a certain instant. You should have some knowledge base to answer this. To take note of all this is, don't give too much into the content, because pandemic response was good or bad of WHO. This is not going to be repeated next year. Very less, less chance the same question will come. But the approach, the space allocation of the answer, subparts, parts, subparts, all these things you should not make any mistake. So tell me what you are going to do in this question. What is keyword? First thing in question, you should look at it, critically examine. So, if critically examine what is must, you should do some analysis of it. You cannot state some facts and leave it there. And this should be, this is 10 markers, so you have two pages. This analysis should be major part of your answer. You can include way forward, you can include any other things in between, but the analysis positive, negative should be or criticism and something like this should be the major part of your answer. It should occupy more than one page. In between space, you can add web forward, you can add something else about WHO, all these things you can add. Okay. Anybody made any mistakes regarding this? Show me your answer. Points, I am not looking at it, but if approach is correct, Anybody, anybody else? You did right. Not showing, hiding. You done sim similarly. Okay. So, in all these questions, in all almost all four questions, simple introduction is what? Just defining what the organization is. And in introduction, lot of people 
propagate so much ideas. You should introduce the answer like this. You should like this. Keep it as simple as possible. Till yesterday, one approach we following was use keywords that should be in everywhere. That's not something context of the question we were trying to explain. Why the question is there? Some question question will be asking something else. But if you know the context, why this X, Y, Z question is coming into question paper, that thing we were trying to explain in most of the questions. And another very common approach is this one, just given, give the definition. And here also, don't go and pick the exact words of definition. It will be very difficult to remember all the organization. What you have to do is just pick few words. If you are writing about WHO, it's a United Nations agency. You should include that word. Promote health. At least keep two, three words into your notebook. And with that words, you can juggle and in your English, you should write the definition. Recent statistics. You can add, no issue. One question we did also yesterday, right? Some data with data also, you can start the answer, no issues. Energy security question. So foundation, founded year, if you remember, write it. But don't, if you don't know, don't try to guess it. It will create issues. Okay. Now, why this is in diagram? Functions of WHO is not asked in this question. Still, I am so much now, I write all about WHO and I came for the exam. So, you can add a small part to it. You don't need to add this much of point, just two, three, four points maximum. And it should occupy only small space. Okay. And how you generate points for this? These are not exact WHO words. These are guesswork words. What WHO is? Health. What will it do? Funding, infrastructure development in poor countries, vaccine development, research and development, surveillance, guidelines, standards, norms. You can easily think 458. Write those. Examples. What is the report? One report by WHO. If you can remember, write it. Huh, TB, that you can write. At least some examples, if you can add, it will become very crisp. Okay. The point is, this should not be one page of your answer. If you are making this one page of your answer, then somewhere you will have to compromise in the end. Clear? This is somebody asked me now, if you don't know anything, at least in WHO, even if you are going without prepared, you at least can guess some of the functions of WHO. I'm not saying you will get full marks for the guess, guess work, but at least you can have a start. Yes, yes, yes. That can happen. You should be cautious of it. So what is this? Read, read. This was some piece of information by WHO, which was popularized by whom? Whom? Donald Trump. He was accusing WHO of everything due to this. Why? What is the background of this? What this is saying? Unfortunately, everything that is said is wrong. No evidence of human to human transmission. Speaking about COVID, you should respect the date. This was a time when even China was not opening up. Something was opening, going on in Wuhan and what is going on is not being out, coming out. <coughs> the problem is around six days back. 31 December 2019. What happened? 
not first case china came up with a statement very similar to this there is a new form of pneumonia that is going on and there is no infection device no human human spreading all this china came up with a statement and what who did is they just paraphrase it and they made it their statement if it was if it were true this will not be the people will have forgot this but thing is it was all wrong and covid became blasted out of china and this gave an opportunity for criticize who in all ways and what trump threatened who of blocking the suspending the funding of and if us is suspending the funding then any organization is going into trouble unesco same same stories you will see so what analysis you have done what is the mistakes wto did here also you can do guess work one one delayed information we already told investigation when it was sent investigation team it was after almost one year more than one year after the case was reported then the investigation team went to china low lack of objectivity in reporting what what more add more there was funding issues obviously institutional issues of who what who can do this is a really global pandemic happening and it is spreading country after country who don't have any means to come and stay between the countries and stay block the country lockdown they can only just suggest they can only say something very bad is happening the who chief what is his name he was a very popular face that time he was coming in news every time so <clears throat> first we go by order very slow to respond we already see in the tweet initial reluctant to declare a global health emergency what is that it was not seen as a something very big yes yes sending contradictory messages give me one example one very famous WHO said wearing mask is not necessary or wearing mask is not effective. Yes, yes, only very extreme cases you need to wear mask. After very few time they change the stance, they come into the reality, but still it created so much complications. What is failed to coordinate between countries? It's a global organization. But still, when something most important is happening, it is only able to come in TV and give suggestions. On credible taking action on ground, WHO was nowhere seen. Criticism of favoring China. What is Taiwan issue? What is Taiwan issue during pandemic? What is Taiwan's problem in all these contexts? No, no, that came after the pandemic, recent times. Come on. Centralization, you are guessing. Taiwan is not a member of WHO. Why Taiwan is not a member of WHO? China say on, there is only one China and that is us. This is not China, this should not be entered. Taiwan is out of WHO. And what is issue of out of WHO? What is problem not being a part of WHO? What problem Taiwan was facing? Restriction from China is one part. Major issue is when a global pandemic is happening, India will get all the information from WHO, credible information. But Taiwan will not get any right information information incoming is also not there second is taiwan is a country which foresee the pandemic when india launched lockdown in april right april march yeah 
what Taiwan did is Taiwan already foreseen something very bad is happening in Wuhan. They declared lockdowns. They are one country who are in forefront in acting against this. So, if some country is taking some action which is very good, that should be replicated. There is scope for replicating it in India. There is scope for replicating it in other countries. There were so much good examples of how they did it. That time it was very relevant. Two years around now, we may think that everyone did it. But during the first few months, some country is achieving some success in controlling the pandemic. That's something very good. And that should be popularized throughout the world. Since Taiwan is not a part of WHO, that was not happening. And Taiwan minister, secretary, somebody, people were coming and talking in television. We really need information. We really have models. They were speaking it, but still WHO is not going against it. So Trump again made a whole scene out of it. China is also funding enough. Second biggest, probably. Now somebody told funding issues. Institutional limitations you can always write. WHO is mainly funded by donor, donor fundings. And this issue, okay, donors can control their function. Like if US, it is not going with the US lines, then they will can cut the funding. So what's the point? Funding gap, no long term reforms. How many time, how many years passed after pandemic? WHO, state of WHO is in, how was it two, two years back? There is no updation of charter. There is no updation of so many things. So all these you can cite as criticisms. Positive what you will say? Communication was very good. Even though first they did the mistake, afterwards the chief was coming every day in TV. Very common face in different, all countries. Many countries. Yes, yes, yes. So many communication programs were coordinated. What are else? Many poor nations, including African nations, all these, they were given a lot of support. Support means what? Sending masks, kids, testing kids, all these. It would have been very easy to write this answer that year. Now we will have to think back. What is COVAX? What is COVAX? What? Not COVAXIN, I am asking. What is COVAX facility or why it was formed? When vaccine came, what was the issue the world was facing? Production. Anything else? When vaccine came to the global market, vaccine nationalism, exactly. What is vaccine nationalism? Yes, vaccine production is limited in some countries. Every country don't have the capacity. And those countries who have the capability, they are going and saying, we will take the vaccine. We will take vaccine and if something pending, we will only export. So this thing was going on. And to check, some kind of check to this, COVAX distribution facility will came out. They will have an equitable distribution system. How successful was that? That is another part of the story. But still something with the direction has been done. What is this? CEPI. GAVI, Alliance for Vaccine Development. So this is why COVID vaccine was so effective, like how it came very fast, why it came very fast. So many research data were shared freely. Usually all these research data, they are IPR, pharmaceutical IPR, so many IPR system will come across it. And it's very difficult to access. But in COVID, due to the emergency condition, so many labs, so many individuals also, they are sharing the research data. And this was coordinated by this organization. And they itself were conducting researches. 
So all these help towards quick development of vaccines. No other disease vaccine came out this fast. And that too not just one technology. Many technologies of vaccine are coming. What is new technology? Due to COVID that became started using in human. Which technology? Vaccine is there now. But you have to you try some mRNA vaccines. What are mRNA vaccines? There is one question this year, right? This year means prelims. Prelims it was okay. Go and study. This was some technology which is popularized. Technology was there, but still not popularized due to XYZ limitations. But now we have a situation where something is needed in urgency and we have vaccines which can be produced faster, distributed faster. So this technology came into prominence due to all this. Was COVID good due to this? Was COVID a good thing because one new technology we got? Lot of things happen, but the cost of COVID is too much. Don't give an argument that reduced. <laughs> but it's still not equitable now. Say, people, young people in this volume dying is still not equitable. You consider on pollution. COVID lockdown, so many cities where pollution numbers were coming down. But it's not sustainable. Two years back, what we are in the same position. Delhi is still the most polluted city. <coughs> yeah, go on. We are deviating from topic. So, way forward, if you want, you can include 10 markers. There will not be enough space. The most, this, nothing from this you cannot exclude. This above I showed the diagram functions. These are all subparts to add value, to add more mark brownie points to the answer. Like you will say, like from 80s to 110s. What is it? 70s, 80s. Getting 70s, 80s in GS is no big deal. If you write, you learn prelims, you are coming here after qualifying prelims. You are not somebody a fool. You will know all things, at least basics. And you will easily fill two page fill karna, 150 words. You will have content to write for 70 marks. But for content to write for 1110 mark or 120 marks, there comes the difference. There you should not miss any extra parts. If you can have scope to add one more part, add it. Getting? Yeah. <clears throat> Donor reliance, this is some, something which is need to be reformed. We need long term plans. COVID cannot be one time event. 21st century, so much challenges are coming. Who can foresee the another vaccine or another virus cannot come? So we need some system so that we can tackle this faster. Global alliance. Something we need more than WHO, what WHO was doing during pandemic. And India's role always right. India can do something, multilateral, world order, all this. Okay. Conclusion also. Somewhere in the lines here, you very difficult to cite some foreign minister or prime minister. Still some futuristic con conclusion you can give. We need more reforms. We need a stronger organization. Something in that direction. Idea is we need better preparedness. We need building collective resilience. <coughs> Here also try to include as many keywords. At least when you are writing answer, at least keep one keyword for conclusion. Why? At the end of the ride, this is the last thing. The examiner is reading. After reading this, he is giving you mark. So, 
you can jugad you can do is at least keep one keyword for conclusion and all these things it's very easy to say and hear really doing in exam it requires so much practice start today start practicing then only you will get fluent of it by the time when actual exam is there <coughs> move on yeah tell me parts of this question tell me different parts okay introduction you are saying body you are saying okay withdrawal of us is it this asked does that mean you should write too much of it okay then next part issues with unesco is this asked okay what next how will you address this statement is there that is speaking about few issues of unesco and you are giving heading issues with unesco so how will you manage no no i am saying unesco may have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 issues in question itself you are given two specific issues so how you are going to manage this yes substantiating these two issues should be your key mindset what are two issues too little cash too much politics these two issues you should substantiate why this issue is coming you should write more of it other issues of unesco you can mention but it should be small small parts getting what will be other part what recommendation way forward that kind of thing decent anything else any other suggestion किधर राइट करेगा इसमें आफ्टर वे फोर आफ्टर इश्यूज यू हैव रिटर्न रोल ऑफ यूनेस्को से टेन मार्क का हाउ मच कितना खींचेगा एनीथिंग एल्स एनी अदर सजेशन एंटी स्ट्रेल बाइस याद है यू शुड इंक्लूड दैट इन ऑल दिस that should be your content of argument in many ends points anything anything else enough ten marker this is more than enough so introduction i am not going to explain too much just world peace security education arts science culture what unesco stands for just remember these words these are what unesco stand for and try to un specialized agency that should come into your answer okay now this is also optional significance of usa you are told something now role of unesco write two three points that will suffice clear or argument as similar to what i told in the other question nothing new why we are adding this just because we are speaking about unesco just start with a simple diagram you can add one part of the answer as diagram and why diagram this is not the major part of our answer it should occupy only very small space whatever answer you have written go home and check how much space allocation is going on how much all this is going on and isme mistake nahi hona hai content is not enough that's fine but space allocation parts sub parts thinking approach all these things should not have any mistakes 
okay so yeah issues with working of unesco is may we will focus too much on too little cash and too much politics why too little cash where is us withdrawal yeah you should write us withdrawal why us withdrawn no no why us withdrawn from unesco any other any other why us withdrawn from unesco see in 2011 palestine was given membership of unesco and who was very angry of it israel was very angry of it and obviously israel is angry us is also also very angry who was president that time obama administration was in power and what they did is they stopped funding they stopped the funding to unesco and how much is unesco dependence on us funding around 20% of unesco fund was coming from us and if any organization 20% fund is not coming that's obviously running into trouble then in 2018 the same issue jerusalem issue came up then us and israel withdrawn from the organization us withdrawn from the organization so this is background picture <coughs> now what is this ineffective damage control whenever us withdrawn some other countries will say we will do more things where we where we have here this recently when trump was withdrawn from paris paris con agreement so many countries came up we will do more funding to the paris agreement and we will do more so that the vacuum that is us is leaving can be some way managed but it's not red it's not going to be enough why us is still biggest economy us is still the only superpower us has that much of diplomatic control on most many countries that country is not supporting and it's very difficult to get that deal successful whichever deal it is <clears throat> so which country came up sweden so many countries will came up norway all these countries came up we will do extra funding they do extra funding also it's not going to be sufficient to compare to the funding us is giving high dependence on voluntary national contributions what is problem with voluntary can go anyway so we talk few points on too little cash then we will talk on politicization anti israel bias tried two three examples at least another is soviet union russia this country also have history of withdrawing from unesco then after 10 years or few years they will come back and rejoin unesco this is not us is not the first country is doing this anything related to climate change you can guess one country which withdrawn from the deal something related to climate change where you just withdrawn from paris this have, we have so much discussed any other country any other deal kyoto protocol heard of it what is kyoto protocol what was major difference between kyoto protocol and paris climate deal both are climate deals dependence on developed countries dependence any other any other cpdc 
INDC targets Kyoto related to ozone. We should study very seriously for prelims. Any anything else? Kyoto was Kyoto Protocol was compulsory. Compulsory binding targets were given to developed countries or annex B countries, which was annex A, B. Whichever it is, binding targets were given. But in case of Paris, binding was taken apart. Every country, including developing or even underdeveloped countries, can come into picture. They will give their own resolutions. We will do this, this, this. There is not binding. If that country is not following, there is no fine on that country. But Kyoto Protocol has huge fine if that country. And one country which cannot follow, which was that? I heard it very long back. Canada. Just confirm still. Canada cannot follow the binding targets given by this protocol. And what they did? Okay, bye bye. We are withdrawing from the deal. So, no need of fine, penalty, all this. So, what this is the whole idea of the having a binding target, all that being destroyed. And this is, India is always arguing, this is coming in today's news also, like today's times also. What is it? There is a second set of arguments related with Kyoto Protocol. The Kyoto Protocol was having first set of arguments from between, I forgot the years, in 2000s it was. 2005 to 8 or something like that, 5 to 11, something like that. And a second set of arguments were being discussed, Doha, something related to it. So that was supposed to be from 2013 to 20, but not enough countries signed the deal or signed the second set and it never came into being. And even today when Prime Minister or Foreign Minister go to some climate meets, even in today India argues that there should be some mechanism to implement this. It's very beneficial for India because binding targets is on developed countries, but they will not allow it. But India still say this in different platforms. So the story is not dead. Similar to the 100 billion, 100 billion climate transfers. That also is a promise, but not being fulfilled. In India, these two things, India rise in different platforms. So much deviation from topic. Come back. So where was UNESCO? Other issues, there are four or five issues. What do you have to do? This also you should mention, but this should be one liners. Here you can write so much, little bit more. You can add two, three points with inside all these. Don't do that same for this. This you just have to mention and give one, two or three words. Explain karo and finish it off. What is? Soviet bias, this is accused by what UNESCO does? What UNESCO does? World Heritage Sites, who maintains? Huh. So there were issues between when Soviet and USSR was going on. Then USSR was accusing UNESCO of having Soviet bias, having all its management issues, all these issues. This is historical aspect, 1980s, 60s. And this only thing you have to remember is Soviet also withdrawn from the organization many times. They also rejoined it. So this drama is going on whenever opportunity is there. Now Israel issue was in prominent. Yeah, go ahead. Way forward, you can include it is also 10 marker, depending on space. So much point you are not getting, include way forward. Idea is that. In other parts, so much point is not the space is available, include way forward. But you have detailed analysis, you are done. Not getting enough space, it's okay. Fundamental reforms. UNESCO need fund. Doesn't matter where it comes from, but UNESCO need fund. That kind of reforms you should keep in mind when writing all these elements. 
integrated working take the lead what is the neglected areas what united unesco work on education culture today challenge is climate change having an impact on all these aspects and unesco doesn't have any footprint on climate change related so somewhere in unesco decision making also climate change should come a part of it this is issue based it's very difficult to organizations you are asking general framework something we need to think of so far right now i don't have these questions are issue based fourth question you cannot have that is very specific question very asking about stand committees right we will see when the question come we will see okay move ahead conclusion i am not going to waste time on it okay you will manage what next tell me parts of this question intro can be trade war issues of wto issues of trade war tell me areas of reforms here how you allowed the space more space to areas of reforms i have written from the perspective of wto started with definition of wto or introducing what is wto then issues of wto then areas of reforms of wto then conclusion no that something you are reform means way forward areas of reform means something that should be corrected so it's always wise so first you write issue in thinking also these issue solution should come in way forward ulta nahi hona chahiye okay interest of india yes yes you should include some points after areas of reforms it's better include within this what role india can play for reforms as a part of that itself you better but still if you have very novel points it's not a mistake i cannot say never right that i am not saying but in this question the framework is easy there is no much issues right karna hai way forward right karna hai 15 mark you need more dimensions what dimensions more you can add trade was impact on india its argument is very good but how will fit in this question see one general thing wto what introduction we are doing what is wto one logical statement could be what wto does what wto does you can show through this diagram after that go to issues after that areas of reforms then conclusion you will get at least one more sub part any other sub part you can think of again don't make this one page india interest should reflect everywhere separate giving heading still not fully supportive of it still argument should come india's perspective arguments should not be neglected <clears throat> move ahead so here we have defined wto what is the keywords you will remember rule based what is the idea of forming wto promoting free trade objective of open trade for benefit of all so that thing should come into your answer rest whatever language you can write right 
from WTO principles. What is non discrimination? Most favored nation. What is it? Tell me first. Correct, correct. If you are extending benefit to X nation, that same should be subsidy should be extended to another other nations also. All these you can write standards, phytosanitary standards. What was one WTO issue during pandemic? Tell me. IP relaxation. India and South Africa suggested the relaxation of vaccine and related technology IPR relaxation. And what WTO did? Even US supported that. Even US supported the idea, giving some relaxations on yeah, for some after some time. In the end, nothing happened. Trips relaxation. Exactly. Okay, move ahead. So we are discussing here issues with WTO. In the context of trade war, this should be little more. If you are explaining this, give more focus to it. This part you can still write, but more focus should be here. Getting? Limited scope for intervention. We already discussed in some questions. Which question? Where was? US China. We are discussing some US China answers. We came across most of these points, I guess. No punitive intervention. What is punitive intervention? Some countries making willful defaults. Some mechanism should be there now. WTO so far doesn't have much of it. Politicization of trade. Pseudo trade tariffs. What is it? Give me some examples. Pseudo trade tariffs or non non tariff based barriers. Give me some examples. Phytosanitary. In which question we discussed? China Australia issues on poultry product, beef products. China was imposing some trade barriers. EU does this with India, yes, yes. BTIA. What is BTIA? That is free trade discussion between India and EU. This is also in discussion, in discussion and getting due to one now. This is also one of major issues. So what is this dysfunctional decision making system? What else? Before you are speaking about appellate body, dispute settlement body. Before that, what is framework of this WTO? Consensus based system, member driven system. What does it mean? If some resolution has to be passed, it should not be objected by anyone. And how, how many resolution can WTO pass? I don't think WTO has so far passed anything. Something should be different. This system is not working, member driven, consensus based, something voting system Rago, 2 by 3, UNGA work on 2 by 3, right, 3 by 4, something should be, consensus is troubling the functioning of WTO itself, bias toward W developed countries, what example you will close, put here. Green box, agricultural subsidies, peace close. What is it? Peace close all this. Yes, yes. What is the bias here? Thing is, all data is taken in 1990, I guess. And if develop, de developed countries give, is able to give 5% of subsidy from this and India is given 
India's 10% is much smaller compared to developed countries 5%. This 5% is luxury for USA, while this 10% is nothing for India. So even in looking it is towards developing countries, but in actual practice there is some issues faced by developing countries. Yes, yes. India is being continuously sued. One example, recent one, sugar. Brazil, some countries sued India. I think India lost the case also. So, ineffectiveness, this is what you are discussing. Appellate body is almost, member is not there. Appointment is not happening. Two US people withdrawn or retired. After that, no appointment is happening. In advocacy in pandemic management, here you can write that. Which one? Trips, relaxation, nothing happened. All right. Areas of reform. This should be a major part of your answer. <coughs> Everything we have discussed the problem so far. Areas of reform means try to suggest some solution to all those problems. So eight issues you are discussing, eight to ten problems solutions you can easily generate. Negotiating function, we are discussing consensus should go, all this, rule book should change, WTO committees, all this, something somewhere we discussed, I do not think so much discussion is required. <coughs> Differential treatment to developing, develop, developing countries. Why this is very important to India? Indian agriculture export is booming. How is, how is data, Indian agri exports? It is showing so much of high growth in recent, recent years. How is data? I will, I will give you some. 119 billion is India's highest trading partner trade. Who is highest trading partner? US or China? US or China? Sure. US is highest trading partner and this much is trade. 115 is our trade with China. So, how is our agriculture subsidies? Oh, sorry, agricultural exports, what is the number? Any guess? 50 billion was the target for 2021. And when setting targets, 45 billion. When setting targets, India is always good for setting way high targets, something ambitious targets. No, that is a strategy. It should be like that itself. And we almost reached near to it. 45 billion we reached. Agriculture export is booming from India. Why? Subsidies is one factor. Better irrigation facilities, is it better? Mm, we are doing something. Okay, next. One big reason. Reason past me, one geopolitical reason, can you think of? Russia Ukraine crisis. They were major exports of wheat. So that supply chain is broken. There is some opportunity for India to fill up. Move ahead. So, conclusion, I am not discussing too much, futuristic it should be and you should at least keep one keyword in the con conclusion itself. If it is a country is based, use some prime minister, foreign minister, all these guys. Have you made list anyone? Anyone made any list, notes or anything? We were discussing now, values, strategic, all these. Anyone made notes of any countries with in this order? Should start making. Make this which two countries? US, India, China. At least keep making for most important countries. I'm not saying don't pick small, small countries, that will not do much help. But for most important countries, you should have a 
consideration. Go ahead. So, what is this? This is the last question, and most of you have not written this. It is understandable, nothing to bad, feel bad about it. <coughs> Thing you have to understand this question came in 2017. There were some major developments happening with the organization, that is why the question came. Usually, never question come from if there is no development happening with that organization. You should not go and check every organ UN organization and learn that, do not go into that approach. Only learn that organization if that is in news. If tomorrow ILO come up with something and ILO is in news in editorials, then study ILO and go. Do not this organization has came, now I will go and sit every UN organization. Do not do go into that mindset. See, thing is Russia Ukraine war was going on. When the war start, there will be editorial will coming and coming all days. Thing is you should wait for some time. Acquire knowledge, acquire everything, but your final note should be in this kind of format. It should be coming within one page itself. What will you prepare? Russia Ukraine war, what all you prepare? Major thing, everything happening, your perspective should be interest, Indian interest or impact on India, role of India, all these things you should prepare very well. And the implications of the war, you will read about it when doing the Indian Im impacts itself. Which one? Environmental perspective. The, everything is important. I am not saying that is not important. But when you are making notes or preparing an issue, you should prepare from India's perspective. Try to do it from India's perspective mainly. Rest of the part, while you are making India's perspective, it will not happen. You will know nothing about it. You will obviously know some things about it. So, that will mostly suffice for even. You have seen a question, Okus. This was asked in the year it was formed. And what was asked? Asked it is impact on India or how it is impacting Indian interest. That was asked. In tomorrow paper, there is one question US Iran. Nuclear drill, US withdrawn from this. And what is asked? It is not asking. How will it impact nuclear proliferation? It is not asking how it will impact West Asian politics. What is asked is how it will impact India. So, your focus area should be one 2022 question. Which one? I2U2 is India part of it. So, obviously, it is Sri Lankan crisis. It is not asking what is future of this crisis. It is not asking cause of the crisis. It is asking what role India can play in the crisis? Clear? And do not be so scared and make this question a framework and take all the organization. Do not do all that things. This was asked because this was something related into news during this time. We are discussing PYQ, we put it. And our approach will remain the same. We will define the organization. We will write something about the functions of the organization. And the committees is asked. We will write something about the committees and finish the answer. What is the keyword here? What are? Very direct. Explain. And the answer is also factual. Nothing analytical is asked. So, even guesswork is little difficult in the question. If analytical is asked and something related, you have some peripheral knowledge, you can play the game. But here it is not that applicable. And do not think that in today's question, you cannot put the framework national interest. Do not think that it is irrelevant. You get four questions from IR. Almost three questions you will definitely use the framework. There are some other questions where it may not be applicable. All these today's questions are issue based, specific based. That does not mean our framework or the approach we followed so far is irrelevant. 
clear so what we'll do i'm not discussing too much of this organization in introduction we define what is the organization one of six principal organ organs of un and its work is economic social humanitarian and cultural activities these four things you can guess from the name itself see these type of definitions you can make up no harm in making up the de definitions or all these things <laughs> thing is it should be simple don't make a very complex definition that examiner will have to research bola kya hai ye nahi hona chahiye keep it simple take the definitions words from the question from the definition of the organization itself and play along okay and if it is a un agency at least remember that it is a un agency ILO is a UN agency. If it is asking, ILO is a UL, UN agency for X, Y, Z. Okay. Move ahead. Main functions of this organization. Some kind of explanation you have to give one because this is what exactly is asked. Some kind of points will you will have to give one. Diverse subsidiary bodies <coughs> like UNESCO is there. So many WTO, different different UN bodies is there. This is one organization which links so much of bo different bodies of UN. So that is one function of it. Integration of three pillars, assist UN bodies, implementation of vision. Don't you don't need to note down also. Only keep in mind when we prepare organization, what you will need is def you need basic info to define the organization. And in all the question, all the organization we discuss so far, we used at least even if it is not asked, one sub part of our answer was what are the functions, what the organization is doing, WTO, UNESCO, everything. So you are preparing any organization, what the organization is doing, at least remember four or five points. Okay. Then the analytical part will come. It is related to COVID if it is WHO related to trade war if it is WTO then the analytical part <coughs> these are different eight committees within the organization again I repeat don't learn these eight committees name don't do all these things if any or G20 is in news go and see if G20 have any committees or G20's architecture has anything relevant that can come for exam check out that and G20 declaration has came out, go through it and if there is any life which was our keyword today, our lifetime campaign. If there is this our lifetime campaign is proposed by India. So you can use it at many places. If there is something relevant or some keyword, some new ideas that is in G G20 declaration to do take that. And all the notes of G20 that should come half page or one page max. Clear? No, nothing much to discuss. So tomorrow topics, take note of this. Diaspora, there is two questions from those. How will you prepare diaspora? How will you prepare diaspora? Data, that, that's not what I'm asking. Whenever diaspora is asking, region based it is asking diaspora in west asia what is status diaspora in africa diaspora in us diaspora in europe or uk diaspora in southeast asia diaspora in australia so this is how you should prepare getting and how what you will prepare number how much is diaspora issues? What are the issues? Issues facing by diaspora is totally different, different countries. In Australia, you will say racism is a major issue. But in some other countries, it will not be in West Asia. Racism is not the major issue. Other issues are prominent. So what are the different issues faced by diaspora in different parts of the world? Then some way forward, you can prepare. Indian schemes. Yes, yes, yes. India is doing some initiatives with respect to this. One keyword also I will say, 
what is public diplomacy? People to people, anything else? So many times Prime Minister visit other countries, he is having big functions there, where so many crowd is attending. So, he is talking with the citizens of other countries. Technically, he do not have any business to speak with citizens of other country. Act as a pressure group, lobbying, all this interest is there. But the public diplomacy means we are leaders of one country is talking with the public of other country. May not be prime minister or some other leaders also. This kind of diplomatic contact is public diplomacy. Use some other keywords also, so that you can use in diaspora answers and come prepared. Or any other topic you want to discuss? Tomorrow will be your last day for IR. Any specific topics is there? We can check out that. Neighborhood, why it is not included is because no question is there in 5 years. Sri Lanka question came 2022. That is not how we are taking from 17 to 21, right? So that is why neighborhood is not. What we can do on neighborhood? Tell me. That is in YouTube, right? 2022, all question we have discussed in YouTube. Detailed discussion is there. You can go and check out. Don't think. Anything else? Neighborhood. Let me think if possible. I will see. Structure you are asking. International organizations. Anything else? We will do the same format, we will follow four questions, same discussion, international organization and neighborhood. Let me see what can be done on that. Okay. If you want to show, anyone want to show the answer, you can wait and check one or two answer if required. Otherwise, all the best. Thank you. Good evening everyone. Okay, say the test. Fourth question nahi hua hai. Every day you are leaving the fourth one. Content nahi hai. It was long back, same, similar to yesterday's question. Baki three hua? Batao. First and third you written. Pura leka. You are not writing, you are coming here for class only, right? You already written one mains. Now you still you are complaining you are not getting points. Come, we like a points. <coughs> Which question you are speaking specifically? Fourth one I thought it is okay. Fourth question you are saying you are not getting points, then it is fine. Which question I am asking? Kuch likha nahi hai, show me your script. Indian diaspora which constitute 1% of American countries and 0.5% of US plays a major role. So, bolo kya more effort dal sakta hai isme? Point milne ke liye kya kar sakta hai? Karo, kuch karo. Kyun nahi kar raha hai? Abhi hi time hai mains to make any improvisation for mains. One, one month, two months hardly left. From January then all will be in prelims mode. Which mains sochega bhi nahi. 
So this is only time gap you are left with for making any improvisation. Whatever you can do, do it. But wherever you think you are lacking, you have to work on it. List down kya missing hai, content missing hai, ya answer rating kya na hai time pe, like 1 hour 7 question, 6 question, something like that you should write minimum. Aise kabhi kya na hai, where is your lacking point, note down those and work on it. Keywords na hai, justification na hai hai. Sab note down karke improve karna hai padega, no other shortcuts. It will not come in one day or it will not happen start career today how was question overall it was doable right today not like yesterday <clears throat> any format applied our structure thinking pattern applied in any question some question keywords keywords use kia कुछ भी यूज नहीं किया कुछ यूज किया कीवर्ड्स रियल पॉलिटिक यूज किया सॉफ्ट पावर ठीक है एटलीस्ट इवन वन क्वेश्चन टू कीवर्ड यू आर यूजिंग इट्स ओके कीप दैट लिस्ट सबको पास है ना कीप दैट लिस्ट राइट समथिंग इन देयर एवरी डे आज के न्यूज़पेपर में भी बहुत है टेक वन गो थ्रू इट regular intervals get a habit of using these words in normal usage right get familiar with those words then only it will come for exam okay start discussion so first we will start with small talk on indian neighborhood this was one topic which we totally left out why we left out this Last five years uh, there was no question, so we are discussing on this. In 22 there is a one question, which is that Sri Lanka, you can relate with neighborhood. So far the otherwise no question from the. So if you are preparing also, if this area don't go into micro detail preparation. India, Pakistan, every month some talk is happening, don't go too much into it. Have a peripheral understanding that will work. And examples also, how many of you attended all classes? You had attended online, offline somehow, you also, you also. So the point is, whatever we have discussed so, so far, you are noted down also somewhere. So we have discussed numerous examples, from value point, from economic point. This you can juggle in almost many answers. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, I'm not going to explain too much. Tell me what was British Indian neighborhood policy? How are you? Give me some points regarding it. I'm not understand. Annexation annexation or tell me what is the intention or what is the basic idea secure it securing the borders or the colony securing the colony was the key idea of British so give me a substantiation for this Afghanistan was created as buffer state between which country Russian territories and British India any other examples Tibet policy even with China there were some buffer state too much details too much learning is not required just have a peripheral understanding So what was Nehruvian approach to neighborhood? Tell me. 
What was Nehruvian approach to neighborhood? Big brother is. Big brother is. Like a negative context. Where we use this term, big brother attitude. Which country context we use this? India when handling with small neighbors, Nepal, Bhutan, and this has a negative connotation. And where this negative connotation is coming from? Power asymmetry. India is considerably bigger country in economy, in population, in market, every dimension you take, India is considerably bigger country. So that power asymmetry is creating this big brother attitude and creating issues. That is a negative connotation word. You cannot say that for Nehruvian foreign policy. Tell me something else. You tell me something. You are not speaking. Don't read. Think what is Nehruvian idea of neighborhood. Panchil is everyone. Panchil everyone can think. Anything else? That is Panchil itself. Non-interference in internal affairs of other countries. Respect for territorial integrity, all these things. What is family approach? All Nehruvian foreign policy is based on idealistic thinking. So, Nehruvian approach was Asia is a whole family or neighborhood is a whole family. He considered from that perspective. Even the Panchil principles or Hindi Chini Bye Bye, all this coming from idealistic family approach to the neighborhood. Now, what is Gujral doctrine? We already discussed this. What is it? Key idea is non reciprocity. Explain a little bit. At least, when which country handling will apply this doctrine? With respect to which countries this Gujral doctrine will apply or will speak? India, China. India, China. Everyone is saying India, China. You don't have any idea. China. No idea. Give me some suggestion. Which country Gujral doctrine we use? What is idea? What is non-reciprocity means what? Something is seriously wrong with you. What is non-reciprocity? If we, the country asks something or demands something, we will give and we won't expect. We will do that with China? Obviously, we will do with small neighbors like Sri Lanka, some Bhutan, Nepal, all these countries. What is Manmohan doctrine? Increase trade. Manmohan doctrine is very famous for, we have a triangle challenge. China, Pakistan and India. And what is what is the challenge? Border issues, proxy war, cross-border terrorism, all these issues are there. And what was Manmohan Singh doctrine approach to it? First, get the economy set. Then this will settle up somehow. And he was trying to build economic interdependence even with Pakistan itself. But everything failed when? What was the biggest turning point in Manmohan era? 2008 Mumbai terror attack. <coughs> and what Modi doctrine or what Modi doctrine is planning regarding this Pakistan China challenge? What is the approach of 
when manmohan singh was president his primary approach was india will go to pakistan india will develop interdependence with pakistan that was the idealistic approach even though it didn't worked out well now when prime minister narendra modi come into power what was his approach no in this triangular issue pakistan china issue i'm are you getting the point when manmohan singh was the president his approach to tackle the china pakistan challenge was to get the economic interdependence with pakistan get some economic contacts what was modi's approach to it he was reaching out to china he was more than he is reaching out to pakistan he was reaching out to china give me some examples chinese and ban is a negative thing you heard of this wuhan summit what it is he nahi mein hua tha let us uska pehle first one was happened in wuhan the idea was india china was trying to have more closer relation when prime minister narendra modi came into power but what was the outcome it breakdown like border issues came out galwan issue came out doklam issue came <coughs> what is india's current policy to neighbor food neighborhood first approach what are different dimensions of this it's primarily based on panchil non reciprocity having a proactive approach to neighborhood giving priority to neighborhood what is the biggest we'll discuss it have a broad picture we are not going to details or one one country details we are not going we just have a peripheral picture so that the topic will not be left out completely now tell me india's challenges with respect to all these elements what is the value challenge india is facing in neighborhood democracy instability in other nation which nation myanmar very good other issue any other value conflict which india is facing connect with history what you will find colonial problems are still continuing india pakistan problem is started from colonial issue what else give me more ideas what is your thinking line in this in values what all we think we think about political values we think about all or or kya cultural tell me tell me some examples hmm i'm challenges we are discussing buddhism is a linking element in this what cha cultural challenge or value challenge we are facing in south asia yeah you can include something tibetan liberation army or tibetan liberation movement this is something is just still going on you visit which place himachal dharamshala all this place you will see so many photos so many flux boards regarding this tibetan liberation movement at all so the movement is still not away at least even though it is not in the mainstream something is still left out you can cite that give me some nationalist interest perspectives issues india is facing in the neighborhood think have a think line correct what is the first thing we will think 
economic what is the economic issue what is economic issue manufacturing industry captured by china anything else that is india's issue right challenge that is not coming from neighborhood that is coming from china considerable part but you cannot have you prepared sar have you prepared sar what happened to sar anyone anyone prepared sar it's something of 2022 there was a question what was it sar versus beam stack similarity is dissimilarity is all these things so what is why sark failed india pakistan bilateral issue is always coming in between sark and what is sark stand for united south asia integrated south asia all these visions and when sark fail all these vision fail if you take the whole world south asia is one of the least integrated economically integrated regions of the world just 5% of the trade of the whole countries is happening in the inter inter region getting this data also you should remember only 5% trade is happening between these countries rest all india is trading with us or other countries world is one of the least economically integrated region is south asia Isn't it a challenge? What else we will think? What is our thinking line in national interest? Tell me. CPC. All these we will ex. We will go in strategic. We will discuss this. i'm asking basic thinking line first we think about economic issues next what we will think political or we think here are still unclear next we can think something social something related to education something related to health care something related to technology then come environment disaster management climate change all these aspects then go into border security transport of terrorism that is national interest also strategic also you can include depending on your need strategic you will find some what was you saying china china factor what else drug trafficking so many issues you will find border issues borders are unresolved overall picture is this regarding each this at least find something we will discuss one in detail so these are some quotes regarding india's neighborhood policy what is our foreign minister saying It's the first circle of priority. If you really want to see the importance of neighborhood, why the Ukraine crisis happened? Why Ukraine crisis happened? What is the reason behind it? So, what is issue if Ukraine go to NATO? NATO is anti-USSR. what is issue if ukraine go to nato and the ussr bring in the russian neighborhood some adversary will have a strong hold and russia want somehow to avoid that so neighborhood is always first priority if you are aspiring to be a global power tomorrow and you don't have any neighborhood us never a cuban crisis what was cuban crisis all about what is cuban crisis give me basic idea 
USSR not related to Japan. USSR placed nuclear missiles, ballistic missiles on Cuba. And no, no, Pearl Harbor is in World War times. This is much later. So, this missiles was placed in Cuba. And where is Cuba? In the neighborhood of USA. And USA is obviously not going to accept it. And it was saying the world came closest to the next world war during this time. Somehow it was settled diplomatically there. <clears throat> what is famous dialogue of Adil Bihari Vajpayee? Change your friends, but you cannot change your neighbors. This we already discussed. Idea is if a question came on general, at least cite one. This is first line is very simple. Only thing you have to remember is first circle of priority. Keep that keyword in mind, then use the name of the foreign minister and use it. Okay. Let's discuss one issue in little bit more detail. What is energy cooperation in Southeast Asia or not Southeast Asia, Indian neighborhood? Think on this respect, like technology collaboration is weakening, weak, higher education is not expanding. India has so much potential to provide a higher education. India has capacity to acquire the students. All this potential is not being used. Give some examples in healthcare, give some examples of COVID, some failure or some country mismanaged COVID. You can cite those examples. Thing is, key part of your answer should come from strategic aspects. That is the major issue, unless something specific is asked. Now discuss energy cooperation. Why energy cooperation is we are discussing? In 2022, we had a question in IR regarding energy. How many of you seen that question? Haven't seen. Generally, what was the question about? Not security. It was quite a tough question or bouncer question. Question was India's energy policy. Changes. It's regarding India energy policy changes. What will you what will you write? You are not going to write GS3 answer, you are going to write IR answer. What will you write? We had so much discussion, we have discussed so much examples. Tell me something. How will you even if you don't I assume you don't know the exact knowledge? Tell me how will you see changing Indian policy. Don't take it in few years, think over decades. Not neighbor in general. You are diversif diversifying our source. Renewables are there. That is what you are saying. Russian oil is having higher fraction. Anything else? This is a recent event. I am asking last 30 years. If you see, how will you define the changes in Indian energy policy? Yesterday, yesterday's Glasgow all attend. What we discussed regarding Paris climate. What is the difference between Paris Climate Deal and Kyoto Protocol? Kyoto Protocol was binding. Paris Agreement is voluntary. Now, if you see in 90s, what was India's priority? India's priority was energy security. India was saying, we are not ready to link it with Kyoto Protocol. 
we are not ready to accept any targets even a voluntary target india was not ready to accept regarding climate change or regarding energy policy what our only i was we need our energy sphere to be secured we need imports if you are dependent we need that dependency to be secured that was the only outlook india was upholding now what changes you will write in 2000s what change happened in 2002 developments happened one thing is climate change is becoming more more issues more data more studies are coming ipcc reports are coming in 90s people were still doubtful of climate change people were thinking it will happen 100 years later but by 2000 things were becoming more clear something has to be done india cannot stay away from it secondly what is specialty of 2000s it was era india has highest growth rate indian growth rate was india was experiencing super high growth phase especially till that global meltdown happened in 2009-8 till that time india was enjoying high growth phase and what is one outcome of high growth phase india is becoming a major polluter currently india is third major polluter so this rise to the third happened in 2000s now if india is a third major polluter and you are realize that climate change is going to be a bigger issue in future then there should be some change of stance so from 2000s you can see indian stance is slightly changing towards even though we are not ready to accept a binding target we will accept some kind of targets there come the climate change paris climate change indc targets all these now one more step you can add to this what you will add what india is doing today regarding climate change speak from ir perspective creation of new organization multilateral groupings india is leading multilateral groupings regarding these new energies isa cdri is oh, something related to climate mitigation itself <clears throat> okay so third one more aspect you can write so this is regarding energy policy of india how it is changing over the years it was quite tough question if you haven't exactly prepared or if you are over smart to think like this or some dimensions you can add then you okay otherwise it's quite tough question not normally asked now what we will speak about energy issues in india neighborhood do we have any energy deals with pakistan or energy any energy issues tapi pipeline what is tapi pipeline afghanistan pakistan later okay so what happened to this why this came into picture what was strategic importance of this idea is how can india and pakistan came together and propose something like this how strategically this be happened even though this is not realized how strategically this came into picture otherwise india pakistan will never come together with something like this during that time india was having or india was in interest growing interest in iran oil oil imports from iran and who doesn't like this usa doesn't like this and what usa does if you really want oil get it from here natural gas you really want get it from here and usa was supporting the tapi pipeline when usa is really showing some interest then afghanistan can come together india pakistan can come together anyone can come together 
that was strategic backing any other any other you can think india pakistan energy deals indus indian bhutan i am asking about pakistan indus water what is indus water treaty three rivers with india which three rivers prelims knowledge ravi bias and satluj for india what is uh, division 20% for pakistan 20% for india and 80% for pakistan now what is the issue energy issue kya hai isme india is making some hydroelectric projects india is making some run off river projects and pakistan is contesting this this is not allowed and mostly all the case so far india has won the case also india is even not using this 20% and what was prime minister dialogue regarding this when terrorist attack happened water and blood cannot flow together something like this <clears throat> so nothing much with pakistan only strategic things are there this will be only helpful for prelims which major country we will take next nepal bhutan india has so many hydro power relations and which keyword is most relevant regarding this if you are writing something of hydro relation between india nepal india bhutan which keyword will you use out of these three out of these three how can you fit hydro hegemony into it india's delivery deficit india is very prompt in announcing the projects but somewhere funding will not come somewhere infrastructure gap will come somewhere political issues will come where is political issues with nepal or bhutan with nepal regime change all these issues will come into a and we'll have significant delivery deficit now let's discuss these two also in detail what is hydro hegemon we have establish our hegemony over hydro resources with respect to which neighboring country we will speak this which country why we call bangladesh hydro hegemon hegemon means somebody who can really control all the resources which resource bangladesh they are crying for tista treaty why should you use for nepal also what nepal can do kali river what they are doing what china can do china we call because all the major rivers are starting from china and china refuses to have any water treaty with any other country not just india china doesn't have any water treaty with any other countries through which the major rivers are flowing and most of the major rivers from himalayas are starting from china this can have an issue in the future and what is this militarization of water china is building three rivers in the lower streams of brahmaputra what is the issue with that what is india's argument against these dams environmental issue is there assam flood and china is saying that we will not share the data india is saying china will not share the data river flowing data strategic issue is this dam will be used as water bombs against india if some issue happen china can have a superior power with them <coughs> what else you discuss we we'll stop this here we will go to the today's class just in neighborhood overall picture i want to give you in detail knowledge class we will take later or see later this is some area 
there was no question so we don't got any opportunity to speak some examples at least why did you come to class today <coughs> yeah move on today's question start kare how many of you come prepared nobody so this will be last class for ayat one thing should we should be very clear about this we will not make any mistakes in structuring sub part space allocation all these things okay so tell me parts of this answer indian diaspora has a decisive role to play in the politics and economy of america and european countries come and with examples yeah tell me leave introduction tell me what you are going to parts of this answer Okay. Anything else? How much marks it is? Ten marks. Yeah. Four dimensions we have here directly. One is political part. One is economy. In this also one is American. Second is European. Here also American, European. Either you can divide the four divisions like this. But what is the issue with this? It will be little bit difficult if you exactly want to politics of America, politics of Europe. It will be little difficult. So what we can do is political, we will give one heading. Economic, you can give another heading. You are done like this. If you have enough points, you can go the subdivision also, no issue. Introduction, we will come to it. Next slide. Okay. Anything else you can write? Challenges, way forward. 10 mark, right? Not required to write. This much even 5, 5 points you develop, you get 10 points. It is sufficient the answer. What you wrote for introduction? Numbers you wrote. Tell me which number you wrote. Only 1% of Canada population. Sure. US it is 1%. Canada I think it is more. I have to check. Yeah. You use that at least. Anyone do, used anything else? You also use data. Which data? One person data. You all came prepared with exact. Okay. British is not. Yes, yes. Means you should not use this in introduction. Okay, name him also. He is prime minister right now. He is not a politician. If he is in opposition, naming him will create some ideological issue. Once he is a prime minister, there is no issues in naming him. No, no. This is one, why I put this data. I could have put exact data of European diaspora or American diaspora. One thing is, it is in exam what happens. It will not be all time possible exactly you remember the diaspora or numbers. But one number you should remember is overall number. So keep this number and you can try to juggle it with, even if question is not exactly regarding whole diaspora, you still can use it and give some English and try to compensate. You can do this, but write it in such a way so that it will, our answer will look something to the question. <coughs> <coughs> yeah.
if you have exact data use that no issues this is only when you don't remember exact data but you still this is one data you should not miss also diaspora exactly told yesterday come and prepare numbers so overall numbers you must prepare okay move ahead so what is first part role of indian diaspora in politics of america and europe what happened some issue so we will try to generate five six points regarding this what will you write elections politic politics we are discussing elections what will you write five percent of voting canadians are indians 22 parliamentarians in canadian parliament is indian or people of indian origin you cannot call them indian what else for example second generation indians getting active in politics Rishi Sunak, you right now. Why you are shying away from him? He is so much in news. What is one example of this Canadian issue? Every aspect somewhere. Why hear so many Khalistan issues? Khalistan issues support so many times you hear from Canada. Some politi politician will write something. Why? Because this 5% significant number is Sikh population. So there is also some political appeasement is going on to gain the votes to all this. <coughs> Acting as pressure group. What example you will say? Included. Positive discrimination ke liye, caste is also a part of it. You can use. Otherwise, Prime Minister visit a country, he conducts so many shows with the, with the opposite politicians, with so many politicians also. Over here. Para diplomacy, you are asking. Para diplomacy means conducting diplomacy to citizens. Here I am saying, Prime Minister will be conducting show along with political leaders who will be some part of X party, Y party, all these parties. <coughs> Para diplomacy means conducting diplomacy with the citizens of the other country. Hodi Modi show, something, something like that was there. So, something like that will come under para diplomacy. No, public diplomacy. That is public diplomacy. Para diplomacy means federal groups like state chief minister is visiting other country or Arvind Kejriwal is visiting C40 meeting. He is also in that is para diplomacy. What we first discussed is public dis diplomacy. Influencing policies in favor of India. What example I use every time? Almost in every class I explain this. Which is the most important change which Indian diaspora played a great role related to US. We will come to it. Which is one policy of US which diaspora played a major role regarding nuclear issues. One, two, three agreement. discussed in detail right so this agreement strong lobbying was done by indian diaspora <coughs> significance all these things we discussed somehow <coughs> what is this demo balkanization of yugoslavia
don't need to think what happened to Yugoslavia. Give me the idea, what does it mean? There is balkanization, some keyword in your keyword list also, that is there. What does balkanization mean? Separating? Separating? Something like that. One big country getting disintegrated into small, small countries. That happened to Yugoslavia. When it happened? 90s. The idea is, India is a beacon of hope for all this. India is a country with huge number of diversities. Language, religion, everything you take, we are king of diversities. And still we are working as a single nation somehow. What is this? Black Lives Matter. George Ford, something like that. <coughs> India was very active in taking the movement forward. It was something happened in US. It was a US traditional movement. But Indian diaspora, even Indian society was very active in taking part in this. At least four or five points you should develop. <coughs> in economic, what you will write? Very important to have at least one data. US economy contribution to other countries economy. So what this data, what this study is the context of this study? What is the context of this study? This study is saying Indian diaspora or People from India are contributing 200 billion to US economy per year and generating 1.6 million jobs. Tell me what is the context of this story or this data, this study or anything? Okay. Service sector. Anything else? What was Trump's America first policy? What was it about? America for Americans, that is true. But the Trump's argument was, all jobs in America are taken up by China. All wealth of America is taken up by China. And indirectly, China means developing countries. India is also a little bit a part of it. So, in this context, this study is important. This study is showing India is giving this much of wealth to America. India is having high skilled people working there for America. Brain drain all those issues. So discuss some more. Yeah, next point itself. Meeting demand for high skilled manpower. Give me some examples. 20% percent of Google workers are Indians. You can cite any examples, similar examples. 35% of NASA, all those. Even if you don't exactly remember the data, what you can cite? All CEOs, who are they? Who is Google CEO? Sundar Pichai. Who is Microsoft CEO? Satya Nadella. All these, so many, even recent, recent what, which one happened? Starbucks. Ah, Twitter CEO was ousted. Okay. Even before that, Starbucks, what was the guy's name? Lakshman something. He was appointed as Starbucks CEO. That is also Indian. So some exam, this remember, this you can remember. Even if you can cannot remember, 27% of Google employees are Indians. At least the CEO's name you should remember and you can use this in the answer. Okay. What else? Leadership and entrepreneurship. Similar to the points we were discussing. <coughs> Role in R&D, what will you insight? You can cite the higher education, how much students are going from India to UK. You can cite US data also. You just put one data. Some data, how much Indian students? One data is 2 lakh. Indian students are already studying in higher education universities in US. Okay. Investment. India-UK trade investment deal was recently in talks. Remittances. How will you handle remittances? 
remittances and and point will come in almost all diaspora questions whenever you are answering diaspora aspect remittances is being a part of it how will you address it give substantiation to it that's what i am asking it's not feasible to go to the report let me let me finish it is not feasible to go to the report and see how much does remittance is coming from usa how much remittance is coming from uk one one country studying is not feasible what you can do remittance report who is top for last so many countries india is the top recipient of remittances at least this you should cite and if you re remember one data you can cite this 87 billion is coming in 2021 even during the pandemic year, people were expecting there is a sharp fall. But what happened? Yeah. If there was a slight return, but considerable remittances still came to India. Which organization declared the report? Remittances report? World Bank. That's a prelims data. <coughs> Cultural diffusion. What example you will give? Celebrating Diwali. Any example you can give? Indian movies getting popular in mix. Dances getting mixed. Indian dance plus Western music getting mixed. Any example you can want to, you can say. Okay. Then you, when you write the explanation, you should write the benefit. Remittances are coming from that country. Outflow of that country is happening. If you, but don't limit yourself. Remittances, if you are thinking, at least change some English. Write it from the perspective of that country. But still include that point. What is counter perspective? Some examples of negative role played by the diaspora. What are negative roles? I already told now, Khalistan movement, separatism. Separatist movements are getting some traction out of this appeasement policies of different countries. What else? There are so many comedians, so many social media popular figures who create something bad image of India. Who? One example. Okay, not using me. Criticism against UK for protecting fugitive economic offenders. Who all are they? You can use name. Vijay Malia, Neera Modi, all these people. What else? Case of money laundering, some examples if you know, you can cite. This is not the major part of the answer. Two, three points. Diagrammatic representation if possible, then finish the answer. So 10 marker, only two pages you have. Move ahead. Conclusion I am not going to discuss too much. What idea you will keep in mind? IR, whatever conclusion you are writing. Anyway, conclusion should be futuristic. You are not going to write something pessimistic in conclusion. What else you will keep in mind? If some dialogues, ministers or somebody, you can remember, you will cite it. Secondly, at least keep one keyword to cite it in the conclusion. Keep one keyword in hold in regarding the question to be written in the conclusion. Then conclusion can be of any current affairs. You can link it with some current affair happening. Which question we handle like this? Demise of Shinzo Abe. India-Japan question. So you can connect it with current affairs. You can, keyword is must. Whatever you do, at least try to connect one keyword in the conclusion. Then this is very formal approach.
remembering some dialogues of the foreign minister or prime minister or something. <coughs> Move ahead. How much time it is? Yeah, we will do a little fast from here. Basic idea you got it right. Indian diaspora has an important role to play in Southeast Asian countries, economy and society. Apprise the role of Indian diaspora in Southeast Asia in this context. Very similar question with something we have done. What is the difference in this? One is appraise is there. Second, it's a 15 marker, you have to fill so much pages. Society, huh? Keyword will be little different. Appraise means what? Appraise means doesn't mean only positive. It means you have to do some analysis at least. Analysis of the performance and go good at the promotion though. <laughs> at least you have to show some analysis. Second, it's a 15 marker. We'll try to divide it to how many parts as much as possible. Last question, it was a little bit easier. So, what are different parts? Tell me first. Either you can divide into economic aspect, society aspect. But the problem is economy and society are highly, little bit more close. So, it's better you go with role of Indian diaspora in these countries as one heading. What else? Everything you will include in this, economy, society, all aspects. If you want, you can divide this also. You have enough number of points. Separating points you can remember, you can divide that also. What else you will write? Challenges or issues of this diaspora. Issues associated with Southeast Asian diaspora. What else if issues you are writing? You should include a way forward. Then conclusion. So at least three, four division you are doing here. In the other question, it was not that much necessary because keyword was different and it was a 10 marker. So what introduction? If you remember data, you can cite it. 9% of this Malaysian population, Singapore population, 4% of Myanmar population, all this. This is a little difficult because very specific data is given. If you can find one single data for Southeast Asia, that will be more easy. One thing you can do, you can take a world map and put the numbers. How much is Indian diaspora in USA, Canada? And put the numbers and keep in your IR book. This thing you can do. <clears throat> and don't do too much of country division. Diaspora, you are going to prepare region wise Africa, West Asia, Southeast Asia, Europe, and America. <clears throat> okay. So, role played by Indian diaspora. I don't think too much of explanation is required. Here, what we are doing? How I am generating these points? How I am generating? How? I am following our same approach. What approach? I am thinking from perspective of values, I am thinking from national interest, I'm thinking from strategic. See, even a diaspora question, you can apply the same mental thought process. So, I don't think too much explanation is required. <coughs> one one point when you prepare notes what you will do one one point regarding everything substantiating element you should include in your notes okay what what I'm saying
वो है चैलेंजेस हाउ विल यू एड्रेस चैलेंजेस वट इज चैलेंजेस रिगार्डिंग डेस्पोरा इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया टेल मी समथिंग थिंक फ्रॉम इश्यूज ऑफ दोज कंट्रीज डिस्क्रिमिनेशन विल बी दर रेशियल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन कैन बी दर political instability which country is having political instability myanmar so there will be some issues human rights violation what else what are other issues in southeast asia china can you connect it with china try to connect with the issues of those countries us we are writing we'll connect with the issues of those country and how it is impacting our diaspora which one religious mm -hmm. religious freedom is not there that's what you are trying to say lower workforce like blue collar jobs manual job very good very good हम्म 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 यस 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 स्किल लेबर आर नॉट गोइंग लाइक रेस्ट्रिक्शन बैरियर्स आर देयर वर दिस इश्यू केम अप वर दिस इश्यू केम अप नहीं दिस स्किल डेवलपमेंट लेबर्स फ्रॉम इंडिया लेट मी सी हर्ड ऑफ दिस what happened to this india came out of it why market issues origin issue was there country of origin one indian sector was really against rcp which sector it was lobbying so much against dairy products why dairy products against this because of australia and new zealand uh, these countries secondly china is obviously issue in it what is china if this come this act as some kind of free trade agreement between india and china and there will not be any tools with india to counter it so in rcep time this was one of when the talk was going on one of demands from india side was human supply should also be part of the deal free or less barrier regarding supply of skilled man for engineers doctors all these things was also part of the talks but it is in materialized <coughs> so challenges religious fundamentalism give one one examples regarding all this this is something specific to is diversity in engagements like small small countries malaysian diaspora is different from indonesian diaspora so that add challenge to how to handle it separatism movements in northeast you can connect with this competition from china no dual citizenship racial abuse <clears throat> move ahead sorry a praise means you do analysis and show the positive negative have a see on it negative words give some examples what is happening in myanmar tibetan issues was not tibetan buddhism issues <coughs> so you'll write some way forward This is how you will approach the history. Not giving too much thought into it. Soft power. 
economic integration, Binstec, ASEAN, something you can cite, promoting tourism, blue collar, who told, you told now, blue collar workers issues, address those. Whenever we are dealing, we will deal with only white collar jobs or high end jobs. But this is also something that need to be seen. <clears throat> See, almost so much examples we discussed in the class itself. No only pending task is you have to prepare notes accordingly. You have to do the minimum practice. Structuring mistakes should not happen. If you have heard the 20 question, we are doing continuously same thing in the class. Thought generation also, we are continuously doing the same thing in the class. These things should be clear at least by now. Practice will be pending, but approach should be clear. Move ahead. Yeah. So this is a different question. Diaspora, we are coming out of it. The long sustained image of India as a leader of the oppressed and marginalized nation has disappeared on account of its newfound role in the emerging global order. Elaborate. So what do you will do? Here also it is 15 marks. So try to divide into as much as possible. What are the divisions? Tell me. India's role as leader of these countries, how the role is changing, yes, 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 don't discuss that. Next, you can add one more part, why India's role is changing. This will have some analytical part of it. How means this will include factual things. India did this, this, this. Due to this, India's role is changing. We are saying that India's role is changing. This also will be more factual. India earlier did this, this X, Y, Z. Give some examples. That's why we are saying India's role is. Now, why this change is happening? This is analytical part of the answer. Should include this also. So, we will get three parts minimum. Role of leader of oppressed and marginalized nations. And then in road full. Okay. Anything else? You can if you are. Yes, yes, you can. You can. I am not stopping you. How should India approach moving forward? This can be part of the answer. So, introduction, what you will write? Connected something which are values of India, civilizational strength, spiritual foundation, constitution, freedom movement. These are something which values India stands for. Let's connect with these things and bring up with some introduction. What else? What is the first part of our answer? India's long sustained image of leader of oppressed and marginalized nation. What are examples? Don't read from there. Give me examples. Non alignment movement. Which countries were part of it? Third world countries, African countries, countries which got freedom just then. So, India was a leader of that movement. What else? South South cooperation. Decolonization, India supported many decolonization countries. What else? Give me, give me one exact forum. Apartheid, that is something related to decolonization, apartheid, African issues. Anything else? One thing we discussed yesterday or day before yesterday, Israel-Palestine issue. We always support which country? Palestine. Ideologically, India is still supporting the Palestine cause. So, idea is four or five examples you should cite. 
decolonization same examples i have given here also decolonization non alignment movement palestine coast global south south cooperation developmental role equitable reforms in un systems what is it view what would substantiation you will give with what is african stance regional reservation should be there in veto power in permanent citizenship so india also have similar vision technological integration what you will give, give some examples nuclear is controversial give space india what india always says space for human development sadish the one the vision was space we will use we will use for development of the mankind <clears throat> give some examples here also the analytical part is not there now what next part of the question how it is big Hmm. but how can you relate it with leader of oppressed nations how that relation can you can think of little difficult but think of some justification if some even an indirect justification is there it is fine <clears throat> now give me examples regarding all this anyone watching online only zero is there india's disappearing role as what terrorism how will you link with this terrorism how okay at least nam is getting weakened non alignment movement what is future of like sometimes vice president is attending nam summit the horror point is <coughs> moral politic to real politic one example give me one example so how oh, you can see moral politic to real politic israel israel issue palestine why we support palestine moralistic stance gandhian view i discussed it right moral politic we were moral politic earlier we are now shifting to real politic wheat export we banned before because domestic domestic reasons you can say it <clears throat> what else ukraine crisis usually what happen in when war is happening india will be forefront to vote against the aggressor in ukraine crisis russia is the aggressor and still india is with holding the vote afghan issue what is afghan issue and where india lose the game there was one editorial if i remember putting all eggs in one basket what does it mean with respect to this afghan crisis like india was criticized using this slogan what does it mean whatever see when taliban gone out in 2000s then the us supported government was in power and whatever india engagement india stands was india will not talk with taliban india doesn't consider them as a political entity valid political entity and india will not have any discussion nothing with taliban india only talk with the government and that government was us supported 
and in india whatever india did was on behalf of that government parliament making dam roads everything india did on behalf of that government and when us withdrawn what happened that government ran away or fallen then taliban come into power and india was having no no supporters or no allies no one to talk to so india put all their reliances into that government aspect so that's why we are criticizing it as putting all eggs in one basket and when it fell down everything fell down and nothing much india can do india recently changed the stance to we will have some kind of talks with taliban also initiate started initiating the talks coming out of ideological stance we had the discussion right israel palestine when israel topic was discussed at least four four examples you can cite here also now come the analytical question why is india having the why this part is very important because there is one statement new found role in emerging global order so to substantiate that also and to give some give some analytical depth to answer this part should be somewhere in your answer why india is there is a shift in india's role from moral politic to real politic we will speak why this is happening don't just copy just tell me some examples why this is happening think from ideas wait wait one by one now we will speak from now now was relevant when cold war was going on when soviet bloc us bloc this was the now was a very relevant idea now the soviet gone there is only one bloc then now that's why now getting little bit irrelevant today what else next point china is creating so much issues china is becoming aggressor china is coming into the scene and containment of china is india's strategic need what do what what containment of china india should do and we cannot sit with the moral politic ideas in this case so many examples we discuss go, not going into it next point investment india need economic needs russia ukraine crisis how will you relate with economy one aspect is crude oil imports around 17% 18% indian crude oil is coming from russia earlier before the war how much it was come so give some reasons post war cold war dynamics need for containment of china arms race economic compulsion same point we discussed so far what is environmental perspective this is something we did, didn't discuss tell me what is environmental perspective renewable how it relate to the discussion we are having like cop26 we discussed what we criticize china for not target coal face down to face out to face down china changed the language from face out of coal to face down of coal the point is we are not talking this regarding india and we are right here india also supported or india stance is also same what is india stance we will burn coal because we have we need development agenda development is our first thing so we will continue burning coal to a foreseeable future that is india stance also i'm just linking it with this <coughs> 
Now, what is the next part of this answer which can be? Before coming to way forward, you can also give a counter perspective. We are giving so many arguments that India is going from leadership of marginalized, oppressed nation, India is going away. We are giving so many arguments, but is it always true? There are some cases where India is still very strong leadership of global south. Give some examples. Which one it is? Vaccine diplomacy, vaccine maitri. How many countries India sent the vaccines? Remember some data. Give me some data. What data we used in African case? Forty-two countries, something like that. Forty-two countries, thirty-nine billion vaccines, not billion, million vaccines were exported. Something like data like this. So, vaccine maitri India really showed India is still a leader of poor and oppressed nations. Or you can cite bigger data also to 150 countries India has given. Forties. You can, but it will be largest, means always there is a risk. China is also a major exporter to of vaccines. If you are using largest, then there is always a risk of China. Vaccines like it is like this. Before COVID vaccine, if you consider, when the COVID was not there, that vaccine market, if we consider, India may be the largest exporter of vaccine to the African countries. But speaking specifically from COVID vaccine perspective, then China is very strong contender to it. <coughs> At least 40s you can use. Exactly 42 countries, you don't remember. 40s, something you can like that manipulate. What is IPR? India is against evergreening of patents, which is the famous case which you use here. Now, what is? What is India's stance? India will only allow evergreening or renewal of patents if there is a substantial improvement in efficacy. Environmental issues you can call 100 billion climate transfers. Yesterday we discussed second round targets of Kyoto Protocol. All this you can cite. Role as development partner towards equitable platforms. <clears throat> Same topics. Okay. Move on. So then way forward, if you want, you can write how should India handle this situation. Two, three points you can develop on that also. No issues. Otherwise, come to the con conclusion. Something you connect with multipolar world order, inclusive world order, free and open Indo-Pacific. Thing is, India is still ideologically very much favoring poor and oppressed and marginalized country. So, in some positive aspects, you can conclude your answer. Okay. Don't give a negative connotation to the conclusion in this answer. Even on arguments, we made a counter perspective. So, when you are writing conclusion, try to say that there are strategic pull to India's stance. But still, India is still doing so much to be the leader of these countries. Okay. So, last question. <clears throat> this question we will try to minimize our discussion as much as possible. Why? Very specific current affairs question from 2018. In what ways would the ongoing US Iran? Nuclear pact controversy affect the national interest of India. How should India respond to its situation? What is the takeaway from this question? Thing is, what is asked is, yes, yes, US Iran issue. Question coming from impact on India. Response of India. So, when you prepare in future aspects, some development is going on in some other parts. When you prepare it, don't give too much interest into what is happening between those countries. When you prepare Ukraine, Russia, don't give too much into the micro detailing of what Russia is doing, what Ukraine is doing. Prepare from India's perspective. 
what is impact it is going to have on India, what response India should take, preparing these aspects. Okay. So, in introduction, we will give a brief definition on what is the deal about US Iran nuclear pact, what it is. What it is? P5 plus 1. What is P5 countries? What is P5? Permanent 5 in UNSC. Which are they? France, US, USSR, so Russia, China, UK. France or Italy? Sure. Then what is this? Plus one, not Iran. Who was plus one? India was not part of it. Germany it is. So, what was the deal about? Actually, when US Iran tension was going on, what US does? Iran government has so much investment in dollar with the US Fed and US all this. So, what US does is US, US freeze all those, freeze all accounts of Iran. So, Iran cannot use those amount which it, it is Iran's money, but it cannot use due to US sanctions. And countries, other countries will not do business with Iran, like India. So, these issues, the deal signed that you, Iran will reduce its nuclear program or devalue it, its nuclear program. In return, US will give back all this money, sanctions will be withdrawn from them. That was the deal signed in 2015. Who signed it? Obama administration, he was in power. Then what happened in 2018? Trump came into power and Trump found that Iran has done nothing. Iran is still building nuclear weapons, nuclear technologies, all this. Iran hasn't done anything substantial to in line with this agreement and we are withdrawing from this and Trump withdrawn. Now what happened in that small space between those? Actually, India was historically not that much of a trading partner of Iran. But since in 2015 the deal came out, India started buying Iranian oil so much and GST price and it was expected to go like this but in 2018 what happened US withdrawn sanctions came and India checked out all the deals you can see that the same sanctions is applied against Russia but we had we done we double triple hundred times more we are buying but in case of Iran we didn't go that way why she is a very big player. So many other interests are involved when dealing with Russia. Iran is something we will not take that much of risk for. <coughs> so, how will it affect India's interest? What are you doing? Say, say. Yeah, that is not wrong. When the sanctions tomorrow go up, we will again start buying the oil. We are just waiting for the sanctions to go out. <coughs> India forced to pick sides. Pick sides means either India has to go with Iran or India has to go with US. <coughs> Negative effects on trade, already the graph is there. At least draw the trend of the graph if you know, don't remember exact numbers or and all. Uncertain future on investments. Which investments I am talking about? Chabahar port. Negative impacts on Central Asian connectivity visions. Tell me, give me one example, two examples. Tapi, Tapi is there or connectivity means north south, international north south transit corridor. Okay, one more. We wrote an answer in it, Ashgabat agreement. Challenge to India's Middle East policy. What is that challenge? What is India's Middle East policy? Middle East policy means Middle East consists of three plans. Three infighting groups are there. Saudi Arabia, Shia, Sunni, Iran, Turkey will come here. Israel will come here. And these people don't like each other. And what India is doing? India is sitting in the between. 
India will deal with these countries also. India will deal with them also. India will deal with them also. Strategically, it's a very tough place to sit. But somehow, India is mastering it. India is champion of doing it. Even when this I2U2. What is I2U2? India, Israel, US and UAE. Even when this deal was signed, two people, UAE is in this group, Saudi Arabia group. UA is there, Israel is there, they are coming together. Even Iran was not opposing this deal. Usually Iran will come out with some statement against Israel. Whatever Israel did, Iran will be having something to say. And when Prime Minister visited Israel and not visited Palestine, Iran was not happy with that. But still, when I2U2 was formed, even Iran was not seemingly quiet. The point is, India is very able to do this high octane diplomacy. So, yeah, here we will have to disappoint one of our partner. We are not buying Iranian oil from after 2018. Somehow we are going to US lines. Threat to rule based global order. Yeah, China, what, how, what, you, what example you will give on China? Told before also, China, China and Iran signed a 25 year agreement, investment agreement. How much investment China is going to do? 400 billion investments. China is going to do in Iran. Why this deal came into reality? This deal came up recently. Sanctions was there. Iran was at total loss. Iran was at economic crisis. Iran need help. Nobody is buying their oil. What will they do? And China is always ready to help these kind of countries. And to some strange reason, if you look at Chinese policy, China was not ready to help out Sri Lanka. When Sri Lanka went to this crisis, what we usually see in Chinese policy is some countries going into crisis, China will come out and bail out that country, will do some extra debt trap policy, all this is there. I am saying when the debt trap policy came into evidence, like when Sri Lanka went into economic crisis, Iran went into crisis, China came for help. Pakistan went into crisis, China was there for some sort of helping, some sort of... When Sri Lanka went into that crisis, China was not seen. They were not doing anything. They were just out of the situation. India was doing much better than China. Why? That is also a topic of discussion during that time. Why China withdrawn from Sri Lanka? So many issues are there. Internal issues also there. For economic issues also there. You can read about it. Too much we are not going detail. Okay. So, what is counter perspective? That is not that much going to impact India. How will you substantiate it? Only oil we are trading and we have so much other partners. It's not Iranian oil, not the oil, only oil. And why we are buying so much oil after 2015? Because Iran was giving so much offers. Discounted oil, insurance offers, so much things were offering to India. Now, who is offering all these discounts? Russia is offering with so much discount. Substitutes available for oil. India's investment projects are not progressing. Chahabar port is still, I don't know which direction it is going. Sometimes newspaper article come, it is India is out of the deal. Next day Indian statement will come, India is not out of the deal. Anyway, the project is stuck somewhere. Anyway, we are, our investment is not picking up, even before the US withdrawal also. Trade sanctions, option of continuing trade sanctions, we will give some example of Russia. Trade sanctions will be applicable only when you are trading with dollar. When you are trading with dollar, when SEO summit happened, recently happened. One idea was to start developing some kind of alternative to dollar. Okay. 
or use some other currency and India was very happy internationalization of rupee we were giving these arguments and Russia was giving Russian currencies arguments so what is the whole point is what Russia want to come out of sanctions it want to minimize the impact of sanctions that's why it is coming into picture okay so way forward you can write how India should manage how India should continue the high obtain policy closer connect with Russia long term investment you should look at it all this you can we already covered some hope <coughs> Pen diplomacy. Open your keyword book list. The same thing we talked. There are confronting partners sitting on the table, and we are actively dealing with all partners. We are dealing with South Saudi Arabia. That doesn't mean we will not deal with Iran. We are very active in dealing with Iran also. We are very active in dealing with Israel also. <coughs> what you keep in mind, high octane diplomacy we use in the context of West Asia or Middle East. Don't use it in some other context. It may be an idea, price it will be still valid, but it will be a misfit sometimes. So, conclusion you can do with some keywords and you can show some optimism. Continue the economic and strategic engagements with Iran, at least at a minimum level, because sanctions can go out tomorrow. Now, Trump is out of the system. Maybe tomorrow some other deal will happen and sanctions go and if India done something which cannot be reversed, then it will be not good for India. <coughs> so this is whole takeaway, five last we have done. This is the biggest takeaway you should keep in mind. Note it down somewhere, IR book, IR, whatever it is. This is how we are going to approach most of the IR question. Strategic perspective national interest and shared values positive aspects you have to write use this format negative aspect use this format diaspora question use this for format like be liberal wherever it is feasible it is fixing use this only in the very concurrent affairs very specific question you cannot apply this like yesterday's questions or today's some questions most other question will fix somehow fix into this this is whole dimensions you should think of Take a screenshot of this picture of this or whatever you want. <coughs> this is what you have to learn in IR. When you make notes, make notes in this order. Make notes taking all these points. At least develop one one point regarding all this. India US relation, at least keep one word specific to it, each dimension of this. That one word you will replicate in the answer. That much is required. That will give a depth to your answer, that will give substantiation to your answer. That will make you feel that you really know the content. Because concept everyone will be knowing. Everyone who is writing mains will be knowing containment of China, will be knowing the theory, whatever we are, stories we are discussing. To get one step ahead, you need some specific, specific points. That should come out of this. And why this having a mental framework is very important to generate points. I'm again saying this is a repetition. Most of you have faced that whatever example I use or see, you already know these stories, but still you are not writing in the paper. That's because you don't have a thought process to it. You have do not have an open approach to the answer writing. And don't limit this to IR also. Make some, make some mental picture how you are going to answer if a question in governance is coming, if a question in security, economy. What should be your mental approach to that question? Not the same thing I am saying. Something else it, it will apply there. But have a thought process like that. Having a thought process, then collecting data, minimum data, that is what is necessary. Okay? All good? If you want to show answer, you can wait. Otherwise, that's it. <coughs> Thank you so much. <coughs>